they were getting themselves into. In 2017, this YouTuber visited an antique fair and instantly spotted an old doll. The doll's eyes seemed to follow them everywhere they went. Intrigued, they purchased the doll and took it home, hoping to prove that it was more than just their imagination. They immediately began recording footage in hopes of capturing proof of the doll's supernatural nature. The toy didn't disappoint. If we watch that again, we can see the doll's head turn to look at them for several seconds before turning away. The owner's hands are nowhere near the doll's head when it turns. They set the doll down and continue to examine it, this time moving its head manually to see if there's any logical explanation for how the head was able to turn on its own. As the owner manipulates the head, the doll's eerily lifelike eyes appear to move to stay focused on the person holding it. Some dolls are made with weighted eyelids that can open and close on their own, but there's no easy explanation for how its eyes could move completely on their own. The person who purchased this doll felt like it was calling out to them in the store by following them with its eyes. The video footage seems to confirm this suspicion. So is this doll really haunted? Is it somehow possessed, perhaps by the spirit of a former owner? Or is there another way to explain the footage? Let me know your theories in the comment section down below. This video from the YouTube channel Obscura shows yet another mannequin doing something that should be physically impossible. This video was recorded on a cell phone camera by someone waiting outside a strip mall on a grey rainy day. It's unclear what made them pull out their camera in the first place, but they seem to be clearly focused on a nearby storefront featuring two mannequins. Watch what they caught. As you can see, the seated mannequin's head turns to face the camera. Even without a face, it seems to be staring straight at the person in the car. Viewers of this video have come up with several theories about what's going on. Some viewers suspect a simple trick of the eye, theorizing that a raindrop sliding down the car's window could have created a strange shadow or a refraction that made it seem as if the mannequin's head had moved. Others think that the video was simply a setup suggesting that a person in a white bodysuit was posing as a mannequin inside of the shop. Still, others are certain that the mannequin is somehow haunted or possessed. No matter what's going on here, the video is undoubtedly creepy. Anyone would be unnerved by a blank, featureless face turning to stare at them directly through the hazy rain. So is this mannequin haunted, or is it just a trick of the light? Tell us what you think down below. YouTuber Smith doesn't really believe in ghosts, so when the doll that they kept on their old chase began acting strangely, they were at a loss for an explanation. The YouTuber and their wife were out browsing a flea market when they came across this old composition doll. Prior to the 1940s, these dolls were made of a composite of sawdust, glue and other materials such as cornstarch, resin or wood flour 
to increase their durability. You're much more likely to find one of these dolls sitting around an old flea market than you are to spot a more fragile porcelain doll. This particular doll isn't in great shape with some of the material peeling off its legs. This isn't uncommon for a composite doll, though they were marketed as unbreakable. The composite material began to deteriorate over time. Despite its less than pristine condition, the couple happily took their new friend home and made it comfortable on their old chase. That's when things started to get freaky. Take a look. Much to their surprise, the doll began moving on its own, slowly raising its right arm into the air above its head. These old dolls had no mechanical parts, so there's no simple explanation for how it could be moving. With absolutely no information about this specific doll, they had no idea what to think. The doll's new owner turned to the internet for answers. Some skeptics think that the video could be a hoax. Because of the way the camera and the doll are placed, it wouldn't be too hard for an accomplice to stand off screen, moving the doll's arm with an invisible piece of wire or string. However, others are certain that this creepy old doll is haunted. This is an older clip and no new information has surfaced since filming. So for now, this mystery remains unsolved. Ventriloquist Andy Gross is certainly used to being surrounded by dummies that others might find a little creepy. In this video that he shared to his YouTube channel, Andy Gross Live, he has his first taste of being freaked out by his own dummies. In the video's introduction, Andy states that he's noticed the dummies in a certain case in his home changing position while he's away. Lately when I've been coming back from some of my shows, these guys have changed positions. Now, I don't mean just a little bit. I mean like this guy here with the black hat. His head was actually turned all the way around last week when I came home. The guy on the end in the white right there, he was laying down inside the case. He suspects that his wife or one of his children might be trying to mess with him. So he decides to set up a hidden camera during his next trip away to hopefully catch the culprit in the act. What he sees on the footage though is not at all what he expected. Upon returning home, he notices that one of the dummy's heads seems to have moved. He reviews the footage, expecting to see a member of the household sneaking into the room and moving the doll. Unfortunately, he sees something much creepier. Just gets me every time. I mean, so weird and creepy. As you can see, the dummy's head moves completely on its own. The way it moves couldn't have been due to gravity alone, and Andy states that he's checked the doll's mechanism closely, but nothing about it seems unusual. Ooh, this is kind of strange. Here we go. Hi. Um, just a normal puppet. So what could have caused this dummy to move on its own? Ventriloquists typically give their dummies personalities during their acts, but seeing one move without its owner nearby is certainly unnerving. Of course, many viewers have suspected that it's all just a prank. After all, ventriloquists put on shows to entertain. However, Andy has maintained that this isn't a setup and that he was quite freaked out by the footage. Andy ends the video stating that he plans to capture more secret footage. And if it happens again, he's going to move house. Probably a good idea. In June 2021, paranormal investigators Lalo Escalante decided to search a local cemetery in Culiacan, Mexico. They had heard rumors of strange things happening on the property. Locals often report hearing screams and spot unusual shadowy figures walking through the property late at night. The most unsettling story revolves around a supposed haunted doll that sits in one of the graves. It's said to come alive and move among the tombstones. Under the glow of a full moon, the investigators explore the graveyard. 
que sabía que los brujos su, su trabajo lo hacen efectivo en ese día, güey. For the first 10 minutes or so, the YouTubers appear on edge. They claim to hear strange noises coming from all directions of the cemetery. ¿Alguien ahí? After exploring for some time, they come across a mausoleum and look inside to find a tall doll with lengthy blonde hair standing next to a large cross and flowers. What happens next is sure to give you the chills. Watch. As you can see, the doll appears to move inside the sealed mausoleum. There's no doubt about it, viewers have been terrified by this clip. There seems to be no way that the doll could move without the explanation of something otherworldly. To make this incident even scarier, a month prior, a separate group of urban explorers known as Urbex MX captured the exact same doll moving on its own. Take a look. <laughs> This incident was captured during a live stream. Hundreds of viewers watched in real time as the doll moved inside the mausoleum. So is this graveyard home to restless spirits? And is this doll really possessed by some unknown entity? According to these two separate accounts, it would appear so. Dude, like, I'm so on edge now. So freaking on edge. Our first clip of the day comes from the Instagram account Russ Horror, who was captured by a security guard working the night shift at a shopping mall. After hearing some strange noises, well after the last patrons had left the building, this security guard began filming on his phone to prove what was happening. What the heck? These freaking chairs just moved. What the Okay. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. Nope, 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 nope. Watching that again, as he looks around the food court, a chair seems to move all on its own. What the sh Okay. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. After this footage hit Instagram, it quickly went viral. With thousands of comments pouring in, it wasn't too long before viewers identified the location as the Summit Mall in Akron, Ohio. The Akron area is quite famous for having numerous locations around town that are full of urban legends and haunted stories. The infamous Green Acre Mall, just seven miles south of the Summit Mall seen in this footage, is now completely abandoned. People say it's haunted by numerous spirits and all those who venture inside can attest to some spooky happenings. Opening in 1975, the mall was a thriving retail hub for decades. However, after some mismanagement in the early 1990s, along with consumer trends leaning towards online shopping, the mall fell into a sharp decline. The final nail came in 2011 when two deaths occurred on the property. The first happened in April of that year when a man was electrocuted while trying to steal copper wiring from a power box outside of the mall. Then in November, a shallow grave was discovered on the property. 
The body was identified as Timothy Kern, a victim of the infamous Craigslist killer Richard Beasley. Some urbex vloggers have said they've heard crying inside of the abandoned mall, but when they take a good look around, there's no one ever there. So is this footage evidence of a second haunted mall in downtown Akron? I don't know. What the hell? Dude, what the hell is that? Could these ghostly happenings be somehow linked, or is it all just pure coincidence? Love to hear your thoughts on this in the comments below. Have you ever been to Akron, Ohio? Let me know down below. These freaking chairs just move. What the sh Okay. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. This next one is a bizarre little clip sent to us from a viewer known only as Farouk. It's some home security footage captured in Ladoon County, Virginia. All seems quite normal at first. When suddenly a strange light appears across the camera. It slowly gets smaller and smaller. Until suddenly it begins to move around quite erratically. Eventually it looks like it gets sucked up into the street lamps across the road. While this is probably just lens flare caused by the street lamps, some viewers thought it looked too strange to be just that. They'd note that it's odd that it appears out of nowhere and that nothing seems to cause it. There's no moisture and the rest of the shot remains normal. Some alleged UFO abductees have reported similar blinding, swirling lights moments before a lost chunk of time. They say it's as though the lights around them become extra bright and behave abnormally, then suddenly nothing. That's when they notice that a large period of time has passed without them being aware. Unfortunately, there's no timestamps on this footage, so we're unable to tell just what time frame these two clips happened on. Either way, it's eerie to see the lights suck back up into the lamps, and when you consider alien abduction stories, it becomes particularly unnerving to watch. In 2021, Twitter user Natchevet was busy renovating her late father's apartment. She took a series of photos while doing the work and sent them to some friends. At first, she thought nothing of it until one friend asked what was going on in one of the photos. Confused, the OP looked more closely at the photo. In the back, behind the camera holder, you can see a shadowy figure. At first, it looks like her shadow. But the more you look at it, the more obvious it becomes that what is there is separate from the camera holder. The OP was home alone at the time this photo was taken and has no idea what that black shape standing behind her could be. Here's a separate photo taken at the same time of day in the same area. While there are some more things in the apartment now, you can see that the photo is taken facing a mirror. But this time, there's no dark shape looming behind her. Some viewers said it could be her late father trying to make contact as it was his apartment after all. However, others say that they get a bad vibe from the dark figure saying it couldn't possibly be a loved one. So what's going on here then? Is it a shadow figure caught on camera? Or is it all just pareidolia, the human tendency to see familiar shapes and patterns in random stimuli? Share your theories about this one with one another in the comments down below. Our next one comes from one of our viewers, Chris Gladman. It's some home security footage that was captured in May 2022. It's after 11.30pm when Chris gets notified that movement's been detected at his front door. When he opens the feed, he sees this. A 
A transparent, wisp-like shape can be seen moving on the right of frame. While at first it does seem quite mysterious, Chris came to the conclusion that it was a snake. However, in the UK where this was filmed, snakes are rare, quite thin and short in length. In fact, there are only three species of snake native to the UK, the adder, grass and smooth snake. Chris believes that this snake caught in the footage is far too fat and long to be a native snake. Alarmed by the incident, Chris called the local wildlife rescue department who had no reports of a missing pet snake or anything else that might explain this sighting. When Chris had a look around his property, he couldn't find any evidence of the snake at all. It's got to be unnerving knowing that a snake this big was or still is on the property and you have no idea where it's gone. One of our viewers, Lucy Pimentel, caught this footage on their phone while watching some TV at their house. Take a look. The HDMI cable appears to wiggle by itself. Lucy says she's only seen this happen once before, but didn't manage to capture it on camera. She says the cord is only plugged into the Xbox and has no way of explaining the strange movement. While this incident on its own is quite strange, Lucy says other odd things have happened around the home that are hard to explain. She says that her son, who's quite young, likes to get the stovetop lids and spin them like a spinning top on the ground. However, one day she came out to find a half a dozen or so lids spinning on the ground in a circle all around her son. There appeared to be far too many for just one kid to pull off. When Lucy asked her son about it, he just laughed it off and ran away. Alarmed by the incident, Lucy tried to make them all spin by herself and didn't even come close. She says that they've also seen lights in the home flickering on and off. So all this bizarre activity has Lucy considering the possibility that a poltergeist may have taken up residence in their home. So then, is this footage evidence of some kind of haunting happening in this home? Or is there another way to explain these strange incidents? Let me know down below. Our last clip of the day proves that things don't need to be paranormal in nature to be downright terrifying. It's the middle of the day on June 3, 2020, when residents of Talvik in northern Norway hear some strange creaking sounds around their houses. Jan Egelbakaby is making some sandwiches when he notices the power lines out of his window ripping violently. The ground begins to shake and an awful screeching sound fills the air. Buckaby runs to higher ground where he manages to capture this astonishing footage. Slowly, half the town slides out to sea. Total carnage takes hold as buildings, trees and whole properties are swept away. Astonishingly, no one was hurt in this incident. There was not one report of a missing person or even an injury, despite the widespread chaos. One dog was swept out with the current but managed to swim ashore and was perfectly fine.
This incident became known as the Alta Landslide. After a thorough investigation by the Norwegian Water Resources and Energy Directorate, it was found that a marine clay substrate formed during the early Holocene epoch some 12,000 years ago rapidly turned into what's known as quick clay or leader clay. This caused the massive landslide that you can see here. So thankfully no one was hurt and all we're left with is this astonishing footage. A recent video coming out of Malaysia purports to show a ghostly boy vanishing from sight while on a fair ride. In June 2022, Nur Afrina Rosny from Malaysia was filming her five-year-old son Muaz on a merry-go-round at a local theme park. In the clip, Rosny films her son on the ride, but something eerie seems to happen. Watch. Watching that again, Rosny's son is sitting with another young boy in one of the carts. They go around once. But on the second spin, her son is suddenly alone. In an interview with the news outlet The Sun, Rosny explains that her son got off the ride alone. When she asked what had happened, Muez said a worker had paired him with another young boy and they rode on the ride together. However, when Rosny showed her son the footage, he couldn't explain where the boy went. The footage has since gone viral with thousands of viewers scrambling to make sense of the freaky footage. Some commenters suggested the boy had simply lied down on the ride on the second rotation. Others said the footage must have been edited but a large contingent of viewer theories veered into the realms of the paranormal, suggesting it might have been the ghost of a young boy who had died at the carnival years prior. Given that Muaz couldn't explain where the young boy had vanished to, it certainly does make you wonder what's going on here. As of uploading this episode, there's been no official explanation on the young boy's whereabouts. In June 2022, some eerie baby cam footage began to go viral on TikTok. Take a look. The young parents who captured this footage were freaked out when they spotted some fingers poking up through the rungs of their baby's crib. While at first this seems like it could easily be staged, a second angle on a different night shows the parents sleeping near the cot. They explain that under the cot is a very small space where they keep a few boxes and that there's definitely no room at all for someone to hide and reach up through the rungs. From this second viewpoint you can see that something seems to be pushing the mattress in the cot upwards. Then something strange appears on the left hand side of the cot. It disappears right as the dad wakes up and looks around the room. Yet another angle shows what appears to be two disembodied hands just under the bed. The dad points out that the space just under the bed is no more than ankle high. On another night, more eerie footage is captured. You can see a shadow moving on the far wall. Then more hands appear under the cot. 
This time, there appears to be three of them. A few seconds later, more movement can be seen under the cot. Again, as the father wakes up, whatever's under the baby's cot seems to disappear. The parents have since said they're getting rid of the cot and have asked their followers if anyone knows a good exorcist. Reactions have been varied for this series of clips. For obvious reasons, a lot of viewers think it's just a fun piece of staged footage designed to get a rise out of people. However, a fair few viewers are genuinely concerned for the baby's safety, saying that the parents should have the house blessed by a priest immediately. One viewer in particular said that they had also had an entity attach itself to a specific piece of furniture in their home. They claim it took 30 days, holy water and regular blessings from a priest to rid the presence from their home. So where do you sit on this footage? Is it too good to be true or is this genuine paranormal activity? Share your opinions in the comments down below. Here's a funny little clip that was uploaded to Facebook by Heather Rose. It's not paranormal at all, but shows something rather creepy all the same. Take a look. Watching that again, as the cell phone explodes in the microwave, it looks like a demonic face appears in the bubbling plastic. It writhes about and seems to scream in agony. This clear case of pareidolia shows just how suggestible we really are, proving we can see familiar patterns in just about any visual stimulus. Still, it's a fun, spoopy piece of footage either way. In June 2022, the YouTube channel Supernatural captured some eerie activity on their home security camera that they're struggling to explain. The OP claims that weird things have been happening at their house for quite some time now. Their dog barks at seemingly nothing at all at all hours of the night, and objects have even been seen moving unaided. And recently, their three-year-old has been talking and interacting with people who aren't there. On June 7th, something was caught on camera that makes this story all the more chilling. Take a look. At 10.23pm, a child's toy car appears to be dragged across the yard by an unseen force. Then, on June 19th, more eerie security footage was captured. Watch. This time a chair begins to move. The chair rocks back in the direction of the front of the yard, then it jerks towards the house. The fact that it moves in two separate directions suggests it's less likely to be string or rope moving the chair. For the first movement to happen, string would have to be running out onto the road. So what do you think? Given that the OP has allegedly been experiencing some eerie things inside their home, it does make you wonder whether this footage does show something paranormal.
This bizarre little clip was posted to the Facebook page Alien Skies. In January 2021, something strange happened in the skies over Arizona. As you can see, the clouds form a perfect square shape with one of the corners coming to a point just above the horizon. There's a clear line of contrast against the blue sky on either side. There's been a few videos lately showing similar looking cloud formations, which has led to a slew of varying theories. Some say it's government weather control, others think it's the work of aliens or even a glitch in the simulation. As of yet, there's been no official explanation from the Bureau of Meteorology, so for now, this bizarre sighting will have to remain a complete mystery. This strange footage was sent to us by viewer Adam Luttrell. In mid-April 2022, Luttrell found a security gate at his work wide open. The gate is normally double padlocked and is checked by Luttrell and his supervisor before leaving every shift. Confused, Luttrell got his supervisor to check the security footage from the night before to see what had happened. That's when they saw something they can't quite explain. Take a look. As you can see, the gate begins moving, seemingly all on its own. It flexes inwards, then swings wide open. As it swings open, one of the nearby security lights turns off. The supervisor confirmed that there was no wind that night and is at a loss to explain how the gate swung open like that. In a follow-up comment, Luttrell said there's been no other strange activity at the worksite and believes that whatever opened the gate may have used the last of its energy in this final movement. So this comment obviously implies that Luttrell believes something paranormal is afoot here. But what do you think? What could have opened the gate like that? Love to hear your theories in the comments down below. Freak the f out in two seconds. This next clip left millions of TikTok viewers baffled as it appears to show a car disappearing in plain view. Alexia Petrozillo, who goes by the username Apetrus, films herself in a parking garage near LAX airport. My car is right here, okay? Brady is right here, down, okay? So she can see her car right in front of her, but as you'll see, things take a turn for the strange. Watch. So you would assume this means down, right? Okay, don't move, Brady, don't move. So I'm going down. I'm going down. You will not believe how many times I've gone up and down this f***ing floor, okay? We're going down. I'm sprinting now, okay, watch. Because look, look what happens. Look what happens. Where? Where are the cars? Where is my f***ing car? Where is he? Alexia runs down the car park and films the next level. Here we can see there are no cars at all. My car is right f***ing here, okay? Brady is right here. So you would assume this means down, right? Okay, don't move, Brady, don't move. So I'm going down. I'm going down. I'm sprinting now, okay, watch. Because look, look what happens. Look what happens. Where? Where are the cars? Where is my f***ing car? Where is he? Clearly confused and frustrated, Alexia says she's run up and down the level multiple times and can't figure out why her car seems to keep disappearing. You will not believe how many times I've gone up and down this f***ing floor, okay? Where? Where are the cars? Where is my f***ing car? Where is he? 
This puzzling clip caught on like wildfire and burnt up over 40 million views with tens of thousands of comments chiming in, trying to solve the bizarre conundrum. Several people called it a glitch in the matrix. Others said it was black magic sorcery. Some said it was the car parking area for the back rooms. The Back Rooms is an urban legend and creepypasta that originated on 4chan. The legend says that occasionally people can no-clip out of reality as we know it and end up in the Back Rooms, an endless, empty, monochromatic room that smells like wet carpet. Room after room, the same unending nothing filled with the deafening buzz of fluorescent office lighting. In a follow-up video, Alexia explains that she had to go to the front desk of the parking lot to ask to be driven specifically to her car, as she just couldn't figure out the mystery. So I had to go all the way back downstairs and ask some very kind Jamaican woman that worked there who could not understand what I was trying to say. Um, can you please just show me? Because clearly I can't figure it out for myself. And she literally had to close the gate to the entrance. I, I hopped in her car and this beautiful soul took me to my car, but I'm like, how couldn't I figure it out? Long story short, I'm in my car, heading home. So as it turns out, the car park was most likely a double helix design. This is a specific type of parking garage that coils around itself to enable one-way traffic. Many viewers empathised with the situation, saying that they too had experienced the madness of a double helix parking garage. So I'll throw this one out to you, the viewers. Have you ever experienced anything like this? Let us know down below. So you would assume this means down, right? Okay, don't move, Brady, don't move. So I'm going down. I'm going down. We're going down. I'm sprinting now, okay, watch. Because look, look what happens. Look what happens. Where? Where are the cars? Where is my f***ing car? Where is he? Our last entry for the day comes from the Facebook page Cryptid University. They purport to have evidence of a Bigfoot sighting that's caused quite a stir. This series of wild photos were captured in the forests of New York State. Walking among the shrubbery is a large bipedal figure that's covered in thick matted fur. Subsequent photos show the alleged creature to have a flattened face with a pronounced forehead and a depressed nose. On closer inspection, there even appears to be a baby clinging to the back of the larger creature. Naturally, the reactions to this sighting have been varied. Some think it's just another faker walking around the woods in a woolly costume. However, others think there's just too many fine details that seem to elude that this sighting of Bigfoot could be genuine. The flattened face, the lumbering gait and the little clinging baby have ignited hope in Bigfoot believers that he's really out there. Houses where menacing figures once lived have often been the setting of many a horror film. While they're terrifying themselves in the movie world, they become even more frightening when one visits these houses in real life. Slaptown viewer Christopher G proves why this is so, with the photograph he shared originally sent to him by a friend who visited an old home with plenty of history. In the photograph, we see a room that appears to be an attic with objects and furniture strewn about. While the camera's focus seems to be a pink chair covered with an American flag, something more sinister catches our eyes in the upper left-hand corner. Here we can make out a translucent figure standing and looking in the direction of the photographer. While the bottom half of the figure is harder to make out, the head of the figure is more defined, looking like a man with a darkened face. The photographer didn't initially notice the figure until the photo was posted online. The figure becomes even more frightening once the history of the house is brought into context. The house once belonged to Captain George Conrad Flavel, who moved into the home with his wife and son in 1901. The house was passed down to Captain George Conrad Flavel's son, Harry Flavel, who lived there with his wife and two children until he died in the 1950s. But it was in the 1940s when trouble first started. Harry Flavel's son, Harry S, attacked a neighbour with a hatchet in 1947. 
After the incident, the Flavels became ostracised by the rest of the neighbourhood, living as recluses in the home. Forty years later, Harry S went on to randomly attack a neighbour's car with a chain. He eventually stabbed the neighbour too. He served seven years in prison and when he returned, the family quickly moved out of the house where it was abandoned for nearly 20 years. Having housed a man who was prone to attacking those around him, the question arises. Could the creepy figure caught in the photograph be the spirit of Harry S, displeased with visitors to his once territory? Or could it be that a spirit with evil intent perhaps drove Harry S to these violent actions? Both theories, coupled with this photo, make for an unsettling conclusion either way. Yearbooks can already be scary enough thanks to awkward adolescence forever captured in photographs. But what if something else, equally as harrowing, is caught on camera? Slaptam viewer Corey S offers viewers the chance to see something not commonly seen in yearbook photos in his dad's 1984 book. Upon first glance, viewers of the black and white photograph see two young women sitting on a couch in white dresses, smiling for the camera. There are windows that seem to show the trees outside of the house or perhaps a building in the back. Upon closer inspection, viewers can suddenly see something else, what appears to be a man standing behind the window on the left. He appears to be wearing a cap with his hands crossed in front of him, looking directly into the camera. Corius explains that his father and his father's high school classmates could never identify who the man was in the photograph. While some have suggested that the picture could simply be a case of double exposure, Corius denies this due to the man's position behind the window frame. Could this man just be a reflection, or could it be a ghostly figure who wanted to leave his mark? Love to get your thoughts on this one in the comments section below. Most of the time when people hear strange sounds in their house, they can be explained by a house settling, the weather outside, or other housemates moving about. Reddit user Oopy Spoopy Man began to hear strange noises in his kitchen, but this time something far more terrifying may have been to blame. In the photograph, we see a hallway that leads to a kitchen. The part of the kitchen we can see initially looks dark, though there seems to be a strange blur to the left of the door. When we zoom in on the picture, the blur takes on a horrifying shape. The blur comes into focus to show what looks to be a man's head turned to the side, completely white with dark eyes gazing at the photographer. Initially, many other Reddit users couldn't see any shape. When they were able to look at the picture closer, they completely freaked out and began to come up with many different theories. The original Reddit poster claimed that his housemates were all out of the apartment when the picture was taken, and that there's simply no way to explain what was captured on film. He ended up deciding to move out of the residence and in with his family, too scared at the possibility of seeing the figure once again. While some skeptics bring up the potential that the figure could be someone in a mask, such as Michael Myers as seen in Halloween, most agree that the original poster shouldn't take the chance of staying in the residence. So what do you think that mysterious face could be? Love to hear your thoughts in the comments section below. Taking pictures in the mirror is usually a fun activity for most people to do together. Unfortunately for Reddit user Bedaily13, what was supposed to be a fun mirror picture with her sister turned into an unnerving mystery. In the picture, we see a fogged up mirror with a finger drawn heart right in the middle, presumably with the sister's name scribbled inside of it. We can also make out the two sisters posing, but what we see in between the girls is what makes this photo a scary puzzle. In between the sisters are what seem to be two ghostly figures, with one standing above the other as they both look into the mirror with the girls. The original poster explained that her house was originally built in the 1960s, but there was no abnormal history that took place in the house that she knows of, even after doing some extensive research on its background. Other Reddit users suggested that the two boyish figures could have been siblings in another time, who wanted to join in on the photo and believe there's no huge threat to the girls. 
Still, the mystery of who these boys are and why they chose this particular house to appear is a puzzle to everyone who's seen the photo. Yetis have been a source of debate among individuals across the globe for thousands of years in history, derived from Himalayan folklore. In the West, the Yeti is commonly referred to as the Abominable Snowman, with many individuals having reported seeing evidence of them in various parts in the West and East alike. Could Scott Yeoman have spotted one outside of his home in Bailey, Colorado, as seen in these photographs from 2017? Yeoman's photographs immediately give viewers a chill. Prior to snapping the pictures, Yeoman claimed that he had entered his living room and quickly noticed a terrible stench that smelled like a combination of animal waste and vomit. He first thought the stench could be emitting from a bear, but one glance out of his window completely changed his mind. In the photos that he took with his Kodak, we can see what appears to be a Neanderthal-like being with long scraggly hair, a wide flat nose, a face covered in marks, and piercing black eyes peering into the room. Yeoman claimed that once he grabbed his gun, the creature quickly disappeared into the woods. He called the police who arrived and examined the photos. Two of the policemen were equally as puzzled as Yeoman while a third insisted it was simply a bear outside of the window. Commentators of the photographs had varying opinions, with one suggesting that it could have been an escaped gorilla, and yet another offering the idea of Bigfoot. The shape and form of the figure's face is certainly strange and could be many different things. Take a look at the photos and judge for yourself. As hospitals are commonly associated with death, it's perhaps no surprise that there have been countless sightings of strange ghostly shapes and figures around them for years. Kit Williams' mother-in-law was yet another individual who had a peculiar experience in her hospital room in Brisbane, Australia. In the unsettling photograph, the camera is pointed towards the ceiling of a hospital room. In the mid-right view of the photograph, we can see an air vent. While most of the vent looks normal, we can see a strange yellow-brown shape on the left-hand side that seems to peer out eerily into the room. What makes this bizarre figure even scarier is that the mother-in-law claims the shape would blink and look around the room as if inspecting her from above. Even more terrifying, the mother-in-law claimed that she would feel others touching her and waking her up, but no one was around when she would wake up. Others who have viewed the photograph suggested that the figure could simply be a small animal, such as a possum, that have been known to crawl around air vents. Others believe this figure could be something paranormal with sinister intentions. Further still, some have suggested it could be a peeping tom that has crawled into the vents for a better view. Either way, there's no denying that this air vent is definitely home to something that shouldn't be there. While the purpose of motion sensing cameras is often to keep individuals inside a residence safe from things outside of it, sometimes it's the inside forces that pose the biggest threat. Slaptown viewer Phil Hayball offers evidence of this with a photo he shared of a friend's house in the United Kingdom. In the picture, the motion sensing camera is pointed at the front door. This time there's no need to zoom in to get a closer look. The petrifying figure is clear as day hovering right in front of the entrance to the home. The large figure, semi-transparent, seems to be wearing a large cloak or trench coat that covers its body except for its large, dark hand hanging from a sleeve. The head of the enormous figure is cut off by the top of the image. There's no denying that a strange figure is in this photograph, though what this figure could be is a mystery to all who see it. Phil Hayball says he has no further information on the figure or what it could possibly be, making this one of the more head-scratching motion-sensing camera puzzles we've seen. Is there anything scarier than a family picture gone wrong? Chris Downing soon discovered that perhaps no, nothing is, with a family picture that was taken with his children in 2012. 
The picture first appears to be a normal family photo, with Chris Downing sitting in the middle, his daughter to the viewer's right and son to the left. The family all seem to be perfectly happy, smiling for the camera, but a look at the son's leg begins to paint a different picture. On the son's leg appears to be a small hand that seems to grip onto him, which comes from no discernible body or another figure that we can tell. Downing explained that a week after the photo was taken, his daughter called him and frighteningly pointed out the hand that was gripping the son's leg. None of the family members were able to explain the hand in the photo initially, though Downing soon came up with an idea. Prior to the photo being taken, Downing had suffered a drug overdose, where he had temporarily passed away before coming back to life soon after. Downing believes the only logical explanation of the hand in the photo is that a ghost or spirit came back with him from the afterlife. Most of the commentators of the photo are quick to disclaim the picture, simply suggesting the hand could be one of a relative out of the shot. However, the family has been adamant that no one else was in the room beside the photographer. Dying and coming back to life is a very rare medical occurrence, so it's definitely not hard to believe that something just as unusual could have joined him on his journey back to reality. Just a reminder, if you have your own scary photos or videos that you'd like to share with the community, head to our subreddit. If it's scary enough, we may feature them in an upcoming episode. As always, there's a link in the description box below. When it comes to what we may see in space, extraterrestrial or otherwise unexplainable life is to be expected for some. After all, much of space remains unknown to humans, including what could inhabit other planets. The Curiosity rover managed to capture a photo of a very strange object indeed, located on Mars, now nicknamed the Martian Rose. In the Curiosity rover's picture, we see what appears to be a large rock formation on Mars, with nothing particularly out of the ordinary. With a closer look, we can spot what appears to be a small object that seems to be sticking out vertically from the sand. At the top of the object sits a round formation that seems to face up towards the sky. Space fanatics soon began to speculate about what the object could be, ruling out the possibility of another rock, instead suggesting that it could be either a plant or mushroom. The top of the object looks like a flower that is yet to bloom, where the Martian Rose got its nickname. So what do you think? Could there really be a plant on the surface of Mars, or is it just a trick of perspective? Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Many individuals post eerie pictures and videos on social media in hopes that others can explain the creepy stuff that they've seen. Facebook user Tyler Thornton did just that, with the photos he uploaded of what was supposed to be a completely empty house in Victoria, Australia. The photo, taken at the house of the Facebook user's recently deceased father, is a close-up of a window. Here, viewers see a glimpse of the kitchen, but what stands inside of it is what's gone on to divide the internet. Standing to the viewer's left of the kitchen is what appears to be a tall man holding and looking down at something. The man's face and body look grey and hard to make out, but stand out clearly across the black background. The uploader of the photo emphasises that no one was home when the photos were taken, and other Facebook users quickly began to post theories as to who the man could be. Some automatically suggested a ghost resembling a man who's doing the dishes. While another user wondered if the man could be a squatter. The photo still divides viewers today, with no definite answer as to who the figure is ever given. It's often said that dogs have a heightened sense of supernatural presences. Whether it's their animalistic intuition or a deeper connection with nature that allows them to do this remains unknown. In this video, we see a meeting between a potential ghost and a dog that has made one homeowner very aware of something spooky going on in her house. The footage appears to have been taken from a security camera with a clear view of a long set of stairs 
that lead into the darkness below. A small dog stands in the middle of the stairs, tail alert and barking into the darkness. If you look closely, you can see there appears to be a mysterious figure wearing a large white cloak standing and staring at the dog from the bottom of the stairs. A few seconds into the clip, the dog's owner appears. They shine a flashlight into the darkness and seem to spot the figure. They quickly leave the area and the dog follows them. There's another strange detail in this video that doesn't seem to make sense. If we watch it again, keep a close eye on the left wall. A strange black object seems to slide up the side of the wall. Nearly everyone who's seen this video swears that the mysterious presence has to be a ghost. The homeowner's reaction looks to be quite real, and furthermore, the dog seems genuinely concerned, acting as one would expect around a sinister presence. Unfortunately, the clip is so brief with almost no context that it could simply be someone standing at the bottom of the stairs, just for the sake of a viral video. Since the clip went viral, viewers have suggested that the homeowner get their house blessed by a priest to rid the home of the potential spirit. It seems that this is one homeowner who should certainly be grateful for her dog's intuition. In this video uploaded to Reddit by leolkala213, we see a couple of friends outside what looks to be a school at night time. Miss Peggy, f***ing Peggy. Oh, damn, that went out. They appear to be simply recording their antics as many teens do, when suddenly one of them spots something creepy. Take a look. Get the f*** out of here right now. I'm dead ass f***ing serious, this is freaking me the f*** out. At first glance, it looks to be a small child lurking in the darkness. The video then cuts to another clip of the friends who are now standing on a street. They zoom their camera towards an illuminated area next to a large building. And there, once again, appears to be the same child as before. Dude, I'm actually f***ing freaking out. At one point, the cameraman notes that the closer he moves to the boy, the more it looks like a figurine. Every time I move closer, it looks more and more like a figurine. The clip then cuts, revealing that the creepy child now seems to have disappeared. Wait. Scared, the boys quickly leave the area. Mm, nah, to the hell, nah, nah. While many Redditors were terrified by the series of clips, some believe that it could have been an extravagant prank. Perhaps the friends had some type of child-sized figurine that they moved around to different locations. This would explain the stillness of the boy that seemed very eerie and unnatural. I did not see that when we passed. What the f***? What some viewers pointed out that the video has some strange cuts in it. The uploader responded to these comments saying that he had chopped the original footage down just to show the most interesting parts. Dude, that thing looks like it's looking right at us like this. Some other viewers wondered whether it was really just a child and whether they needed help. They also wondered where their parents could be. So what do you think these boys have captured on camera? Was it really a creepy child lurking in the darkness? Let me know what you think down below. Right in front of my lens. Dude, I'm actually f***ing freaking out. Officers are not usually considered to be paranormal hotspots. For most, the scariest thing they'll likely encounter is the cold realisation that they'll have to work till they're 75. However, in this clip, it seems that paranormal entities might also be something to be concerned about. The video appears to contain footage captured by a security camera from inside an office. In the first part of the clip, we can see a long, dark hallway. At the very end of the hallway stands what seems to be a white figure. 
The figure moves slowly from left to right, where it pauses for a second before returning from where it came. If you zoom in, you can see that the mysterious figure seems to float into view. While this clip is certainly strange, it could be possible that the ghost is simply part of a prank staged by a bored office worker. It isn't until we see the second part of the video that the notion that this figure is something truly supernatural begins to solidify. Take a look. We see what appears to be an empty office space. To the left, there's a window. Suddenly, the ghostly figure appears again. However, this time it's clear that the shape is transparent. This truly is a mysterious video, but does it really show a ghost? On face value, it certainly seems to. However, more evidence is needed before we can confidently say that this office building is home to a real resident spirit. Posing for a photo or short video is seen as something cute and sweet by many couples. However, for the pair seen in this clip, it seems that this attempt at an adorable video turned into a horrifying memory forever caught on film. At the beginning of the clip, we can see the couple standing together while waving at the camera. At first, they smile and everything looks completely normal. However, a few moments later, the young man on the left appears to be pulled to the ground. At first, it's difficult to see what actually happened. Perhaps he simply fell over. If you play the clip in slow motion, the reason for his sudden movement becomes all too apparent. Take a look. A ghoulish hand reaches upwards and grabs the man's arm. Then, as the man topples, we can see that the hand actually belongs to a ghostly looking girl. Resembling something straight out of a horror film, the girl has long black hair and a pale complexion. While the girl certainly looks like a ghost, there have been other suggestions about what it could be. Many viewers think the clip is from a movie or a short film, but have been unable to name which one. Some have noted that the girl looks like she's been edited in. So what do you think's going on here? Whatever the answer is, this clip has certainly been spooking a lot of people out. While there's very little information available about this clip, it certainly appears to have captured something strange. Take a look. In what appears to be CCTV footage, we see a shadowy translucent figure making its way through the darkness. With each step, the figure seems to become more and more transparent until it's almost completely faded away just before the clip ends. Sometimes moving objects can appear slightly transparent in videos if there's a glitch in the camera. In this case, this might explain the footage. Still, the ghostly looking figure itself is certainly very creepy. However, it's what happens at the very beginning of the video that makes it even more alarming. The footage shows a person walking towards the left of screen. If you look closely, the person on the left is solid and has detail. So if the camera were glitching out, why would one person be solid and one person be transparent? This footage certainly raises a lot of questions. Unfortunately, none of which can be answered at this time. What do you think this clip shows? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. In the paranormal community, there's much debate over whether orbs truly are supernatural in nature. While some remain adamant that they are, others assert that they can be explained in other ways such as dust particles reflecting light or bugs on the camera's lens. In this video, an apparent orb has been caught on security camera. Take a look. 
The camera view reveals the exterior of a home at night time. Suddenly, you can see a large orb emerge from what appears to be the front door. If you look closely, you can see that the door is closed, yet the orb seems to be able to travel right through it. The mysterious object then floats towards the street before rising up above the line of the porch. This dispels the theory that it could be an insect on the camera's lens, as the object is clearly some distance from the camera. The size of the orb itself is also notable, as is its translucence. While many videos that purport to show paranormal orbs caught on camera can often be explained by more grounded theories, this footage seems hard to debunk using the same methodology. This leaves the possibility that this orb might actually be something supernatural. If this is the case, then the homeowners can only hope that this is a simple friendly spirit and not anything more sinister. In this video shared to YouTube by a Trapidus NL Tiempo, it seems that a dash cam has caught something eerie happening on a quiet country road. Take a look. We can see a car driving at night. Apart from a lone light ahead in the distance, the surroundings are dark, illuminated only by the vehicle's headlights. Suddenly, the car seems to veer to the left as a small ghostly figure emerges from the darkness. The figure remains eerily still as the vehicle speeds by. While the driver was able to react quickly enough to avoid the ghostly figure, there's no doubting that they must have been scared out of their mind. Adding to the creepiness of the clip is the fact that the figure appears to be a child. This, coupled with the way that it stands so eerily still on the road, makes for one spine-chilling video. One viewer suggested that the figure might have been the spirit of a young child who tragically lost their life on this lonely stretch of road. Others suggested the person was drunk or high and was simply wandering around the road. So what do you think's depicted in this strange piece of footage? Love to hear your theories in the comments down below. Humanoid creatures have long thought to roam various places on Earth for centuries. One particular type of creature, known as a duende, is described as an imp or pixie-like being, believed to have originated in Spanish folklore. Some believe these creatures to be good, while others think they could have mischievous or even evil intentions. In this video, we get a glimpse of what some believe to be a duende caught on camera. The footage appears to have been captured from inside a garage. Suddenly, a small humanoid creature walks past the car in the driveway. While the figure is only visible for a second or two, we can see that it does indeed resemble something strange. While it's been suggested that the strange creature in this video could simply be an animal of some kind, others believe that this might be finally proof that the legendary Duende actually exists. Whatever it is, it looks small and seems to walk bipedal. Unfortunately, until more info comes to hand, this strange clip will have to remain a complete mystery. However, I'm curious to hear your thoughts in the comments section down below. Many of us had imaginary friends as children. It seems that it's all part of growing up. But what if these friends were not so imaginary after all? Take a look at this photo uploaded to Facebook by user Laredo Paranormal Stories. In it, we can see that there appears to be a second figure next to the boy in the blue shirt. The figure's face looks pale, even skeletal. Its hair appears disheveled and wild, and its body almost seems to be a black void. The photo was captured by the poster's husband. The poster believes that it shows their son playing with his imaginary friend, Pauline. 
It seems that the picture freaked the family out so much that shortly after it was taken, they decided to move home. Despite the figure's creepy appearance, several viewers thought that it didn't look as though it posed a threat to the boy. In fact, one viewer even suggested that it could have been the boy's guardian angel. So what do you think this photo shows? Is it really the child's imaginary friend? If it is, then one has to wonder whether or not she followed the family to their new house. In this next video, we see Mexican paranormal researcher Alberto Del Arco as he investigates a mysterious place named the Desert of the Lions. The area is said to be home to many paranormal manifestations, and it isn't long before he catches something unusual on camera. Take a look. Cuidado atrás, no te saques. Ay, cabrón, te juro que se me hizo ver alguien pasar por allá. Por allá. Como si se hubiera cruzado. At first, it's rather hard to notice. However, if we slow the footage right down, you can see a ghostly shape moving past the bush. The investigator continues his exploration of the area and is soon startled when an object suddenly falls to the ground. <laughs> Eventually, the YouTuber reaches an old property deep within the woods. Después de un rato, hemos vuelto nuevamente a la casa. Está peligroso, güey. Estar así por la noche no. He and the cameraman begin searching the nearby trees. Deberíamos de buscar el camino al coche nuevamente. Ajá. ¿Qué fue eso? Sí, ¿qué fue? However, as they do, the cameraman inadvertently manages to capture a dark figure moving in one of the windows. Take a look. Again, it's hard to see, but when the footage is slowed down, it becomes more obvious. The investigator continues to search the area, but soon decides to leave and the video abruptly ends. So who or what could this mysterious figure have been? Was it a person or perhaps something supernatural? Let me know your theories on this sighting in the comments down below. Is there really an afterlife? If so, can the living and the dead somehow communicate? If you're a non-believer, then this photo uploaded to Reddit by Crypto Knight 10 might just change your mind. It shows what appears to be words etched into glass. The poster claims that they noticed it one day while taking a shower and that it wasn't there before. The scratchings couldn't be wiped away either as they're actually inside the double pane glass. After posting the photo to Reddit, one viewer thought that they might have decoded the message. They believe that if you make the image black and white and adjust the exposure, it looks like it says, my death is okay, sorry it hurts you. When the poster was asked by another viewer if they had a relative that it might be, they replied, yes I do actually, my best friend was my cousin, he was a professional baseball player, he died in a motorcycle accident a few years before I saw this. So take another look at the photo and let me know what you think it says in the comments down below. Ever wondered what strange undiscovered creatures might be lurking deep in the wilderness? If it's never crossed your mind, then this photo uploaded to our Slaptam subreddit by ZestyClosead4391, it might just make you think about it more often. According to the poster, the image was captured by their friend shows the woods of Kentucky as their family were traveling to their cabin. At first, it seems completely normal, dense foliage by the side of the gravel road. However, if you zoom in on the left-hand side of the photo, about halfway up, you can see something that'll likely give you chills. It appears to be a large dog or wolf-like creature. It has piercing wide eyes and it looks as though it's snarling, revealing large sharp fangs. 
It's even been suggested that the creature resembles a werewolf. So what do you think this beast might be? A large dog or wolf perhaps? Maybe a bear? Or could it be some sort of cryptid yet to be discovered by modern science? Unfortunately for now, the creature's identity will have to remain a mystery. These days it seems the best scary footage is often captured on security cameras. This video uploaded to the AMA Media channel on YouTube certainly seems to prove that point. Take a look. Judging by the timestamp, the clip was recorded a little after 2 a.m. At first, it looks like it shows some sort of creature walking into view. However, after a few seconds, you can see that it's actually a person walking backwards on all fours. The figure shuffles slowly past the camera until it eventually disappears from view. Apparently, another camera was able to catch the figure's movements, this time as it makes its way down an alleyway. Watch. As it approaches the camera, its face comes into view. It's pale and appears to have dark, sunken eyes. While there's little denying that these clips are unnerving, one keen-eyed viewer noticed that the figure in the first video appears to be wearing a dress while the figure in the second video does not. There's also no timestamp in the second video, making it difficult to prove the two clips were recorded at the same time. Despite this, these videos are sure to creep anyone out that sees them. Imagine checking your security camera in the morning only to see this thing crawling past your window at 2 a.m. On September 19th, 2022, a mass UFO sighting occurred in both San Diego and Tijuana. In this video, posted to Reddit by DD32X, we see various clips of the incident captured by several different people. Take a look. It's unclear whether it's one lone object or several bunched closely together. <laughs> <laughs> While it was initially suggested that the lights might be military flares, the poster disagrees, noting that they appear to be in formation and don't follow a typical flare pattern. Witnesses to the event claimed it lasted for around 25 minutes. In two of the videos, you can actually see a helicopter circling near the lights. Looks to be a military helicopter. Uh, those are like normal, but I wonder if he's going, he or she, whoever's flying it, are going out where the lights are. Adding to the mystery, this image shows the flight patterns of two aircraft that were in the vicinity. Interestingly, the plane in red supposedly shut down its transponder. While there's been no official word on what the lights actually were, this suspicious activity certainly does make you wonder. Was this a genuine UFO sighting? We'll keep you posted if and when more information comes to hand. And looks to be a military helicopter. Uh, those are like normal, but I wonder if he's going, he or 
wheels are like normal, but I wonder if he's going, he or she, whoever's flying it, are going where the lights are. This last image on our list was captured by Reddit user JH5992. While staying in the mountain range of Arabida in Portugal, they saw a fox in the middle of the road and decided to take a picture. However, it seems that the photo has also captured something more mysterious. In the back, there appears to be a white human-shaped figure. The poster notes that the picture was taken near where they were staying and that they had four people standing behind them, all of whom swear that there wasn't anyone else around when the photo was taken. So could this photo show a ghost? Or is there another way to explain the mysterious figure? Unfortunately for now, there's not much other info to run with other than this creepy image. So let me know where you land on this and share your theories with one another in the comments down below. Our first clip of the day was uploaded to the Instagram account Unanswered Universe. It's some security footage taken from some kind of factory in an unknown location. Take a look at what happens. Out of nowhere, the woman's head slams down onto the table. It looks like it's forced down by some kind of unseen presence. The woman is clearly startled as she runs to be comforted by a nearby employee. Some commenters said that the woman might have fallen asleep, but others think it looks far too forceful. Unfortunately, this is one of those clips with almost no info attached to it, so we can't dig any deeper. So I'll throw this one out to you, the viewers. What do you think's going on here? Share your theories in the comments down below. This next clip, uploaded to Twitter by Sidio Paranormal, isn't supernatural at all, but it shows just how strong the phenomenon of pareidolia can be. Take a look. As this group flicks their car's lights on and off, you can make out what looks like an eerie face on the trunk of the tree. This is almost certainly a case of pareidolia. Pareidolia is the tendency for people to see faces in everyday objects. It's a type of perceptual illusion, which means that what we see is not really there. Faces are one of the most common things that we can see in pareidolia, but other objects like animals, letters and words can also be perceived. Pareidolia occurs because our brains are wired to recognise faces. We're constantly looking for them in our environment, so it's not surprising that we sometimes see them when they're not really there. This ability to see faces has evolutionary advantages. It helped our ancestors to survive by allowing them to quickly identify friends and foes. So next time you wake up in the middle of the night and think you see a shadowy face staring back at you from the closet, don't worry, it's probably just an illusion. Or is it? This next creepy photo was sent to us by one of our viewers, Carol Botha. Carol says that this unsettling photo hangs on the wall of her friend's childhood home. It was already on the wall when their parents bought the home decades ago, and they've just left it there ever since. In the photo, you can see a horse standing at attention. In the background, you can see that there's actually a shadow of a person sitting on the horse. What's even more unsettling is that the homeowner says that quite often as many as a hundred flies will sit on the frame of this picture. You can even see a fly in the top left hand corner of this photo. Many paranormal experts believe that whenever a specific place or object attracts a swarm of flies it could mean there is a curse or demonic presence nearby. For centuries the symbolism of the fly has been associated with death and pestilence. For example, in Mesopotamian mythology, Nergal is the god of death, 
He's closely linked to suffering and disaster and is often depicted as a swarm of flies. Christians later associated Nergal with a demonic presence. So what's going on with this photo then? Why does the shadow depict a rider? And why do hundreds of flies often cling to its frame? It seems the more you stare at this image, the more unsettling it becomes. This photo was sent to us by one of our viewers, Emily Rigby. Emily says she recently took a series of selfies with her sister at their house. However, in one of them, they noticed an eerie detail they can't quite explain. See if you can spot anything off. On the TV, which was off at the time, there appears to be a reflection of a face. Looks like an older woman staring into the room. Emily says that her nan had recently passed away and that it bears a striking resemblance to her. She also says that her sister and her nan had a particularly strong bond. So could this reflection be their nan trying to make contact from the beyond? Take another look and decide for yourself. The Battle of Shiloh was one of the first major battles of the American Civil War. Fought in early April of 1862, the battle was bloody and resulted in a Union victory. Over 23,000 men were killed or wounded in the fighting, making it one of the deadliest battles in American history. The Union Army ultimately emerged victorious, but at a heavy cost. As the soldiers lay maimed on the battlefield, their wounds left open and raw to the elements, something strange began to happen. Written accounts of the battle's aftermath describe an almost miraculous occurrence. Many of the soldiers' wounds began to glow in the dark. Confederate military surgeon James Dinwiddie witnessed firsthand the mysterious glowing wounds. He noted that the soldiers whose wounds began to luminesce were faring better than those that didn't. Word quickly spread around the battlefield and the phenomenon became known as the Angel's Glow. The Battle of Shiloh was named after a small church that stood on a nearby grassy hill. The name Shiloh translates to heavenly peace. Piecing these two things together, soldiers began to think that something miraculous was happening and that they were being blessed by divine forces. Dr. Dinwiddie took a great interest in the bizarre glowing effect and began to study why it was that some soldiers had a greater chance of survival than others. It would later be discovered that the gleaming effect was caused by bioluminescent bacteria known as Photohabdus luminescens. The bacteria produced antibiotics which staved off infection in those soldiers affected by the angel's glow. This is one of the earliest recorded encounters with the profound effects of antibiotics. Of course, antibiotics wouldn't formally be brought to light until 1928 when Alexander Fleming discovered penicillin. So it would seem the angel's glow has a scientific explanation, but I'm sure those who witnessed the glowing wounds firsthand well before the popularization of germ theory would have believed that a miracle was taking place that day on the battlefield. This bizarre sighting was uploaded to the YouTube channel Paseo Infinito. This footage was captured by a homeowner who noticed that his neighbor was doing something strange on their back porch. Take a look at what he saw. <laughs> The woman appears to be swaying quickly back and forth. The creepy thing is, the homeowner says his neighbour had been doing this weird motion for hours and hours. He first noticed her at 6am. It's not known what the woman was actually doing, but the fact that she had been spotted moving back and forth for hours certainly makes this sighting unnerving. In September 2022, one of our viewers, Abby Lynn Bouchard, was taking some snaps of their recently tidied crafts room. However, as they reviewed the photos, they couldn't help but notice an eerie detail. In the window, there appears to be a dark figure. On closer inspection, it almost looks like a hooded spectre with a skeletal face peering in through the window. The uploader clarified that it couldn't be someone looking in through the window because this room is on the second floor of the house. 
While this figure could be dismissed as perhaps an odd reflection or a shadow, it's Abby's past that makes this photo a little more eerie. When Abby was young, her family moved into an old mill house in South Carolina. Up until then, her childhood had been quite normal. However, once the family moved into this particular house, things began to change. The family began to notice strange things happening in the house. Inexplicable banging sounds could be heard, as well as creaking footsteps late at night. Cupboards would mysteriously open by themselves, and locked doors would somehow be found ajar. Even fire alarms would be routinely set off, despite no smoke or fire. Over the years, the family moved house time and time again, as many as seven times. And with each move, the family believed something paranormal was following them. This photo was taken as the family gathered for Thanksgiving in 2012. In the background, there's a strange misty figure standing in the kitchen. While at first it looks like a mirror hanging on the wall, it's actually an opening that connects the two rooms. However, Abby has no way of explaining the strange misty figure in the other room. So could something paranormal have attached itself to Abby's family all those years ago? How do you explain the strange events and figures that have been caught on film? Is it just pareidolia or is there more to it? Share your opinions on this one in the comments down below. Some weird videos such as this one posted by a YouTube channel called Gothic Art House don't seem all that strange at first. However, the more you think about them, the stranger they become. The Optica Network videos claim to present research about dreams and what they mean. They're presented as a sort of welcome video, as though you've signed up to some kind of strange sleep experiment. Fairly quickly, they make you question the link between waking reality and dream state. What would happen if you couldn't tell the two apart? This particular video, part 9 of the series, discusses certain aspects of dreams that the network considers red flags. The video begins with an unsettling vision of a shadowy figure lurking outside an apartment. The red flags it refers to suggest that someone or something has infiltrated your dreams and may be there to cause harm. For example, dreaming about flying could suggest that you're ready to make a big change in your life. However, the video warns that you should never make a decision before consulting your local Optica agent. Do not make any decision before consulting your local Optica agent. Additionally, if you find yourself trapped in your dreams, Optica warns that you shouldn't talk to yourself. Turns out, duplicates can be very dangerous. If you find yourself trapped in your dream, do not talk to yourself. Duplicates are dangerous and temperamental. Such incidents, along with numerous others, should be immediately reported to an Optica agent for your own safety. Call this number and report your dream. Your cooperation. After discussing a few red flags, the video is interrupted by strange ads and audio labelled as confidential Optica records, in which we hear an Optica patient moaning, let me see him. <gasps> We also hear an official sounding voice stating, make sure the patient doesn't wake up. Ultimately, it's a surreal piece that makes you feel like you're in an alternate reality, in which an ominous entity, the Optica Network, has induced you into a permanent dreamlike state. It's well worth a watch, and I'll put a link to the full video in the description box below. The Chelyabinsk State Museum in southern Russia is home to numerous interesting artifacts. However, one of the most intriguing items displayed at the museum is a fragment of the Chelyabinsk meteor. The largest surviving fragment of the meteorite resides in a glass case cabinet inside the museum. To lift the dome covering the meteorite, a museum official must obtain formal approval, so it's rarely opened. The remote control that operates the four separate motors is kept in a secret place, watched by a security camera. Yet, in December of 2019, a different security camera recorded something unusual, the case lifting on its own. No one had been authorised to open the case, and the remote was secured in its usual place. 
Some state that it was most likely a mechanical glitch, but the odds of all four motors malfunctioning simultaneously are highly unlikely. Several theories have been put forth. Some believe that the heavy glass must have been lifted by a poltergeist or some kind of paranormal force. Others have suggested that the meteorite might have exuded an extraterrestrial force that made all four motors malfunction. This chunk of space rock entered Earth's atmosphere over Russia in 2013, burning brighter than the sun. Because of its humongous size and heavy atmospheric pressure, the meteor burst in the sky, creating a violent shockwave, hot dust and gas, and numerous smaller fragments of rock that sped to the ground. The energy from the blast was approximately 26 times as much as was produced by the atomic bomb that destroyed Hiroshima in 1945. According to authorities, 1,491 people were injured by the blast. Injuries ranged from broken bones and concussions to flash blindness and ultraviolet burns. Around 7,200 buildings were also damaged by the blast. So what do you think made the glass move? Poltergeist, extraterrestrial energy, or simply motor malfunction? Let me know what you think in the comments section below. In Bristol, UK, there have been strange sightings of a man wearing a shed on his head. For years, people have reported seeing a person with a sort of shed helmet walking the local streets, but were unsure whether it was some kind of publicity stunt or prank. In this video here, uploaded to YouTube by Edward Jenkins, you can see one such sighting of the infamous shed head. The shed is adorned with brightly coloured lights that flash in time with techno music blaring from the structure. The shed's chimney often spouts small flames and smoke, making it hard to miss the bizarre spectacle. Subsequent sightings have been popping up all around the internet. This video here from an unknown source shows the man walking down the street as the shed blares out music. The man behind the shed engages in relatively normal behaviour while going about town. As the music blares and the chimney smokes, he walks the streets, checks his phone and does a bit of shopping. The mysterious character recently made headlines in the UK when he was spotted doing some shopping at a local Audi supermarket. Recently, the local Bristol celebrity has self-identified as Michael Shedworth. He did an interview on Big Jubba's Yak Shack music podcast to clarify his way of life. According to the aptly named Mr. Shedworth, the shed is not really a face covering, it's a part of his body. He claims that both of his parents are sheds and that the shed head developed naturally as part of his body. As he got older, the shed developed more fine details, such as its glossy coat and chimney, which he claims are a part of a shed's natural maturation process. The music, lights and flames are also natural according to Mr. Shedworth, emanating from inside him. Despite operating under the Shedworth moniker, the man's true identity remains a mystery. Whether Mr. Shedworth really is a shed head, an attention seeker or slightly unhinged, the weird videos of him living his life are not easily forgotten. According to one of our viewers, Knight Rider V12, something strange has been happening between the sheets. In this set of weird videos, the things that go bump in the night get a little too close for comfort. As Knight Rider V12 rests in bed, a small lump begins moving underneath the covers. He states that the covers are too thick and heavy to be moved by the wind. Even if the sheets could have been disturbed by the wind, there's almost no breeze coming in through the window nearby. His hands and feet are clearly above the sheets, so he couldn't have made the movements himself. He even reaches out to touch the moving spot to confirm there's no small animals underneath the sheets. Yet the movements continue. The viewer states that this has happened numerous times. 
The family believes that they know what's causing the strange phenomenon recorded in these weird videos. About six months before the creepy movements began, the family dog unfortunately drowned in the backyard pool. The dog got stuck underneath the pool cover and died while attempting to get out from under the thick tarp. The family believes that the videos show the ghost of the deceased pet. We can see that the movements resemble an animal poking its snout upward from beneath, just as the dog must have done as it attempted to get air while stuck under the pool cover. Ma. Sadly, the weird videos seem to suggest that the dog may be reliving its final moments while in the afterlife. In another case of a ghostly pet, a CCTV video captured by Juliet Bird and Deanna Crawt seems to have recorded a feline friendship that goes beyond the grave. In July 2020, housemates Juliet and Deanna were notified that their security camera had captured movement. The footage shows a parking area where two cars are sitting idle. The cameras are intended to prevent theft, but they caught something much more eerie. A cat with all white fur walks across the sidewalk in front of the cars. Although all white cats are sometimes playfully called ghost cats, this kitty is not the most interesting thing that occurs in this video. A moment later, another animal follows the white cat onto the screen. This cat, rather than being completely white, is utterly transparent. This second cat follows its feline friend until it seems to vanish into thin air. The housemates identified the white cat as their neighbour's pet Topsy. When they showed the neighbour the footage, the neighbour said that they had another cat called Licorice who had recently passed away. So is Topsy being followed by his old friend Licorice? Let me know what you think in the comments section below. In 2009, YouTuber Thomas Rengstorff posted a strange video showing his latest animatronic creation. Little did he know the disturbing figure would take the internet by storm, earning a place in the Nightmare Hall of Fame. The animatronic is modelled to look like the late pop star Michael Jackson. It moves in time with music that plays in the background. However, as the song plays and the animatronic figure's differently sized eyes stare into the camera, you can hear the distinct sounds of a man screaming. There's also an eerie voice speaking incomprehensibly. Videos and stories of the creation spread like wildfire. The animatronic figure was eventually named El Ini Ayuwaki, an intentional misspelling of Annie Are You OK, which is a popular lyric from Jackson's song Smooth Criminal. The law claims that the hideous Ayuwaki might appear in your bedroom, always at around 3 a.m. The quiet of the night would be shattered by a sound resembling Jackson's iconic hee <laughs> hee. The infamy of Iowaki led to other videos, comics, and memes. The most famous is this supposedly cursed video shared by YouTuber Van Az. The video shows a creature with Iowaki's face atop a pair of long legs clad in loose black pants. The creature has no torso, neck, or arms. It walks up a set of stairs and then begins dancing manically. The muffled Spanish narration tells the story of a man coming across a Michael Jackson CD lying in the street. After playing the CD, he goes insane and is committed to an asylum. Some say the video is cursed, and that watching it even just once could induce panic disorders, anxiety, and deep feelings of existential dread. There's even rumours of people slipping into a permanent state of psychosis.
every single morning, things are on the floor. Every single morning. TikToker Tasha Daz claims that every morning when she gets up, two cookbooks are always on the floor of her kitchen. No matter how many times she puts them back on the countertop, the next morning, they're always back on the floor. To get to the bottom of what was going on, Tasha set up a camera to film the books around the clock. Take a look at what she discovered. As you can see, the books fall over at a little after 1am. Then several hours later at 3am, they slide off the countertop as if pushed by something. Several days later, her dog started acting strangely in the hallway. <coughs> Barking and whining as if something's there. Prompted by the overwhelming response she got on TikTok, Tasha decided to set up another camera in the kitchen to see if anything else could be captured on film. Take a look at what she captured this time. This one's more subtle, but the clip begins with a strange knocking sound. Then the glass of red liquid on the bench begins to swish about. Just as the liquid moves, a very subtle, orb-like object flies from right to left. Then another object slides slowly off the bench. As of right now, this TikToker has no idea how to explain these strange happenings in her home. Tasha says that several paranormal investigators have reached out to her and have offered to run some tests on the house. So until that happens, this footage will have to remain a mystery. This eerie footage was sent to us on our Slaptam Facebook group by Joey Radke. The Minnesota local believes he's captured a ghostly entity lurking outside of his bedroom on camera. The clip is so eerie it was even picked up by a UK news outlet where it was touted as proof of the afterlife. Take a look at what's been captured. As you can see, there's a figure in the hallway. It looks to be a woman. She stands there for a brief second before disappearing completely. Joey and his partner Amy were apparently warned about the property when they moved in a little over two years ago. They were told the house was haunted by a demonic presence. 
for the most part, living at the property has been fairly normal until this incident. The couple had installed CCTV cameras to keep an eye on their pets. After seeing this eerie footage, Joey decided to investigate the history of the home. He discovered that a previous tenant, an elderly lady, died in the apartment. It's said she was carried out by paramedics, still wearing her nightie. Some viewers believe it looks like the figure in the footage is wearing a nightgown. Since capturing the footage, Joey feels like he's being watched around the house. The current landlord said they felt like something was off about the property and the previous tenant stated they saw demonic entities, shadowy figures and said something was watching them while they slept. Joey believes this is the holy grail of ghost videos, stating that this incident can't be faked and that it proves there's an afterlife. Cal, did you send Joey out? Cal. It's going. There That's it is. It's on the screen. Cal. Do you see it standing there? Yep. Yeah. One evening, TikToker CMLLGS1 noticed something strange happening in the apartment building across from them. They noticed that the lights in one particular apartment were flickering on and off. They kept an eye on it and it didn't stop for over an hour. That's when they decided to take out their phone and film the strange event. Even though it had been flickering for over an hour, as soon as they started filming, apparently it stopped. Then, sometime later, it began again, but this time something far more eerie happened. Take a look. Slowing that down, a transparent figure seems to move through the apartment when the light is off. Naturally, the thousands of viewers who saw this clip were freaked out. Due to the eerie flickering, many thought it had to be a ghost. Some noted it looked like the figure just disappears when the lights turn back on. Unless the OP knows the person in that apartment, it would be pretty hard to fake this footage. Even if this clip is genuine, we still don't know exactly what we're looking at here. Could it really be a ghost? Drop your theories in the comments section down below and share them with the rest of the community. This next set of photos were sent to us on our Slaptown Facebook group. They were captured in September 2021 by one of our community members, James Fredette, on his wedding day. On the day, James was happily snapping some pics of his wife and friends and family. He took a series of snaps in quick succession and didn't think too much of it until he reviewed the pics. One of the photos is completely normal. Then the others, taken just a split second later, seem to show a strange mist-like substance. James says they were the last group to leave the venue and that there was no one smoking anywhere near them. According to James, his wife's son passed away in 2018 and his own father died in 2021. The family believes that these strange anomalies are their loved ones making an appearance in spirit form. The rest of the Facebook community seem to agree that this could indeed be their loved ones making contact from beyond. And frankly, if this brings James and his family some comfort, then that's all that really matters. This clip was uploaded to TikTok by Matta Patton. It's some home security footage of a woman preparing dinner, and what happens seems to have split the comments section as no one can quite agree on a cause. Take a look and see what everyone's talking about.
Watching that again, one of the bowls begins to slide all by itself. The woman notices it and tries to replicate the movement, but can't seem to do so. A lot of comments on the clip said it's just condensation under the bowl making it slide. While this is certainly a possibility, the woman in the clip tries to replicate the movement. It seems like she too thought it was condensation as well. But when she can't get the bowl to slide, that's when a lot of viewers thought that something paranormal may be afoot. So where do you sit on this? Condensation or something a little more sinister? Drop your thoughts in the comment section down below. Sticking with strange things caught on security camera, this next one was uploaded to TikTok by Danny Berg XO. She says that her boss claims that a ghost has always followed her around. No one took the claims all that seriously. That is, until this footage was captured. Take a look. Out of nowhere, the bins jostle and fall over. there doesn't appear to be anything that could have caused this sudden movement. Because the boss has always thought spirits have followed her, she just goes about her day, unfazed by the strange movement. A couple of theories sprang up in the comments section. Some suggested that there's someone hiding behind the silver box in the foreground. Perhaps they poked the bin on the left, causing them to topple over. Another person suggested that, that it seems like the machines on the wall are soda pop dispensers. It's possible then that a customer or employee used the soda tap and the sudden pump of gas could have caused the bins to move. So without further info, it's hard to speculate on what's actually happening here. You'll have to watch the footage again and make your own mind up. In mid-2021, TikToker Frenchie dropped some footage of a video call they recorded with their friend Leighton, who apparently lives in a very haunted house. The clip has been freaking viewers out ever since. Take a look. As you can see, the cupboard door opens mysteriously all by itself. This continues to happen throughout the call. At one point, the footage zooms in to show what appears to be a strange grey face. While this could be a case of pareidolia, the tendency for humans to see familiar patterns in inanimate objects, it still doesn't explain why the cupboard door keeps opening, seemingly all on its own. The reactions seem quite genuine too. 
The OP in the top corner looks freaked out, yet intrigued. While Leighton in the centre of frame looks resigned to the bizarre activity, almost annoyed that it keeps happening. So, are we seeing genuine paranormal activity here, or is it all just a hoax? Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Reddit user BeautyMo1989 shared this unsettling clip to our Slaptam subreddit, hoping viewers could make sense of it. The OP said that they regularly wake up during the night and hear strange noises in their home. One night it was so bad that they were hearing it every two hours. Eventually they grabbed their camera in the hopes of capturing some evidence of what was making the noises. Take a look at what they saw. Watching that again, when the lights are off, there seems to be a shadowy figure sitting on the desk. However, when the lights are on, there's nothing there. Our viewer shared the footage because they weren't sure whether they were seeing things or whether there was something genuinely there. The shadow doesn't seem to correspond with any of the objects in the room, which does make this sighting quite unsettling. Also, the fact that the OP had been hearing noises makes this encounter all the more eerie. This is an old clip from 2009 uploaded to YouTube by Lisa Suriyafi. In July of that year, a resident in Joppa, Maryland spotted something truly odd happening in their neighborhood. Luckily, they had a camera handy to record the bizarre event. Take a look. As you can see, it looks like several trees are uprooting themselves and walking around. One by one, they move behind the house in the distance, but somehow they remain upright. This goes on for more than six minutes. Some commenters said that they were Ents from the Lord of the Rings. Others suggested it was Bigfoot ripping up trees and carrying them around. Sadly, the camera holder doesn't get closer for a better look, so it's not clear what is actually moving the trees. There are giant logging machines called harvesters that can lop and lift an entire tree, so it's possible there are just some loggers working behind the house that we can't see. I do, however, much prefer the thought of giant walking trees handing out quests to passing adventurers. This next video was shared by the Instagram account World Star and was originally captured by Patrick D. Grant underscore 2020. Looking out a window at night time, this camera holder spotted something unusual. Take a look. I'm not tripping. I swear to God, I'm not tripping. 
What airplane y'all know standing like this? No airplanes. Look at that, another one popped up right there. Where? At the bottom. You're right. I know I'm Most not sure. I, I see the lights blinking on the top one. Floating in the night sky are three glowing lights. I'm not tripping. I promise you. On Netflix tripping. right now is the number five in the um, USA I'm Today not show. I swear to God, I'm not tripping. Before long, a fourth ball appears at the bottom of the formation. Look at that, another one popped up right there. Where? At the bottom. You're right. I know I'm Most not tripping. Planes, I, see the, I see the lights blinking on the top one. The general consensus in the comments section is that this is yet another sighting of aliens from another planet. With all the weird stuff that's been happening lately, most viewers are resigned to the fact that aliens will show up any day now. So what do you think? Is this a genuine alien sighting? Will intelligent life from other planets be visiting us sometime soon? Love to hear your take on this sighting in the comments section down below. Look at that, another one popped up right there. Where? At the bottom. You're right. I know I'm not sure. I, I see the lights blinking on the top one. El Payaso de la Toledo is a paranormal YouTube channel based in Mexico. They regularly travel around the country looking for the strange and unusual. In this episode, they investigate a notorious cemetery in Guasave in the northwestern state of Sinaloa. The team had heard rumors that the area is haunted. The caretaker of the property has allegedly seen a ghostly child manifest out of nowhere on several occasions. He's said to have seen a lady in white among the tombstones as well, and he even believes that the devil himself lurks in the old graveyard. Having heard the stories numerous times, the team decide to investigate the property for themselves. The night begins with some eerie sounds. Hola. A few minutes later, the team spots something in the distance. Watch. Oh. Watching that again, as they see what looks like a childlike figure, a cross seems to fall over all by itself. Later in the investigation, something stranger happens. While taking a look at the tomb of famous Mexican singer Valentin Elizalde, this happens. As you can see, the YouTuber's hat seems to fly off his head for no apparent reason. Valentin Elizalde. What makes this even more unsettling is that Valentin Elizalde was murdered. On November 25th, 2006, after playing a gig in Reynosa, Elizalda was gunned down while leaving the venue. It's believed he had angered a notorious gang in one of his songs. So could the spirit of Elizalde be trying to make contact by tipping this YouTuber's hat? Given the caretaker's testimony that the property is heavily haunted and that the devil himself apparently roams the grounds, perhaps all those who are buried here are unable to find peace. Maybe their souls are in a state of permanent unrest, 
and the activity within the grounds of the graveyard is their way of seeking help. This is some CCTV footage that was uploaded to Reddit by Candace May 3. A little over a year ago, their dog passed away and they've been mourning the loss ever since. It's been so hard on the family that they even kept the dog's toys around the house as mementos. This clip was captured by their home security system at 4am. Watch what happens. Watching that again, you can see their dog's ball roll around the living room. It moves as if something's pushing it along, zigzagging back and forth. There's another eerie detail about this clip that the OP didn't even notice until Reddit users began pointing it out. It happens right at the end of the clip. Watch. As you can see, a door on the left-hand side of the room seems to open all by itself. Again, it was 4am when this was taken and no one was awake. When the OP finally noticed the door opening, they said that the previous owner of the house died in their bedroom. If the dog's spirit is active, then perhaps the previous owner is too. What do you make of this eerie footage? I'd love to hear your theories in the comment section down below. For years, conspiracy theorists have speculated that there's something very strange going on within the British royal family. Some say they're lizard people or aliens or that they're the head of the New World Order. This next clip, uploaded by Terra and Los Videos, may be a glimpse into the bizarre inner workings of the royal family. Here we can see a public appearance by Prince Harry and his wife Meghan Markle. See if you can spot anything unusual. If we watch that again, keep a close eye on Meghan Markle. She seems to be acting strangely. Some viewers have noted that she almost looks robotic. She moves strangely and she seems to have a blank look in her eye. When this footage went live, theories ran rife as to what's actually happening. Some suggested it might actually be a stand-in wearing a mask, perhaps for Megan's own safety. A similar theory was floated that it's a dummy or robot stand-in for safety reasons. Of course, there were more outlandish suggestions like clones or even a glitch in the Matrix. But then again, maybe it is just Megan and there's nothing strange going on at all. So where do you sit on this peculiar piece of footage? Love to hear your thoughts on this in the comment section down below. Nothing else. There's no breeze. It's moving again. Our first clip of the day has been going viral this past couple of weeks as it purports to show a haunted church. The video, which was shared to TikTok by user Did you See It, shows a pastor in his church making a quick video update for his congregation. As he does, things begin to get a little strange. Take a look. Pastor Aaron here. It's my pleasure just to announce that we this Sunday will be, oh, will be uh, open. Over and over, the podium behind the priest falls over. Fallen over, on its own, and it's. Uh, it's stable. I mean, it's not wobbly at all. It's uh, kind of like... The... the pastor then shows us that there's no air conditioning or breeze that could have made the podium move. No air conditioning. It's these things. They're off. 
I don't know. So I'm just going to sit here and watch it for a little bit. Towards the end of the clip, a flag begins to move as well. Ooh, that thing's moving. That hasn't been moving. Nothing else. There's no breeze. It's moving again. The fact that this footage was captured by a priest has led thousands of viewers to believe that this could be genuine paranormal activity. A lot of comments said that they'd like to think a man of the cloth wouldn't make a hoax video just for a bit of fun. There were a few commenters who thought they could see a piece of string pulling the podium over. However, it's hard to confirm as nothing seems to stand out. Uh, it's stable. I mean, it's not wobbly at all. It's uh, kind of like... The some viewers thought it was demonic energy antagonizing the priest in his own church. So what do you think? Are we witnessing some real paranormal activity here, or is this priest deceiving us? Let me know where you land on this in the comments below. Pastor Aaron here. It's my pleasure just to announce that we this Sunday will be, oh, will be uh, open. Some months ago, a family in an undisclosed part of Russia began experiencing some unusual activity around their home, in particular near their laundry area. They set up a camera to roll 24-7 to try and catch proof that something strange really was happening. The footage was shared to TikTok by user TikTok Paranormal. Take a look at what's been captured. First, a towel seems to move on its own. On a separate day, the same towel appears to be levitating in mid-air. <gasps> Another day shows a tennis ball moving around the room. The homeowner then tries an experiment by placing some flour on the floor. Take a look at what happens. Something seems to pass right through the flour. She tries the same thing with a mug. <laughs> Things then seem to escalate. The whole door comes off its hinges. Then more eerie activity is captured by the camera. Looking more closely, the pages in the book appear to fold by themselves. And here, yet more movement can be seen. So what's happening in this home in Russia? A lot of viewers were genuinely terrified for this poor woman's safety, with some saying she should leave the house immediately or get a priest to come bless the space. Unfortunately, there's very little information for us to run with with this series of clips. We don't know where exactly it was filmed or by who. So for now, unless more info comes to hand, this bizarre series of clips will have to remain a mystery. This next one was sent to us by a viewer named April C from the Philippines. April says she was on a Zoom call running a training session with some colleagues when they eventually got to chatting about paranormal experiences. AJ in the bottom left said that he believes his apartment is haunted. He says he's seen the ghostly forms of a woman and a young child walking through his home. He's also seen doors slam on their own, taps turn on, and weird noises can be heard at all hours of the night. 
Anyone that sleeps over in the apartment has a dream that a small child is sitting on their chest. They become hard of breath and wake up in a fit of panic to an empty room. AJ just laughed it off and they continued their training. Because they work for an international client, the footage you're about to see was captured at exactly 3am. That's when something odd was caught on AJ's webcam. Take a look. So guys, it's already 12pm. You may join Vince sa Google Meet na link sa calendar invite and no wo sa tub to ina sana hoy age what na itik nila so guys it's already 12 pm you may join Vince sa Google Meet na link sa calendar invite and no wo sa tub to ina spooked down AJ shows the group that he's alone but doesn't quite know what the rest of the group saw ako ina kita sa likod nimo ayan na lang Dito, dito, sa pikas, sa pikas, sa pikas, sa pikas. Masa? Na ako'y nakita. Oh, man. Dira, dira. Uy, sit, nitindog yun akong balahibo. Dira. If we watch it again, slow down, you can see a pale form pass by in the background. April's a big fan of our show and didn't think anything paranormal would happen to her. To this day, she still can't explain the strange shape in AJ's feed. Given that he believes his apartment is haunted, it certainly does make you wonder what this thing could be. So guys, it's already 12pm. You may join Vince sa Google Meet na link sa calendar invite and... No, I'm so tired. Last year, we ran a story on a man named Mario Lara. He runs a party supply shop in Guadalajara in the western state of Jalisco, Mexico. Mario believes his store is haunted by an unknown presence. For some time now, he's been uploading downright chilling footage from inside his store. His store is reportedly so haunted, it's become somewhat of an attraction in the local area. All kinds of alleged paranormal events have taken place, like objects moving on their own, eerie figures have been caught on camera, and staff members have even been aggressively attacked by unseen forces. Last time, we showed one of his most famous pieces of evidence. Take a look. Then he tried an experiment with some flour on the floor. Take a look at what happens. Well now, another startling piece of footage has been captured inside Mario's store. This was captured in the middle of the day while Mario was standing in the showroom. Take a look. Watching that again closely, you can see one of Mario's fingers twist back violently. He looks to be in great pain as he tries to straighten his finger. So what's going on here? The more evidence that piles up, the more people are starting to believe that Mario's store could genuinely be haunted by some kind of malicious spirit.
This next clip comes from one of our viewers, Amye Price. They posted the video to our Facebook community page asking other members for their opinions. Price says she was recently sitting in her living room when suddenly a balloon floated strangely out of her daughter's room. Take a look at what she caught on camera. Sadly, in 2016, Price's other daughter passed away. She couldn't help but think that this could be a gesture from her lost daughter making contact from the beyond. Price also notes that there were no fans, AC or windows open at the time this was recorded, so it's hard to explain the balloon's oddly specific movement. Most viewers agreed that the balloon seemed to float straight up to Price intentionally. While it's hard to know what's happening here for certain, if this gesture brings some comfort to the family in what must be a very difficult time, then that's all that really matters. Our last clip of the day comes from a paranormal investigation group known as Haunt Hunters. In this video, the team investigates the old Washoe Club in Virginia City, Nevada, a location many locals believe to be heavily haunted. The team starts by setting up their specialised equipment to try and get a read on the property. The Washoe Club dates back to the late 19th century and was known on the Pacific coast as a luxury destination for the elite. The club once housed one of the finest libraries in the United States, and its stately rooms were filled with Italian marble, bronze statues and carved black walnut sideboards. Its guest list comprised of members of high society and military officials like General Ulysses S. Grant, General Robert Sherman and railroad magnate Darius Ogden Mills among a list of 50 other millionaires of international repute. However, over the years things began to take a turn for the strange for this once go-to hotspot. As millionaires drank their fill, they mingled with prostitutes and shady characters who would come and go through two secret exits at the rear of the building. There are rumours that one of the rooms of the parlour was used to house dead bodies while gravediggers waited for the ground to thaw during cold winters. Today, the property is said to be haunted by three notable spirits. First is the Lady in Blue, a blonde-haired woman spotted at the top of the spiral staircase. She's said to linger for a second, then disappear without a trace. Some guests have spotted a scared little girl that faces the corner of one of the rooms crying. When they go to console her, they're confused to find nothing but a strange energy in the room and a cold pocket of air. Finally, there's the spirit of an old-timey prospector who's believed to have a penchant for whiskey. He's known to knock over patrons' drinks when they aren't looking. Bartenders even leave out a single shot of bourbon overnight to appease his spirit. Back on the Haunt Hunters investigation, the team have set up an old doll in a chair and are trying to communicate with any spirits that might be present. I see you trying to communicate. Just put all your strength into pushing one of these balls. They ask a series of questions. And eventually, this happens. Oh, oh my god! Oh! Thank you! No way, that was amazing! I... You are so incredibly strong. Thank you. Can you do it again? Can you push this ball? I'll push it right back. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. That was incredible. Oh my gosh, dude. Thank you so much. Go ahead and roll that again. Out of nowhere, a ball rolls across the floor, seemingly in response to one of their questions. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Thank you. No way, that was amazing! I... 
The team believes this could be the spirit of a young child attempting to communicate, but just whether it's the little girl that's famous for haunting this property remains unknown. The Washoe Club has become such a notorious destination that Travel Channel's Ghost Adventures even filmed an entire episode here. The club even runs regular guided ghost tours that cover all three floors of this historic property. Guests are encouraged to take photos and record audio, because you never know what the next tantalizing piece of evidence might be. Oh, oh my god! Oh! Thank you! Is it possible to conjure up ghosts simply with our minds? That was the question asked by a group of individuals from the Toronto Society of Psychical Research in the early 1970s. None of the members of the group were gifted with any supposed psychic or spiritual powers. Still, they were curious to see if they could conjure up a ghost by simply using their collective imagination and visualization. Lead researcher Dr. A.R. George Owen believed that ghosts were merely an illusion created by the mind, if the mind truly believed it to be so. To test Dr. Owen's theory, the group created a fictitious spirit named Philip. Philip was given a complete biography by the group, from his birth to his unfortunate death by suicide at the age of 30. The spirit was born in the 1620s in England and was a knighted member of the military. One day he met and fell in love with a gypsy girl beginning an affair with her. His wife discovered the affair and burned the girl at the stake. As a result, Philip ended his life driven to death by sorrow. For the experiment, the group was seated around a table discussing Philip as well as visualizing him and his life. For months, absolutely nothing occurred, though some group members swear that they could feel another presence among them. After a few months, the group decided to switch up the experiment by incorporating a more traditional seance scene, dimming the lights around them and placing their hands on a table. In doing so, they hoped that Philip would speak to them by either knocking on or rotating the table. Only when they changed the experiment up did they finally find some success. They asked Philip questions about his life and the supposed spirit began to interact with the group. There was rapping on and vibrations of the table as well as unexplained echoes and sudden gusts of air felt by the group. At one point, the table the group was sitting at levitated and moved across the room of its own accord. The experiment began to be filmed and at one point there was a live taping of the group done in front of an audience of 50 people. A video on YouTube gives glimpses into the experiment, including snippets of the actual paranormal activity. In the video uploaded by History vs Hollywood on YouTube, viewers can see the group seated around the table, hands out, asking Philip questions. At one point, a rapping sound can be heard in response to a question. Following this, the table shakes and seems to lift off the ground. The video cuts to another clip with the group standing up with their hands on the table, singing. Suddenly, the table completely tilts to the left, falling on its side. Dr. Owen's wife, Iris Owen, explains that the group was very surprised when they first heard the knocking. The video then cuts to an interview with psychologist Dr. Joel Witten, who theorizes that the paranormal occurrences happen due to the collective belief and concentrated energy of the group. The group is involved in a, a joint feeling of mutuality. Each member almost intuitively senses the other person and their feelings. Is it some type of concentration of energy? The Philip experiment was met with both awe and criticism in its day. The main criticism lay in the fact that the experiment didn't have any control factors, as usually found in scientific experiments. Additionally, the scientific community remains hesitant to call seances trustworthy. There have been other groups who have tried to replicate the experiment, though usually to no avail. Didn't you like Dorothea? Oh. 
The Philip experiment may be just one mystery left unsolved. In April 2016, a 7.3 magnitude earthquake hit Fukuoka, a city located in northern Kyushu Island, Japan. While the earthquake caused plenty of damage itself, it was what happened shortly after that left many residents scratching their heads. 90 miles from the epicenter of the earthquake appeared a thick foam that covered the streets. Residents walked and drove over the foam but had no idea where it emerged from. In some places, the mysterious foam was knee-high, making it hard to wade through. Other residents refused to leave their houses in fear of what the foam could be. Local first responders and authority figures tried to theorise where exactly the foam came from. Some believe the foam could have been derived from a busted pipe under the streets, though no cracks could be found in the streets which the foam could have leaked through. Others thought the foam could be from a firefighter's hose, though no foam was found in the hoses either, and the sheer size and breadth of which the foam covered made no sense either. Still today, the foam remains a complete mystery with no explanation given. What do you think this foam could be? Love to get your thoughts on this strange mystery in the comment section below. To this day, 80% of the ocean remains unexplored by mankind. This has left plenty of room for speculations and theories as to what mysteries are in the deep blue, just waiting to be discovered. One of these mysteries became known as the Baltic Sea Anomaly. In 2011, the Swedish diving team named Ocean X came across an abnormal sonar image, leading to a baffling discovery, a sunken object that strikingly resembled a craft of some kind. The object quickly became known as the Baltic Sea Anomaly, as it was discovered in the Baltic Sea between Sweden and Finland. The diving team described the object as having what looked to be man-made formations, including ramps and stairways. Scientists quickly began to come up with ideas to explain the strange object, including the idea that it was a geological formation created over thousands of years, possibly since the Ice Age. Samples taken from the object and examined by scientists concluded that the structure is made mostly of granites, gneisses and sandstone. The object's discovery led to some controversy, as the tabloids began to create sci-fi fantasies of what the object could be. These fantasies included everything from being a flying saucer to the Millennium Falcon. Scientists around the world were adamant that this was nothing more than a simple rock formation blown out of proportion. The Ocean X diving team also eventually came under fire as they offered to take wealthy tourists down to the sea floor to see the object for themselves. The team also claimed that they were never able to capture a good photo of the object due to technical difficulties. Many believe the group have exaggerated what the anomaly really looks like in order to gain notoriety. Could this be the case? Or has the mystery object blended in just well enough to escape deeper discovery? Over the years, there have been countless supposed alien sightings, with one of the most prominent occurring in early 1800s Japan. Whether it's simply a Japanese legend or a real recorded experience remains up for debate to this day. The event took place in 1803 in the Hitachi province of eastern Japan. A group of fishermen on the region's coast noticed a large ship drifting alone in the waters. Curious, the group towed the boat to shore to inspect it. The large boat resembled a wooden rice pit, with the upper half of the ship constructed of rosewood and the lower half of brazen plates. The strange ship was said to have windows made of crystal lined by an unknown resin. The fishermen decided to look inside the ship, where they saw inscriptions written in an unknown language. Suddenly, they came across a peculiar figure, a beautiful woman somewhere between the ages of 18 and 20, with very pale pinkish skin, striking red hair. She was donning clothes that were unrecognisable to the group of Japanese fishermen. Furthermore, she spoke a language the group couldn't understand, and held a box in her hand that she wouldn't let others go near. 
The villagers began to speculate as to who this woman could be, with one villager theorising that the woman was a prominent figure in her homeland, wherever that may have been. He further speculated that she was cast away from her homeland after engaging in adultery, and inside the box that she so desperately protected was the head of her deceased lover. The other villagers became terrified and decided to send the woman back to her boat so she could drift away. This same story was recounted in three different texts over the years, with each text following the same themes of a strange boat that looked nothing like regular boats of the period as well as a beautiful woman holding a mysterious box close to her. Plenty of Japanese and international researchers have tried to find an explanation for this story. Some believe that the drawings that accompanied the story portrayed what a typical Russian woman might have looked like at the time, including the description of her hair and skin. Still, plenty of other individuals, including ufologists, believe the incident was an encounter with an alien species and the boat was an unidentified craft of some kind. However, many Japanese individuals believe this story is simply a myth, created in olden times to add to Japanese folklore. One million dollars to demonstrate some paranormal activity. Talk about a good deal. While this isn't a mystery as such, it's well worth taking a look at. The $1 million Paranormal Challenge was initiated by the James Randi Educational Foundation in 1964 to any applicant who could perform paranormal or supernatural activity beyond a reasonable doubt. Over 1,000 people applied and every single one failed. James Randi, a prominent stage magician, believed that there was absolutely nothing magical about magic. It was simply a well-planned and put-together illusion. Upon hearing this claim, a parapsychologist challenged him to put money up against any potential paranormal challenger. Randy initially agreed to give out a $1,000 prize, but as the challenge grew in popularity, other organizations and individuals decided to join in on the fun, raising funds up to one million US dollars. Until the challenge's discontinuation in 2015, applicants attempted to demonstrate many different kinds of skills and abilities, including medical dowsing, mediumship, and the use of performance-enhancing bracelets. One prominent psychic, Sylvia Brown, was challenged live on air by famous broadcaster and journalist Larry King to take the test. Brown accepted. On September 3, 2001, Brown and Randy appeared on Larry King Live once more, but Brown refused to take the test. Afterwards, Randy posted a timer on his website, that recorded the number of days and weeks that had passed since Brown accepted the test but failed to follow through. A martial arts group based in Bali, Indonesia, known as Yellow Bamboo, claim one of their members, Pak Nyoman Serengan, can knock down approaching attackers from a distance using only a piece of yellow bamboo. Sketchy, low-resolution videos were posted to the group's website showing the alleged abilities. Here's some footage of the group's practices uploaded to YouTube by IET4C0S. Participants run at a practitioner who shouts and pushes them to the ground, allegedly by some sort of invisible force. Volunteers working with the James Randi Educational Foundation agreed to travel to Bali and conduct initial testing on these abilities. However, the Yellow Bamboo group began making excuses as to why they couldn't participate. Eventually, James Randi called the whole experiment off. Out of the hundreds of applicants applying for the fund, none of the experiments were successful, though some critics disagreed with the sincerity of Randi's challenge, as the measurements of proving something was real without a doubt is hard to define. Still, the challenge was popular and remains a hot topic of conversation for paranormal fans around the world. Tina Resch's story seems too bizarre to be true, though sometimes the truth is stranger than fiction. Tina's story starts in October of 1969. Just a few months after she was born, her mother brought her to the hospital and left her there, abandoning her. She was therein adopted by Joan and John Resch, who were physically abusive to her during her childhood. 
When she was 14, Tina watched the horror film The Poltergeist, and the alleged paranormal activity that would follow her for the rest of her life began. Shortly after watching the film, strange events started happening when Tina was near. These included flying objects around the house and things falling down from the walls. Parapsychologist William Roll decided to investigate the case and stayed in the Resch's house. Roll claimed that there were indeed telekinesis events in the house, but never when Roll was actually looking at the objects in question. Reporter Mike Harden and photographer Fred Shannon were also given access to the Resch household, but like Roll, didn't see any paranormal activity until they looked away. Shannon attempted to take a picture with his camera while looking in a different direction and managed to capture one photo of the house telephone flying across Tina's lap. Still, many speculated that Tina was able to manipulate the objects while others were looking away, probably because she was a young girl who craved attention. Subsequently, a video camera caught Tina knocking over a table lamp and screaming as if it happened in front of her, confirming many individuals' doubts about the paranormal activity. However, Tina Rash's story only gets stranger. As an adult, Tina was married and divorced twice and had one child. At age three, Tina's child died. Both Tina and her then boyfriend were arrested and charged for murder, though Tina wasn't present when her daughter died. Still, Tina received a life sentence plus 20 years and remains in prison to this day. Tina didn't mention telekinetic activity during her trial, though perhaps such a tragic finale to such a bizarre life is no big surprise. Our first clip of the day was uploaded to Instagram by Russ Horror, but its true origins are unknown. The footage begins with a hospital employee showing us that it's after 3 a.m. and that no one else is in the staff cafeteria. That's when suddenly he catches this on camera. One of the chairs in the cafeteria moves, seemingly all by itself. Shortly after, another chair slides across the floor. Then a shopping trolley shifts as well. <laughs> the footage then cuts to a shot of some microwaves. Watch what happens. Then, yet more activity is captured. The footage then abruptly cuts and we're left wondering just what it is we're seeing here. Unfortunately, it's not known exactly which hospital this was filmed in, so it's impossible to research the property and dig into the history of the area. Most commenters agreed that the footage was creepy as heck, but some couldn't quite tell whether the man was genuine or not. One viewer jokingly commented, saying that the ghost is annoyed that the man isn't more scared. <laughs> So for now, I'll throw this one out to you lot for final judgment. Let me know where you land on this one in the comments below.
there's no single answer as to whether or not alien abductions are real, as there's much evidence to support both sides of the argument. Some people believe that alien abductions are simply hallucinations caused by mental illness, while others believe that they're real events in which aliens take away people for mysterious and unknown reasons. This next clip has set the internet alight with speculation as to whether or not a real alien abduction has been caught on camera. The original source of this footage remains elusive, but this version was shared to TikTok by a user named Darktales Zero. It's late at night and this home security camera shows two people sitting in their backyard enjoying a drink. They appear to be chatting away, when suddenly something off camera catches their attention. Watching that again slowed down, the lady on the right appears to disappear. A strange flash or trail of light flickers in the air. The man falls off his chair. He looks around confused, dazed by what's just happened. So is this a real alien abduction caught on camera? The video has caused quite a stir online, with many people speculating it could be evidence of extraterrestrial life. One of the first ever recorded accounts of an alien abduction comes from a couple named Betty and Barney Hill. In September 1961, the couple were driving home from a vacation in Canada when they saw a bright light in the sky. They believed that it was a UFO and that they were being abducted by aliens. According to reports, they woke up hours later with no memory of what had happened to them. They also began experiencing nightmares and flashbacks of the event. A psychiatrist helped them recall the event through hypnosis. At first, the psychiatrist was quite skeptical of their story, but eventually started to believe that they were telling the truth about what occurred during their abduction period. Many abductees report being paralyzed or unconscious during the experience. They often describe being examined by aliens, sometimes having strange procedures done to them. These procedures are often bizarre, including placing implants inside their bodies. Some abductees report being forced to have sex with aliens against their will. Several alleged abductees have even reported that they've had children with aliens. So then, are we witnessing a genuine alien abduction in this backyard footage? Unless the man in the footage comes forward with a public statement, this clip will have to remain a complete mystery. This next curious piece of footage was captured by a security camera in El Paso, Texas. The footage was uploaded by a popular Instagram page based in Texas called The Real Fit Fam El Paso. Take a look at what's been caught on camera. A strange line seems to cling to the front of the truck. While some have dismissed the sighting as nothing more than lens flare, some locals believe it could be a guardian angel, making sure the driver is safe as they leave a flooded area near Alameda Avenue, some 27 miles south of downtown El Paso. In late August 2022, El Paso, Texas was hit with a severe thunderstorm. The storm brought with it high winds and an intense rainfall that caused flooding throughout the city. Many roads were closed due to the flooding and several homes and businesses were damaged. Thankfully, there were no reported fatalities from the storm. 
It's this lack of fatalities that has some locals believing that a guardian angel is blessing their town and that this footage is proof of divine intervention. In August 2022, residents of Izmit, Turkey were stunned when they recorded what appeared to be a very unusual weather phenomenon. The clip was uploaded to Instagram by Harvard Forum. Take a look. <laughs> People have gathered to watch what appears to be a very localised patch of rain. <laughs> <laughs> the camera shows that the rest of the immediate area is bone dry, yet a small patch about a metre wide seems to be heavily raining. <laughs> they point the camera upwards to the buildings overhead and there doesn't appear to be anything leaking or causing the water to rain down, at least from the buildings that is. <laughs> in 2021, a similar incident was caught on camera. This was captured in West Java in Indonesia when local politician Yurian Riana saw this bizarre downpour in a parking lot. Some meteorologists have suggested these sightings might be examples of what's known as Virga rain. Virga rain is a type of precipitation that evaporates before it reaches the ground. It's often seen as streaks or wisps of rain falling from clouds but disappearing before it reaches the ground. Virga is most common in arid and semi-arid regions where there's little moisture for the rain to fall into. However, sometimes it can result in ultra-localised rain like we're seeing here. A very small patch of water may make it to the ground while the rest of the area remains bone dry. So have you ever heard of or seen ultra-localised rain? If you have, I'd love to hear about it in the comments down below. <laughs> Alright guys, got some new fish. Pretty a short while ago, we ran some footage from one of our viewers, Get the Bass, that caused quite a stir in our comments section. The clip we featured showed the homeowner filming his fish tank. Take a look at what he caught on camera. The black one, and I, if you guys have any suggestions for names that... What the f... A strange hand appears at the rear of the tank, but by the time the camera holder notices, there's no one around. A black one, and I, if you guys have any suggestions for names that... What the f... What the f... Since the incident, the OP has suspected that his house might be haunted. Well now, yet more footage is being captured in the home. This time the OP took out his phone when he began to hear some off-putting noises. Watch what happens. Uh, I heard a couple of sort of bangs. Sometimes it sounds like footsteps, um, like in the last 10 minutes. Sorry, my camera, by the way, keeps uh, defocusing. I'm not sure why. But um, yeah, I just thought I'd record to so just try and like catch any... Watching that again, after a few mysterious bumps, it sounds like someone comes running down the stairs right at the camera holder. Yeah, I just thought I'd record to so just try and like catch any... Hell, man. After capturing this second incident on camera, the OP uploaded the footage to Reddit, hoping that someone might be able to give a rational explanation. Some viewers sympathised with the situation, admitting that disembodied noises would be enough to freak anyone out. They suggested that the OP should keep documenting the experience on camera so that one day it might actually make some kind of sense. The uploader says he has no rational way of explaining what's happening in his home. So for now, he simply chalked the incidents up as strange. But taking all the details into account, one has to wonder whether something paranormal might be indeed happening here. Yeah, I just thought I'd record to so just try and like catch any. Hell, man.
Can animals sense the supernatural? Some experts believe that animals are attuned to frequencies that humans can't perceive, allowing them to pick up on things that we simply can't. This would explain why animals seem to know when something bad is about to happen, such as an earthquake or tsunami. However, in this next piece of footage, uploaded to TikTok by SR Kakazis, this dog seems to be reacting to something that's not quite subtle. Take a look. A woman is giving an interview on camera. In the background, it looks like a dog gets pushed by some kind of unseen force. While it's possible it's jumping out of the way of something on the ground, it certainly looks like something invisible is shoving the dog. So is this dog reacting to something we can't see? There have been numerous accounts of dogs behaving oddly before an earthquake hits or becoming agitated for no apparent reason. Some believe they're picking up on vibrations that humans can't feel. There's also been reports of animals sensing when someone's about to have a seizure or suffer from some other kind of medical emergency. In these cases, it's thought that the animal's reacting to a change in the person's scent or body language. However, in this footage, it's quite clear the dog's reacting to something a little more forceful. So what do you think's going on here? I'd love to hear your theories on this one in the comments down below. And do you think our pets can sense the supernatural or not? Share your theories with one another in the comments. Our last clip of the day is truly bizarre. It was uploaded to Twitter by user Hustus Michael. Take a look. The clip seems to have been captured in an unknown part of Russia. The camera holder shows a tree that appears to have been thrust right through the middle of a car. We can see it from the bottom and top and both angles show that the car has been impaled by the tree. Judging by the urgency of those nearby and the camera holder himself, it's as though this incident is fresh and that the car has only just become stuck on the tree. Stranger still, the tree's protruding through the driver's side of the car, yet the owner of the vehicle doesn't seem to be around. It's almost as though the car fell from the air and got skewered by the tree. But at one point, we see the top of the tree and its foliage is completely intact, indicating the car didn't fall from somewhere higher up, like perhaps an adjacent building, as some viewers suggested. <laughs> So how does one explain this bizarre incident? So far, no one's been able to come up with a plausible explanation as to how the tree managed to impale the car like this. Very keen to hear your theories on this one. Let me know in the comments down below. In late August 2020, two pilots on two separate commercial flights reported seeing something unusual flying through the sky. While approaching LAX at around 6.30pm, an American Airlines pilot radioed air traffic control to report an unidentified flying person at about 3,000 feet in the air. Listen to the call that was made. Tower, American 1997, we just passed a guy in a jetpack. American 1997, okay, thank you. Were they off to your left side or right side? Off the left side, uh, maybe uh, 300, uh, 300 yards or so, about our altitude. Then a pilot on Southwest Airlines also reported the sighting. Take a listen. We just saw the guy pass by us at the jetpack. The mysterious jetpack man continued to be spotted by commercial airline pilots over the span of several months. 
Then, in December 2020, visual confirmation was released by the Sling Pilot Academy via ABC7 News. A flight instructor managed to get some footage of the elusive jetpack man flying some 3,000 feet in the air. This took place around the Palos Verde Peninsula, just south of LAX. Local law enforcement and the FBI launched an investigation into the infamous Jetpack Man, sometimes referred to as Iron Man, but were unable to track down the individual. Then, in July 2021, Jetpack Man struck again and was sighted for the fourth time flying near LAX. The puzzling thing is, there are only a handful of jetpack manufacturers around the world, and almost all of them are not for sale to the public. Stranger still, most models available only have enough room for fuel to reach heights of around 1,000 to 1,500 feet, about half the height Jetpack Man was seen cruising at. One theory put forward is that it's actually a mannequin strapped to a high-powered drone. Recreational drone users, however, aren't legally allowed to fly higher than 400 feet. But I'm guessing if you're flying a mannequin near commercial aircraft, you're not exactly one to play by the rules. So as it stands, Jetpack Man remains unidentified. To all our Los Angeles viewers, you'll have to keep your eyeballs peeled for a sighting of a real-life Iron Man. And just a reminder, if you've got your own scary photos or videos you'd like to submit to us, head to our brand new Slapped Ham subreddit. There's a link in the description box below. You can also email us at the address that's seen on screen there, submissions at hammedia.net. When the weird guy in the tinfoil hat claims to have seen Bigfoot, you might be skeptical. However, when the National Park Service shares a potential Bigfoot sighting, you're probably more apt to pay attention. When this video from MPS.gov began circulating in 2014, cryptid enthusiasts around the world certainly took notice. The video was recorded via one of the many live webcams that the National Park Service streams from its various parks around the United States. This particular video was recorded on a webcam at Yellowstone National Park in Wyoming. They shared the video because it shows the arrival of buffalo in the park. However, the peaceful scene of the buffalo walking about in the snow is quickly overshadowed by something in the background. Take a look. In the trees, just behind the buffalo, several bipedal animals can be seen walking along. The creatures are only seen in the distance for a few seconds before the camera turns away. Eagle-eyed viewers quickly spotted the unusual creatures in the background of the video, immediately labelling it as one of the most credible Bigfoot sightings in history. Bigfoot is one of the better known cryptids said to wander the forested areas in the United States and Canada. Bigfoot is typically described as much larger than a human and covered in dark hair, often believed to be the missing link in human evolution. Many scientists, however, claim that Bigfoot sightings are typically a case of misidentification. They believe that rather than a distinct creature, Bigfoot sightings are usually bears, apes, or ordinary humans. So is Bigfoot real, or simply a part of common mythology that will never actually be proven? This video seems to suggest the existence of an entire Bigfoot family. Unfortunately, we may never know the truth about the existence of one of the world's most famous cryptids. Typically, when you jump in bed, you assume you're safe and sound and that you can get a good night's rest. However, this video, which was filmed inside an elderly woman's bedroom via security camera, 
shows that that may not always be the case. In the video, we can see an elderly woman tucked up in bed when suddenly something terrifying happens. Take a look. In early 2019, 75-year-old Keo Sutsufa from Bangkok, Thailand was sleeping in her bed when a python managed to slither into her bedroom. As you can see in the CCTV footage, the snake rears up and bites Sutsufa on the foot. Thinking she was having a nightmare, Sutsufa awoke with a fright. She grabbed her torch and scanned the room only to see a massive python coiled up on the floor. She managed to get past the snake and wake her son, Nakorn, who was sleeping next door. Local rescue workers were called in to help flush the snake out of the home. When they arrived, they found the python curled up on the toilet seat in the bathroom. It was captured, catalogued and released back into the wild some days later. Authorities were puzzled as to how the snake got into the home, speculating that it may have come up through the toilet. So when you're resting peacefully in your beds tonight, remember a giant python might just be slithering out of your toilet on a mission to digest you whole. Reddit user Seaworthiness number 8416 uploaded a video of some security camera footage that was filmed at the Jacksonville Beach Pier in Florida. Take a look at what was captured. Gotta get your finger out. Whoa! Of you there see it? Is, it? Yep. What is that? What in the world is that? It's just like hovering in. Pulsating. As you can see, a strange flashing object flies in from the top left-hand corner of the frame. I don't understand what is going on. That was a trip. Matt Bullock was the first person to notice the strange flying object in the footage when he reviewed the security tape. See this? Yep. The reactions heard in the clip definitely seem quite genuine, and they sound legitimately freaked out when they make the discovery. What is that? What in the world is that? It's just like hovering and pulsating. What? How? I don't understand what is going on. It's possible that this is simply a drone flying by and that the compression rate of the security camera is making it look a lot more mysterious than it really is. So until more info comes to hand, this strange flying object will have to remain unidentified. What? How? I don't understand what is going on. This video published to the Instagram account UFO Sightings Footage shows something truly unusual. Take a look. Sonic boom. Wow, the sonic wave is... Holy While there's a spectrum of theories breeding in the comments section of the Instagram clip, everything from Project Bluebeam to Alien Invasion have been suggested. This sighting is most likely one of SpaceX's Falcon 9 rockets. While all rocket launches create shock waves, this particular flight was unusual. On August 24, 2017, a Falcon 9 rocket was carrying one of Taiwan's former Sat-5 Earth observing satellites. Because the payload was relatively light, the trajectory of the rocket created a circular atmospheric shock wave as opposed to a V-shaped one. Let's see the first thing. Wow! Oh, oh, see that? The camera holder was definitely shocked to see the bizarre circular shock waves. Wow! Oh, oh, see that? Sonic boom. 
Wow, the sonic wave is... A study into the incident found that the launch disturbed Earth's ionosphere so much that it affected local GPS navigation systems. Water in the rocket's exhaust system reacted with the ionosphere above California, ripping a hole in the plasma layer. For up to two hours, GPS coordinates were off by as much as one metre, potentially affecting commercial and military aviation navigation systems. And so, while this sighting is perfectly explainable, the intense circular shockwave certainly put local residents on edge, as initially they had no way of knowing the incident was due to a SpaceX launch. So how would you react if you saw this in the sky above your house? Let me know in the comment section down below. Oh, oh, see that? Sonic boom. Wow, the sonic wave is... Caves, while often magnificent in their beauty, are often associated with some very real fears. Go deep enough and you're bound to be entrenched in total darkness and freezing cold temperatures. Not to mention the isolation. If something dangerous happens deep down in a cave, you may be waiting a long time for the right kind of rescue to arrive. Two cavegoers at the Devil's Icebox Cave in Nelson Ledge's Quarry Park, Ohio, were fortunate enough to get away from something before they were in need of rescue. But just what this something actually was remains a mystery. The photo of these cavegoers, uploaded by Jennifer Alba Judson on Facebook, has been making many would-be explorers giving the activity a second thought. In the photo, we can see two individuals making their way through the cave, tightly squeezed between two large rocks. Behind the individual in the back, we can see what seems to be a ghostly entity, with large, completely wide eyes looking directly into the camera. The figure's head is white and almost skull-like. Behind this figure is a strange formation that almost looks like a billow of smoke. Some viewers believe they can see faces in this smoky substance as well. The poster of this photograph claims that no editing or Photoshop was done, as some other Facebookers were skeptical of the authenticity of the photo. They believe that the entity looked too much like a human male, especially since the figure seemed to have short black hair on top of its head. Also, if you look at the cave explorer just in front of the entity, they too have strange looking eyes, making many believe it's just a camera glitch and that the entity is just a third cave explorer. So could this just be a cleverly manipulated image or is this cave home to some terrifying entity? Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. A trip to the beach is supposed to be a pleasant day out, but unfortunately for one couple in the Philippines, their trip to Alaminos resulted in an eerie encounter. Slaptown viewer Jeffrey BP provided the image for all to try and make sense of. The picture shows a woman, the viewer's wife, standing in the ocean. In the background, we can see an island of trees on the beach. Right above this set of trees is a bizarre looking object that seems to hover in the air. A close-up of this object shows something quite strange. The object actually looks to be a woman with a hunched back, very long dark hair and no feet floating in the air. The Philippines are no stranger to sightings of ghostly women. In fact, the country is filled with stories of sightings of the White Lady. This woman, typically dressed in white, is a ghost who suffered great tragedy in the past, such as the loss of a partner or child. She's said to haunt the area where the tragedy occurred, scaring all others who dare to go there. While the woman shown in this photo here doesn't seem to be wearing any sort of white garment, her actions resemble that typically associated with the white lady, hovering over a certain spot looking frozen in place and sad. Did this beach visitor get a glimpse of the local legend? What do you make of this bizarre floating object? Let me know your theories in the comments section below. As most hospitals have seen a fair amount of death at some point or another, it is perhaps no surprise that hospital employees and patients alike report seeing strange things. Reddit user IntelligentFix3680 shared an eerie photo allegedly taken in what was supposed to be an unused wing of a hospital. 
At first glance, we can see what looks to be a typical hospital room in the photo. However, focusing on the center of the image, we can spot what's setting the comments section of Reddit ablaze. Here stands what looks to be a small young girl, her face turned downwards, staring directly into the camera. She wears a dark dress and has pale skin, giving her a ghostly aura. A lot of viewers believe the hospital wing actually looks like it's currently being used, however. Redditors have pointed to the trash bag in the trash can, blankets stacked in the blanket warmer section, and charts hung up on the door. However, other Redditors have stated that some unused wings of hospitals are still routinely restocked and cleaned in case they need to be used in the future, which could explain these observations. And so, while this image is doing the rounds as a supposed ghost photo, it's quite possible that this is just a little girl wandering around a hospital. Art is subjective, but sometimes enough people will unanimously agree that a piece makes them feel a certain way. That was the case with one image of an artwork shared by Reddit user Joshi240. In this instance, the feeling felt by thousands was unsettling. While this sighting isn't supernatural in any way, it's creepy nonetheless. There's no need to zoom in with this image or give it a second look. The horror is immediate we can see some kind of underground tunnel, and to the left, what the Reddit user has dubbed a wall person. He has one leg jutting out along with his torso, and his left arm is dangling downwards. Reddit users were in agreement that this picture was downright creepy. Why the artist decided to install this artwork is unknown, but some speculate it was simply to creep out whoever decided to investigate the tunnel. Imagine exploring this dingy dark tunnel and coming across this thing. It's a no from me. What was supposed to be a beautiful sunny afternoon of play turned into a day of mystery for parent Jessica Jones Ebert. Rather than simply getting a few cute pictures of her children playing on the lawn, she ended up with something eerie instead. In the first picture, we see her son playing on the lawn, seemingly having a good time. In the second picture, her son has turned to face her in the camera, and viewers are met with a chilling sight. To the right of the child seems to be another young child, though this child looks nearly transparent and grey, almost ghost-like. Finally, in the third image, Jessica's daughter joins her son in play. The possible ghost child in question is now in the background, staring at the two living children from a distance. It's possible that the third mystery child could actually just be another human child caught in rapid movement, which would explain his or her blurriness. However, Jessica's certain that there were no other children nearby when the photo was taken. Could this eerie grey figure actually be the spirit of a deceased child? Perhaps something awful happened in this very park, and the spirit is trying to make contact. Give these photos another look and decide for yourself as to what's actually happening here. This photo was shared by the group Anomalous and Paranormal Phenomena in Buryatia. It was taken at Lake Baikal in Buryatia, Siberia in mid-2020. In the photo, we can see a man emerging from the lake in the centre of frame. Just a short distance behind him is what looks to be a shadowy figure resembling a large man. This shadow is also emerging from the lake with a mist surrounding him. The original photographer of this picture explained that there was no fog on that particular day and that the weather was clear, so this figure couldn't be explained as being some type of mist. Some were sure that the so-called shadow figure was actually just a trick of the camera, perhaps a case of double exposure. The strange thing is though that the figure looks to be making a wave as it emerges from the water. This photo isn't the only strange event to take place here either. Lake Baikal is the largest freshwater lake on Earth. It's estimated to be around 25 million years old, with a depth of nearly 1,700 metres. Ancient cultures revered the lake for its life-giving properties, and over many centuries, the lake has been the centre of myth and legend. 
It's said that a very large, unknown creature lives at the bottom of the lake. In some texts, it's referred to as a fire dragon. In the 12th to 14th centuries, marauding Mongol armies would raid nearby villages and make bloody sacrifices to the dragon of Lake Baikal. Thousands of people were killed in the raids, their bodies dropped into the waters of the lake as offerings. In more recent years, reports of extraterrestrial activity have centered on the lake. According to former Soviet naval officer Vladimir Sasa, declassified documents released by the Russian government report that in 1982, seven military divers were performing exercises in the depths of the lake when they spotted underwater vehicles. It was indicated that the unknown craft moved at speeds far greater than anything the Soviet Navy was in possession of at the time. The squad of divers were also said to encounter strange silver-clad beings swimming deep within the lake. According to Zaza, the report indicates that the divers tried to apprehend the beings, but it resulted in a confrontation that ended with the deaths of three of the divers and the rest being badly injured. To compound the mysteries of Lake Baikal, in April 2009, NASA astronauts photographed a large disc-like impression beneath the lake. Many UFO enthusiasts speculated that the shape indicated that a large craft of some kind was hidden deep within the lake. This, coupled with reports of local residents seeing strange flying objects regularly around the lake, makes for a puzzling conclusion. So could the strange, shadowy figure captured in this photo be somehow linked to these mysterious reports? Or could it even be a lingering spirit from one of the poor souls sacrificed at the hands of the Mongol hordes? With so many strange tales surrounding the lake, it's hard to know for sure just what's been captured in this unsettling photo. Other places filled with tales of ghostly sightings are prisons, specifically prisons with a long history of executions. The old Melbourne jail, located in Melbourne, Australia, certainly meets this criteria, having executed over 130 inmates in its nearly 80-year operation. Its most notorious prisoner was Ned Kelly, infamous for being a bushranger in Australia. Nowadays, many visitors flock to the prison grounds, now a museum, to get a glimpse of the prison's history. One of these visitors was Slaptown viewer Tim Lapham, who snapped a photo during his visit that has many people freaked out. The photo consists of a wide shot of the interior of the prison. We can see the two levels of the prison, each composed of long hallways with prison cells dotted on each side. It's on the right side of the photo that the suspicious activity appears. Coming out of one of the cell blocks directly behind the woman strolling down the hallway is what looks to be a head hovering in mid-air. It looks to be disembodied and somewhat transparent. A quick noise analysis shows that the photo doesn't appear to have been manipulated in any way. A luminance gradient filter seems to show that the disembodied head is indeed transparent. The object is slightly indented when looking through the filter, which suggests that light is filtering through the object. The photographer who shared the shot did mention that the cell in which this head appears was noticeably very cold, a common sign of paranormal activity. Not far from where this photo was taken is the infamous Cell 17. Many workers and visitors believe this to be the most haunted room in all of the prison. Those who have entered the foreboding cell have reported feeling inexplicably ill or emotionally unsettled. One occasion saw a seeing eye dog enter the room and become extremely agitated. The otherwise obedient and placid dog barked and snarled and had to be removed immediately. One journalist claims that they were pulled into the room by an unseen force. Could the supposed floating head caught on camera by Tim be a glimpse into the supernatural forces that are said to be lingering in this old building? As this prison has seen many deaths, it's not inconceivable that one of the executed prisoners could be choosing to haunt this place in the afterlife. Abandoned houses tend to be a magnet for squatters, critters and adolescents looking for a place to have fun. 
For some, they also act as interesting material for photographs. A photographer known only as RM shared a photo to the internet that has caused quite a stir. In the photograph, we can see the abandoned house from a slight distance. The structure looks beat up with broken windows and torn panels across the house. However, a closer look at the lower right window shows something far more terrifying than a sketchy home. There seems to be a small face peering out of the window. Some have likened it to that of a little girl. Some viewers even thought there were faces to be seen in the upper window too. After it had been pointed out to the photographer that there seemed to be faces in the windows, she decided to go back to the location and see if she could spot either real life people or even ghosts in the house. After closer inspection with her binoculars, she decided that the face in the lower window was simply a torn window shade and the two faces in the upper window were just a reflection of a tree. Still, some remain skeptical of these explanations and believe that there could be children hiding out in this abandoned house. It will all come down to who's brave enough to venture inside the house and see what is truly lurking in there. Redditor Golden Whamsey posted this unsettling bit of footage. When this urban explorer set out down this abandoned tunnel, he was most likely hoping for some terrifying thrills in the darkness. However, it turns out that something much more menacing was waiting in the shadows. In this short clip, we can see the camera holder head into the dark, decrepit tunnel, with only the light from his camera to cast a faint glow on the rundown, shadowy walls made of crumbling grey stone. For the first few seconds of the video, the tunnel is almost silent. The only noise that intrudes the eerie quiet is the sound of the explorer's footsteps as he heads deeper into the tunnel. Suddenly, the silence of the tunnel is shattered in the most terrifying way imaginable, as a horrifying howl echoes through the blackness. The howl is strange. It doesn't sound like any animal, but it also doesn't sound entirely human. Some viewers have speculated that another person was waiting deep in the tunnel to make the terrifying noise. Yet, something about the howl seems too animalistic. Other viewers believe that some sort of creature or entity made the sound as a warning. Turn back now or suffer the consequences. Either way, would you be sticking around in this creepy tunnel after a terrifying noise like that? Let me know in the comments section below. YouTube channel Soul Searching is known for sharing haunting videos and scary EVPs. In this visit to the Velisca Axe Murders House in Velisca, Iowa, USA, terrifying noises became the star of the show. According to the investigators, the ghosts responded to several attempts to make contact. The scary EVPs they recorded are truly haunting. Firstly, while the crew was setting up equipment in the barn, a tape recorder caught the phrase, I'm Noah, and the cats lie on me, being whispered by a disembodied voice. Later, in one of the bedrooms, strange banging noises are heard along with the phrases, It's out there and I'm Katie. Even creepier, EVPs were captured in the children's bedroom. A voice saying, Cast out the devil, my head, and good night. In another bedroom, investigators recorded Dream That Dream on a digital recorder and numerous orbs on a video camera.
This home belonged to the Moore family in the early 1900s. In the early morning of June 10, 1912, all six family members and their two house guests were found murdered. A lengthy investigation resulted in several suspects, two of whom were brought to trial but were found not guilty. The house has been owned and lived in by several families since these murders took place. None stayed long. Each family reported strange happenings, including disembodied footsteps, things moving, voices, apparitions and strange shadows. I don't think this house will be going off market again anytime soon. Would you be brave enough to live there or even just spend one night in this creepy old house? Let me know what you'd do in the comments section below. When Slaptown viewer Christina received the first video of her newborn nephew, she wasn't expecting to hear any scary EVPs. But it seems like this little guy has managed to capture a ghost's attention in his first days of life. The video, recorded in Valley Medical in San Jose, California, USA, shows the baby's mother attempting to awaken the sleeping child in his hospital bassinet. While filming, the mother doesn't notice anything unusual. But when she was editing the video later, she noticed a harsh ghostly voice whispering wake up to her sleeping son. Many paranormal believers claim that children are more easily able to perceive the supernatural than adults. This video seems to offer some proof of that claim. Just after the voice speaks, the baby opens his eyes and begins fussing in his bassinet. Is it possible that he heard the terrifying voice? This video was recorded while the mother and child were still in the hospital, so hopefully the spirit remains there. It's thought hospitals are a common location for ghosts to hang around because of the high number of deaths that occur in their rooms. If this little man is lucky, this will be the last encounter he has with a scary EVP. In this video from Ghosted UK's YouTube channel, a ghost seems to have spoken up either in an attempt to help or to be terrifying. Listen closely to the video and judge for yourself. The video is almost entirely black as an unexpected power outage has plunged the group of paranormal investigators into darkness. It's thought the presence of a ghostly entity can wreak havoc on electricity, so it's possible that the loss of lights is the first clue to the presence of a paranormal visitor. For much of the video, we can only hear the voices of people scared and exasperated by the loss of electricity. People call out into the darkness, instructing others to find a light. After a few seconds, a faint light illuminates the area, allowing us to see some of the people who were caught in the darkness. At first, the occurrence doesn't seem that unusual. However, if you listen closely while the people are calling out for light, it becomes clear that one of the voices is not of a natural origin. As the cacophony fills the air, a ghostly voice growls the words, get a life or get a light. If it was the latter, the presence could have simply been trying to help. On the other hand, if it was saying get a life, there could be some creepier connotations to these scary EVPs. Let me know in the comments section below which one did you hear? Get a light or get a life? Redditor Cody Meniz64 lives near the site of the King Philip War Battlegrounds in Bristol, Rhode Island, USA, which is believed to be haunted. The scary EVPs recorded here seem to justify this claim. One night, the usually quiet area was interrupted by the rhythmic beating of a snare drum. The drumming heard in the video is reminiscent of the types of melodies drummed in old wars as the troops march into battle. According to Cody Maniz 64, the drumming continued to echo through the neighborhood for three hours.
King Philip, otherwise known as Metacomet, was a Native American chief who was beheaded on the very street where this video was recorded. His death occurred during a long and bloody war, in which Metacomet led a group of warriors from several Native American tribes in an attempt to push European colonists out of New England. In 1676, Metacomet was fatally shot. The vicious war lasted for another two years after his death, resulting in a colonial victory and countless casualties. Could the eerie drumbeat be somehow linking back to this violent past? Given its bloody history, it's unsurprising that paranormal energy would abound on the spot where Metacomet lost his life. Perhaps these ancient battlegrounds are best left undisturbed. When actor and comedian Robin Williams died in 2014, the world was shocked and saddened. His laughter and humour would be missed by many who were heartbroken by the loss. However, because of a series of videos uploaded to YouTube by Charlie Chitton and Paranormal and Huff Paranormal, some believe the beloved comedian may not be gone for good. Charlie Chittenden recorded his videos using a ghost box, attempting specifically to make contact with Robin Williams in the afterlife. Ghost boxes operate by scanning radio frequencies in an attempt to capture EVPs. At first, the ghost box seems to make contact with other spirits, one of which says, Robin's gone, that's over. <laughs> Charlie continues his questioning, with some ghostly voices seeming to provide answers to his questions. However, it isn't clear if it's Williams' voice. Your reasons for doing this may have been that you were suffering from Louis body dementia. Do you confirm this was part of the reason? In Charlie's second attempt to communicate with Williams using the ghost box, Charlie again asks Williams' spirit to come forward and speak. The scary EVPs continue in this session, with ghostly voices popping up occasionally, providing unclear and cryptic responses to Charlie's questions. Robin starred in films such as What Dreams May Come, In the Huff Paranormal video, the host also attempts to use a ghost box to communicate with the late actor. The first attempt in making contact occurred on the day that Williams died. A voice speaks up saying, we're waiting, in a tone that the investigator believes matches Williams' voice in life. Are you there, Robin? <laughs> the voice makes other statements that sound like Williams and could suggest that he's in the afterlife, such as the phrase, I must have got it wrong. The investigator makes further attempts to contact Williams. In his third attempt, the most compelling EVP comes through. The voice states, I'm dead, in a tone that sounds exactly like Robin Williams. This session ends with the hopeful phrase, there is light and I'm here with dad. This suggests that the beloved actor may have found peace wherever he is. Imagine digging a well so deep that it breaks into hell. Well, some think it has happened before. In 1989, Trinity Broadcasting Network, a radio show, reported on the well to hell for the first time. The well comes from an urban legend in Russia that asserts the drilling of a well so deep that it actually went all the way to hell. The legend goes that Mr. Azakov, leading a team of engineers, drilled a hole somewhere in Siberia, going as deep as 14.4 kilometers or around 8.9 miles down. While drilling, they broke into a cavity which piqued their interest. The team lowered a microphone which was heat tolerant and other sensory equipment down into the hole. The equipment showed the temperature to be 1000 degrees Celsius, which is around 1832 Fahrenheit. However, the microphone seemed to pick up something a little more unsettling than high temperature. 
It sounded like screaming voices coming from the middle of Earth. Here's a sample. And uh, I warn you, what you are about to hear is very disturbing indeed. <laughs> said that the miners all went insane and started fighting each other. When a secondary team arrived to help with the drilling, they discovered the camp in disarray and the first squad of miners were missing. A Finnish newspaper named Amenasastia reported the story for the first time. After that, American tabloids picked up the news and it spread like wildfire. Trinity Broadcasting Network is a Christian network that quickly took up the story and said it was proof of the existence of hell. While he was visiting the US, a Norwegian teacher, Arge Rendellen, said that the story was merely a product of people's gullibility. He later wrote to Trinity Broadcasting, giving his point of view. Interestingly, he went back to Norway and read another account of the story, which was supposedly factual. The story said that the well was cursed and quite real. Also, it said a bat-like creature, which could be associated with a demon, flew out of the well and blazed across the sky. Trinity Broadcasting didn't do anything to verify whether it was a hoax or not and ran the story. Later, many versions of the same story were heard around the US. For instance, in 1992, Weekly World News published the same storyline but with a different location. According to this story, the incident took place in Alaska, where Satan climbed out of the well and killed 13 miners. Today, you can find the horrific retelling of the story on many YouTube videos that also have the infamous tormented sounds. However, it was later revealed that the sound effects were taken from different sources, with Barren Blood, a 1972 horror movie, being the most prominent source. Just when these sounds were injected into the urban legend remains a mystery. In 1983, the CIA wrote a very bizarre report called the Gateway Report that claimed an altered state of consciousness can be the gateway to astral projection. In 2003, the report was declassified and has since fueled conspiracy theories and readers' imaginations worldwide. Named The Analysis and Assessment of the Gateway Process, the document was 29 pages long. It dove into the CIA's investigation of whether hypnosis and mind control could be helpful in the Cold War. The report is quite dense and wordy, going from complex topics like quantum mechanics and neuroscience to a pseudoscience that has, since its release, been debunked. Some people have called it a mind labyrinth as it goes on to explain scientific underpinnings of some spiritual concepts and space-time transcendence for 24 long pages. It discusses transcendental meditation, hypnosis, biofeedback, universal holograms, and spiritual beliefs. According to the report, the universe comprises of interacting energy fields and that the mental states are merely energy variations. The human consciousness follows the same principle being a vibrational energy pattern. Once an individual achieves a state known as hemi-sync, they can enter an altered state of consciousness. In this state, the vibrations of their consciousness are not limited by physical reality. Thus, they can tune into the energy field purely and freely. Some took this report quite literally and thought it to be the basis of the laws of attraction, which states that bad thoughts attract bad outcomes while good thoughts attract good outcomes. Others believe the CIA was investigating the idea of mind warriors that could literally travel through space and time using their mind alone the applications of which are limitless. As if it wasn't already mysterious enough, the report misses page 25. Ever since its declassification, there have been requests to the CIA to release page 25. However, the CIA denies the existence of this page in the first place. Due to this, the page became the holy grail for conspiracy theorists, curious minds, astral projectors, and pretty much anyone who knew about the report. As interesting and mind-boggling as this report was, the CIA didn't invent the Gateway experience. 
In fact, the report was based on the teachings of Robert Munro, who's the founder of the Munro Institute. The Institute emailed news outlet Vice after reading the publication's first article on the Gateway Report, saying that they actually had page 25 in their archives. As it turns out, page 25 of the report discusses the Absolute, which is the universe's governing energy. As per the report, this universal hologram is an endlessly flowing spiral that intervenes with reality as we know it. Whether page 25 was left out on purpose or accidentally, no one really knows. We do know that the Munro Institute still exists and apparently has exercises to facilitate astral projection. Human beings have been obsessed with UFOs for as long as they've speculated about their existence. However, your story has to be highly credible for it to become the basis of the X-Files. Kelly Kale lived in Victoria, Australia with her husband in 1993. One day, she was in her car with her husband driving through the Dandenong Ranges when they saw a blimp-like object flying through the sky. It had a row of five or six orange lights and made a distinct circular shape. The couple spotted the object a number of times during the night before seeing the object fly off rapidly. What happened next is a complete mystery. Kale felt like her memory went blank, almost like a cut in a movie. When she realized they were several hundred meters down the road with no memory of having traveled the distance. When the couple got home, they noticed that they had lost a full hour. On top of that, Kale had a triangular mark close to her belly button that was quite painful. Undergoing hypnotherapy, she had flashbacks over the coming months and later went on national television to narrate her story. Kale claims that several alien beings appeared in a field. They had no discernible features aside from bulbous red eyes. They seemed to be able to communicate telepathically. Another car just up the road also pulled over to witness the event. They later corroborated the story, giving further details. They claim they were taken aboard a craft and examined by alien beings. They too claim they had a triangular wound on their lower abdomen following the incident. A Melbourne-based paranormal research group, Phenomena Research Australia, was called in to document the case. A 300-page report was written up detailing the bizarre incident, including interviews from multiple witnesses. Sadly, intergroup politics muddied the case and the report was never released to the public. Many UFO enthusiasts believe that the unreleased report is a golden opportunity gone to waste. In the 2016 X-Files reboot, Fox Mulder himself referenced this historic case. Interestingly, I was just looking at the map of where this allegedly took place and it's only 20 minutes from where I currently live. Maybe one day we'll do a live stream from the exact location where this now infamous alien encounter took place. Been having any weird dreams lately? Maybe it's this man paying you a visit in your dreams. This man is apparently a man who multiple people have repeatedly seen in their dreams since 2006. Andrea Natella, an Italian marketer, made a website in 2008 called Ever Dream This Man that took the internet by storm as many people claim to have seen the man in their dreams. However, despite so many people dreaming about him, no one could find the actual person. This man first surfaced when a woman told her psychiatrist that she kept seeing a man in her dreams. The psychiatrist sketched the man. Later, one of his male patients saw the drawing and claimed he too had seen the man while dreaming. Interestingly, none of them had actually ever seen the man in real life. Upon this interesting revelation, the psychiatrist sent the drawing to his colleagues who had patients with repeated dreams. Patients of four of the psychiatrist's colleagues recognized the man as the person they kept seeing in their dreams. When the story went viral in 2009, over 2,000 people from all over the world claimed to have seen the man in their dreams. People from New Delhi, Paris, Dubai, Manila, Stockholm, Amman, Rome, Berlin and many other cities identified this man from their dreams. The dreams were spread over an interestingly expansive spectrum. While some people experienced romantic and even sexual closeness to the man, others were in deadly situations with him. 
In an interview with news outlet Vice, Andrea Nutella said that he dreamt about this man for the first time in 2008. It was on this man's instructions that he made a website to identify him. However, no human looking like this man has ever been found. Nutella's website, thisman.org, presents the following theories to explain this occurrence. Carl Jung, a psychoanalyst and psychiatrist, provided the concept of an archetypal image of the unconscious mind that people see in difficult times of their lives. This man could be an example of an archetype. Another theory was that the man could be a godly manifestation. Perhaps some corporation was conditioning people mentally to dream about the same person. Some people only had dreams of this man after they had seen his picture online or heard about him from others. It's difficult for people to remember the faces of those they dream about, so people may have been inaccurately describing the man in their dreams as Nutella's this man. However, just as the story hit fever pitch, it was discovered that thisman.org was linked to a website called guerrillamarketing.it, a fake marketing agency known to pull large-scale hoaxes. And while this man was outed as a publicity stunt, it was never explicitly linked to a product or service, which chalked it up as a sort of marketing experiment. In 2010, a production company purchased the rights to the This Man IP, and plans for a feature-length movie were announced. However, there's been no announcement since. Derived from American folklore, the story of the Melon Heads is known all over Connecticut, Michigan, and Ohio. According to urban legend, Melon Heads are tiny humans with giant bulbous melon-like heads that roam around the states attacking people, especially around Halloween. In Michigan, the Melon Heads are said to live near Felt Mansion and have also been seen in the wilderness surrounding Ottawa County. Different sources attribute the origin of Melon Heads to various reasons and entities. One story narrates that melon heads were actually kids suffering from hydrocephalus, a condition in which cerebrospinal fluids fill the brain, putting pressure on the skull. Initially, according to the legends, these children were kept in the Junction Insane Asylum, which is in close proximity to the Felt Mansion. During their stay at the asylum, the children were physically and emotionally abused, leading them to become feral. It's said that they fled to the forests around the asylum and are said to still reside there. However, the Elegant County Historical Society denies the presence of any asylum in that area ever, although the land was once a prison. Another story says that these children lived in the Felt Mansion and plotted to kill the doctor responsible for abusing them. Local teenagers still hang out near Felt Mansion and have reported seeing the melon heads, calling them wobbleheads. Visitors to the area have also reported seeing curtains move in empty old buildings and strange noises coming from the rooms, such as footsteps and heavy breathing. In Ohio, melon heads are said to live in Kirtland. The local law narrates that a mysterious doctor named Dr. Crow or Dr. Melonhead used to perform unusual experiments on children. As a result, the children develop malformed bodies and abnormally large heads. Upon suffering this abuse, the melon heads killed the doctor and burned the orphanage down. There's even a 2010 horror movie called The Legend of Melon Heads based in the Kirtland suburbs. Meanwhile, melon heads seem to be as far spread out as Connecticut sited in New Haven County, Fairfield County, Weston, Easton, Stratford, Monroe and Shelton. It's interesting that the myth is so pervasive and has spread around the United States linked by uncanny details. As with most urban legends, it's difficult to point to one exact incident as the nucleus of the tale. So is there a strand of truth that runs through these tales to spark the legend in the first place? Could the melon heads really be out there lurking in the woods? Our first clip of the day comes from one of our viewers, Bianca5150. They posted this eerie footage to our subreddit asking fellow viewers if they can make sense of the sighting. The OP says that they installed cameras around their house to see which dog of theirs was chewing and tearing things up. This footage was captured when the family were out and no one else was in the house. It's a little after 6pm when this happens.
The OP received a notification that movement had been detected inside of the home. They took a quick look and didn't see anything too strange at first, but when they took a closer look, they were shocked to see a mysterious shadow moving down the hallway. If we take another look and brighten up the image, you can see something move from right to left. The family were only out for 20 minutes when this footage was captured. The other security cameras don't show anyone coming or going from the property in this time period. So who or what is moving down the hallway of the home? With no sign of a break-in, one has to wonder if something paranormal has been caught on this home security camera. Our next series of clips comes from user Jar Jar Mullet, who posted on our subreddit hoping our community might be able to offer some answers as to what's been happening around their home. In June 2019, the OP's family bought a house near Tulsa, Oklahoma. They say that the house has had a few previous owners, but nothing particularly strange stands out in the property's history. However, in the last year or so, some creepy things have started happening around the home. The family has heard unexplained noises, they've seen objects moving on their own, and shadowy figures have started appearing in their periphery. One night, the OP's wife woke up in the middle of the night to see a small child standing in the room. When they flicked the lights on in a panic, there was no one there. Unsettled by all the activity, the family installed a series of security cameras around the property, both indoors and out. In this first piece of footage, you can see the upstairs hallway late at night. Take a look at what happens next. <coughs> The OP's wife walks up the stairs when suddenly you can hear a Mickey Mouse toy activate by itself. The toy is only supposed to activate when you pull a string on its back. The kids were staying with their grandparents at the time and no one was upstairs when this was recorded. The poster notes that it's strange that the Mickey toy was on the ground in the middle of the room, as the room had been cleaned and tidied just hours earlier and no toys were on the floor. The homeowner notes that where the toy was found is right where his son has allegedly seen a tall red coloured man lurking in the dark. No one else has seen the man, so the parents aren't sure whether it's just their son's overactive imagination. However, things get even creepier in this next piece of footage. This feed is from their downstairs camera. It's night time and the family's hanging out watching some TV. Watch what happens. It's very hard to see at first, but if we slow it down and zoom in at the 11 second mark, something appears on the staircase. pops around the corner for a split second, then disappears. Creepier still, at the 17 second mark, you can hear their automatic locking system on the front door unlock itself. The OP says that the security panel to control the system is in the hallway where no one was at the time, yet somehow the door unlocked itself. The family was so freaked out by the unlocked door that they called the police, fearing a burglar had snuck into the home. The police came and took a look around but could find no sign of a break-in or any evidence that anyone had been in the home. Confused, the family reviewed their home security footage and that's when they spotted the eerie shadow that appears on the staircase. To this day, the family is still scared by this incident and have no way of explaining what happened. When our viewer, Angelica Papase, tried catching an adorable moment of her daughter singing in the back seat of their car, she never expected it would actually end up quite eerie. Take a look at what's been caught on camera.
If you look at the seat on the right, there's a strange impression of a figure. It's small and pale and doesn't match the colour of the seat. You can even see Angelica's daughter look to the right as though she's acknowledging something there. When Angelica shared the clip to her Facebook, her friends and family agreed that it looks like her daughter is looking at something sitting next to her. Replying to the comments, Angelica suggested that the figure might be similar to the one she captured in a photo in her kitchen years prior. Here's the photo here. In the background, you can see a strange transparent shape. It almost looks like a person looking at the camera. So is something following this family around? How do you explain these two separate figures? I'd love to hear your theories on this in the comments down below. A panicked mum has shared a photo to the internet claiming that her son was photobombed by a ghost girl. In July 2022, mother of three Aisha Wilson-Bent was at home when her son Gabriel sent a photo to her from a nearby playground. The photo shows Wilson-Bent's two sons smiling for the camera. Initially, the family thought a cobweb was inside of the tyre right next to 12-year-old Christian. However, when they zoomed in, they could see that it looks like the face of a young girl. Skeptical at first, the 36-year-old mother questioned her boys whether they had edited the photo. The boys insisted that they hadn't touched the photo at all. Christian was apparently so frightened that he spent the night in his mother's room, too scared to sleep alone. Convinced that her sons hadn't edited the photo, Wilson Bent was worried that the boys may have brought something home with them, inferring that a supernatural presence may have attached itself to the boys. When the photo was shared to Facebook, it received a mixed reaction from viewers. Some believed the family agreeing that it looked just like a little girl inside of the tire. Others, however, damned the photo, saying it was amateur work at best. There is definitely a Photoshop vibe with this one. It almost looks like one of the kids from the horror movie, Children of the Corn. But still, the family insists they haven't manipulated the image in any way. So I'll throw this one out to you for final judgment. What do you make of that strange girl's face next to Wilson Bent's son? Let me know down below. This next series of clips were posted to our Facebook community page by Frank Joseph Finlayson. He wrote to us saying he's normally a skeptical and rational sort of person and has never really believed in ghosts. However, when strange things started happening around his home just a few months after his mother passed away, he began to wonder what could be going on. Frank says he's always had security cameras both inside and outside of his house. The indoor ones help him to keep an eye on his anxious dog while he's out. In this first clip, you can see a lamp in the living room begin to move. Then this one shows a picture moving on the wall. These last two show some movement on the couch. A stuffed teddy bear flips about. Then here you can see it moving on the far right. Frank says since his mother passed away, there's been a feeling in the apartment. Sometimes it feels like you're being watched. Doors close on their own and lights have been flickering on and off. A friend visited the home and said there was a bad vibe. They recommended that Frank burn some sage and say prayers to clear the space of any negative energy. Being a rational sort, Frank has always dismissed the curious happenings as a byproduct of his grieving process that his brain might be playing tricks on him due to stress. Frank presented these clips to our Facebook community with an open mind, hoping that someone might be able to provide some answers. 
A lot of people agreed that the activity was strange and couldn't quite explain the bizarre movements. One viewer asked about the history of the property. Frank says that the buildings are around 40 to 50 years old. It's an old rural mining town surrounded by forest and farmland. Some viewers suggested that it may not be the spirit of Frank's deceased mother then, rather some other energy left lingering from the area's old mining days. So what do you make of it all? Is there something paranormal going on here? Or is there a more rational way to explain this strange activity? One of our viewers, Levi Brooks, posted this next one to our Facebook community page. Brooks says that they've always heard strange things on their baby monitor that's placed in their child's bedroom. As it was only audio, they could never catch what exactly was making the bizarre noises. However, when they upgraded to a camera monitor, they captured something quite odd in the bedroom. It's nearly 3am when this happens. Something appears at the bottom of the frame. It almost looks like smoke or some kind of vapor. Levi notes that they had a son that passed away in 2017. Levi's husband is Irish, so according to tradition, they placed their son's ashes in an Irish cross and put them in what is now the baby's room that you can see in this security feed. The family's hoping the strange vapor is a sign that their deceased son is looking over his baby brother. thought of having a poltergeist in your home is terrifying. Although it's said that poltergeists aren't always violent, these spirits can still supposedly torment their victims by making noises and moving objects. YouTuber Sylvia C began noticing strange occurrences in her home after playing with a Ouija board at her kitchen table. She claims that her channel documents some of the activity that has since occurred. In this clip, it's fairly obvious that whatever is present wants to make itself known. I've put the camera on, there's a lot of activity tonight in the kitchen. Keep an eye on the cupboard door. It swings open, then shuts. Next, watch what happens when the woman asks, do you want me out of your house? Do you want me out of this house or do you want me to stay? The presence appears to answer by moving a can on the kitchen counter. The poster explains that this kind of thing happens in her kitchen all the time. This is evidenced in the next clip which shows the poster hiding behind a partition while pointing the camera towards the sink. Oh my god. The that spirit's moving, oh my god, did you see that? Oh my Oh, that knife's, that knife's moving now. You can see a spoon and fork moving by themselves. Oh my god, the that spirit's moving, oh my god, did you see that? Oh my Oh, that knife's, that knife's moving now. She shows the area beneath the counter to demonstrate there are no magnets or strings. There's nothing. I'm not faking this. Look, there's nobody under there. There's nobody under the counter or under the fridge. There's no magnets or anything like that. There's no strings. That's been moved itself. The woman's voice clearly sounds distressed throughout the footage. Oh my god, the spirit's moving. Oh my god, did you see that? Oh my. Oh, that knife's, that knife's moving now. So would you try and communicate with a poltergeist, or would you just pack your bags and leave? The pot isn't moving again. YouTuber Dark Ghost Paranormal explores places that most people would never dare. 
As this clip begins, he explains that he was sent the coordinates to this house in the mail. The sender claimed that elderly people used to live there and that they were plagued by strange activity, especially in the basement. The residents supposedly heard unusual sounds, disembodied conversations and even saw doors opening by themselves throughout the home. After the owners passed away, the house was left to relatives. However, they never moved in and it's remained empty ever since. In the video, we see the investigator thoroughly exploring the space with a flashlight as he sets up some cameras to record in the background. This is when things start to get a little creepy. piece of glass slides off the counter and shatters on the floor. Then the entire room starts to rumble and shake, tossing other objects around. It doesn't appear to be an earthquake because it doesn't affect the rest of the house. Next, the investigator uses a device in an attempt to contact any resident spirits. Eerily, he receives a message telling him to open the basement. Bravely, or perhaps stupidly, he decides to do it. He opens the hatch and ventures cautiously into the darkness. Suddenly, something catches him off guard. Take a listen. It sounds like an eerie screech. Unwilling to find out who or what made the noise, he wisely leaves the basement. However, it seems that his curiosity soon gets the better of him and he lowers himself through the trapdoor one more time. Sure enough, the same spine-chilling sound emanates out of the darkness. <laughs> This time he doesn't hesitate, he quickly packs his equipment and leaves the property. While hanging out at a friend's house, Redditor Peppermint the Fox caught something strange on camera. Take a look. The large white object is a propane tank. There's also something else right next to it. At first, it's hard to make out what exactly it could be. It looks like it might be part of the tank, but if you zoom in, you can see that the foggy shape appears to have a head perched on top of a large frame. It even has two sparkling eyes that are looking off to the side. Many viewers thought the figure resembled a gorilla, while others suggested it might be a human attempting to steal propane from the tank. The original poster added that the figure vanished right after the photo was taken, and upon further inspection, they could see no footprints or signs of any kind that the figure was even there. So is this photo proof of a mysterious cryptid roaming the area, or is it something else entirely, perhaps pareidolia? Take another look at the image and let me know what your theories are in the comments down below.
Abandoned places often have complex histories and the dilapidated buildings seen in this video is no exception. Many people have reported strange incidents here. It's even thought that one individual committed suicide in a downstairs room. YouTuber Mysterio JL decides to investigate the premises for himself. As he enters the first room, he and his partner hear footsteps. Oi, son pasos, eh? They dissipate as the men walk closer, but can be heard once again as the men turn away. That's when they discover the word Nino, which means little boy in Spanish, written on the wall. The investigators decide to continue their exploration of the property. As something grabs their attention, the camera holder inadvertently captures something unnerving on camera. A mysterious figure can be seen in the top right window. At first, it's almost impossible to see. However, if you brighten the footage, it becomes more obvious. Next, they head upstairs. As they make their way along a dark, dilapidated hallway, a chilling sound echoes through the space. According to the uploader, the voice says Mama in Spanish. Not long after, the investigators catch a second sighting of the mysterious figure they saw earlier. Again, the footage needs to be brightened up, but as before, there's definitely something there. Is this just a squatter who's taken up residence in the crumbling building? Or could it be the spirit of a child that's calling out for their mama? Oi. Are we alone in the universe? UFO sightings have been recorded across the globe for centuries. This video, uploaded to YouTube by Arslan Warwick, is supposedly the longest ever UFO recording made by a civilian. Take a look. The camera holder notes that the orb-like object is difficult to see with the naked eye. Oh, it's very hard to see with the naked eye now. Sun has set. Practically almost dark now. Luckily, he has an excellent camera with a powerful zoom. 9x, this is what iPhone's maximum zoom is. I don't think that thing is moving. After some time, it appears as though it's actually hovering in place. It's just sitting there. If it was just a kite, which has been suggested, it would move more noticeably in the wind. This thing has been here for the past one hour, as I said before. It's just here. At the very end of the recording, there are several still images of the object. Here we can see that it has a distinctive dome shape, unlike any man-made craft. 
Many viewers have praised the camera holder for their high quality video work. Usually UFO footage is grainy and out of focus, making it difficult to get a good look at the actual object. Several viewers also mentioned that they too have seen similar objects in the sky recently. Have you ever witnessed a UFO? If so, let us know your experience in the comments down below. This next video, posted to TikTok by Scary Central, isn't supernatural at all. Yeah, and it'll likely leave you unnerved. As the clip begins, the camera's focused on a patch of dirt or sand. There's not much to see until a paintbrush comes into view and begins to gently tap at the dirt. Take a look at what happens next. If you're not a fan of creepy crawlies, you've probably turned away. If you haven't, however, you've noticed how big the spider is compared to the paintbrush. This is supposedly a Sicaria spider, a type of arachnid that buries itself in the sand and waits to surprise its prey. The name in Latin means assassin and its bite can be seriously dangerous to humans. Just think next time you go outside, this little guy could be right next to your foot and you wouldn't even know. There's very little information available on this next video. It was uploaded to TikTok by Scary Central, but its origins are unknown. It shows a woman chatting on her cell phone as she walks by. She stops momentarily to say something to the camera holder, oblivious to the fact that there might be danger in the vicinity. Take a look at what happens next. <laughs> A creepy figure appears behind her. It lurches out of the darkness, reaching towards the unsuspecting woman. <laughs> the camera holder does see it, however. Panicked, they don't even attempt to warn their friend of the impending threat. They simply run away. As there's little information on this video, it's hard to tell just what it is we're seeing here. The figure looks distorted, almost as if it could be a reflection in a warped mirror. Take another look at the clip and let me know what you think's going on here. Is it a snippet from a movie or is it something a little more sinister? Let me know down below. <laughs> The following piece of footage was taken from a CCTV camera at the Mickabrook pub located in Cheadle, Stockport in the UK. It was uploaded by Cater's News. For years, there's been rumours that this pub is haunted by a malicious spirit. Staff and patrons often report objects moving on their own and have even felt things touch them despite no one being around. Could this CCTV footage prove that this old pub is actually haunted? Take a look. There. Glass there. That one. <laughs> that is horrible. That is, that is a face of a girl that's not what we're here no more. As you can see, one of the glasses shoots across the bar and shatters on the ground. But as creepy as this one incident is, it's not the only thing employees of the Mickabrook pub have experienced during their stay. Many of the workers have said they've felt their hair being pulled in an aggressive manner by an unseen presence, one that they've since given the name Harry. And they've also said this isn't the first time a glass has been flung across the bar and shattered. In addition, punters have reported seeing a mysterious shadow-like figure donning a black hat who usually stands in the hallway before disappearing without a trace. So what in the world could possibly be going on here? Can this all be chalked up to strange circumstances and coincidence? Or is this old pub genuinely haunted by a deviant spirit? Let me know your take on this in the comments section down below. <laughs> 
That is horrible. That is, <laughs> that is the face of a girl that does not want to work here no more. The following video captures something that no parent would ever want to see on their baby monitor video feed. This video, which was shared online by Cater's News, shows a baby in a crib during the middle of the night. At first, nothing of unease can be seen, but that doesn't last for too long. Take a look at the bone chilling footage and see if you can notice what makes this video so unsettling. It's actually digging up a hole to get out. Mm -hmm. My baby sister's awake. A face can be seen peering in at the baby. I don't know, baby, where's that for us? Seconds later, the infant begins thrashing about in the cot. It's like she's digging up a hole to get out. Mm -hmm. My baby sister's awake. Melissa Smith, the mother of the baby in the video, insists that she's always been a huge skeptic when it comes to anything related to the paranormal. But that all changed in September of 2016, when, after a miscarriage, she began to experience some truly terrifying things going on and around her house in Toronto, Canada. The same night Melissa lost her child, she said that a children's toy began turning itself on and off and started to play music. In addition to this, she also claimed that the closet doors would begin to slam shut, and she could hear mysterious banging on her bedroom door despite no one else being home. Strangely, if we watch the footage again, there appears to be a shadow on the left of frame that comes in and out of the footage. Admittedly, this might just be from the person who's filming the baby monitor footage on their phone. But this still doesn't explain that mysterious face peering in on the crib. So what do you think this mysterious ghostly face is? Is it the ghost of a child? Some freaky coincidence? Or is this just a trick of the lighting and Melissa has nothing to worry about? Whichever way you look at it, it's certainly a frightening piece of footage. My baby sister's awake. Nottingham's Prism nightclub is rumoured to be haunted. It has a turbulent 95 year long history and was once the site of a correctional facility which housed some of the UK's most notorious criminals. According to some eerie CCTV footage captured on site, it seems perhaps the spirits of the former inmates never left. The manager, Thomas Dodd, was checking the security camera footage one night when he saw something that shocked him. Take a look at the footage and see for yourself. As you can see, one of the bar's fridge doors appears to miraculously open all by itself before a bottle goes flying out of it. As you can probably understand, Thomas was shocked upon reviewing the footage and still to this day has no idea what could have caused the bottle to fly out of the fridge. It hasn't been made clear whether or not Thomas is skeptical of the paranormal, but it's hard to explain this any other way. Mum of five, Tracy Lenahan, was sharing some sweet and happy memories of her late father, Terence, with her eldest daughter, Natalie, in October of 2019. What started off as a relaxing day for Natalie and Tracy quickly turned into something truly creepy. While Tracy was telling her daughter all about her late father, the two women noticed something bizarre in the window of their Liverpool home. 
which is when they decided to pull out their camera. Have a look at the clip. The mum had just marked what would have been her father's 83rd birthday after he sadly passed away due to complications with pneumonia following a stroke he suffered in 2009. When they saw the strange figure in the window and pulled back the curtain, they were surprised to see that there was nobody there. The mother-daughter pair were left even more freaked out when they reviewed the footage and noticed that there's a hand that appears to be holding Natalie's in the window reflection. Here's the reflection again in slow motion. It genuinely does look like another hand is holding Natalie's hand. So is this really the ghost of Tracy's late father Terence? Watch the eerie footage again and decide for yourself. Andrew Ward is a paranormal investigator that lives in a secluded cottage in Melbourne, Cambridgeshire, UK, which just so happens to be 400 years old. He says his cottage is haunted by an entity and wants to see if he can capture it on camera for his viewers to see. Well, we're upstairs in the, the bedroom now, actually, and as I said, um, I've got a camera on the window and it's going to be on all night. And in fact, it's going to be on for the next few nights, uh, just in case um, we don't see the, the ghost the first night. So let me just show the little rig up we've got at the moment. So here's the camera. He sets up a camera in his bedroom to record during the entire night. This is what he captured. Andrew believes this is definitive proof that the cottage is haunted after more than 30 years of rumours and speculation from previous occupants, with one stating that someone had actually died there just years prior. Some viewers suggested perhaps it was the wind that opened the window. However, the opening of the latch looks far too deliberate for a simple breeze. Furthermore, this window is on the second floor and opens outwards, ruling out the possible use of string or wire. So I'd love to hear your take on this eerie piece of footage in the comments section down below. TikTok user The Weird Shelf uploaded a piece of trail cam footage that was filmed late at night somewhere in Wisconsin. In the video, we can see an animal roaming around the area when it suddenly becomes spooked by something. Take a look. A glowing pair of massive wide eyes appears off in the distance between a couple of trees in the forest. Some viewers suggested it could be none other than the folkloric creature Bigfoot or even the rake, but others have suggested it could just be a large coyote or even a wolf lurking in the bushes.
Sadly, the video is shrouded in secrecy with little to no information about the piece of footage being known. However, even without a lot of context, it still remains an eerie video that will more than likely cause you to think twice about wandering around the woods late at night. Our first clip of the day has been going viral this past couple of weeks. Its origins are unknown, but this version was uploaded to TikTok by user WTI07. The clip, which was captured in late 2021, is an excerpt from a CCTV security feed overlooking a back street. We see two men walking along the dark road when something truly strange happens. Take a look. Watching that again zoomed in, a third figure appears from nowhere and starts to intervene. It throws the standing man back, making him stumble to the other side of the road, giving the man on the ground time to get to his feet. As he stands, the figure seems to merge with him once again, leaving only two people standing on the road. Naturally, all kinds of theories have been thrown around the internet to try and explain this bizarre footage. Some say it's some kind of supernatural protection like a djinn or a genie. Others say it had to be a guardian angel. Then there are those who say it's nothing more than a clever piece of CGI. So where do you land on this viral clip? Paranormal protector or something else entirely? Share your theories with one another in the comments down below. It's common knowledge that frogs start their lives out as worm-like tadpoles that swim through the water. But have you ever seen this transformation happen in reverse? In this video from Instagram Frogs Fam, what appears to be some sort of reverse evolution has been messing with viewers' minds. The video begins with the camera pointed at a sidewalk. There's a small frog hopping across just ahead. Watch as this short clip takes a turn for the very strange. Oh my God, what the The frog lands on the sidewalk and stops moving. It appears to shrink. The camera operator moves closer, giving us a close-up view of the creature. Miraculously, what lies on the sidewalk isn't a frog at all. Rather, it appears to be an ordinary earthworm wriggling on the pavement. What just happened? It's a worm now. The creature that leapt across the sidewalk definitely looked like a frog. So what happened here? The puzzling sighting has made this clip go viral around the internet, with thousands of people struggling to make heads or tails of the bizarre transformation. Some viewers think it could just be a trick of the eye. Perhaps the frog was carrying a worm in its mouth, then in a quick split second movement it hops away, leaving just the worm wriggling on the pavement. Some jokingly said it was a baby demogorgon from Stranger Things. Others have declared it a glitch in the matrix, an error in the simulation that switched out the animal's avatar by mistake. So which of these theories do you subscribe to? Or do you have your own idea that might explain this curious piece of footage? Let us know in the comments. What the f just happened? It's a worm now. couple on vacation have captured some footage of something moving in the waters of Loch Ness, leading some to speculate that it's proof of the existence of the infamous Loch Ness Monster. The husband and wife, who wished to remain anonymous, were on vacation in Scotland when they spotted something moving in the famed waters of Loch Ness. Nessie experts say it's some of the best footage to be captured in years. Take a look. It 
it shows something large clearly moving through the water, its humps breaking the surface. According to the couple who filmed it, the creature looked to be 20 to 30 feet long and had a fin that it used to propel itself. The Loch Ness Monster, or Nessie, is said to live in Loch Ness in the Scottish Highlands. She's a massive aquatic creature with a long neck. Many depictions resemble a plesiosaur, leading some to believe that Nessie could be an ancient animal that's been inhabiting Earth's waters since at least prehistoric times. Others believe that Nessie's sightings are nothing but bunk, claiming that pictures purported to be of Nessie are actually ordinary aquatic animals or even debris in the water with some just being outright hoaxes. Experts say that because of how clear the footage is, this is some of the best evidence to come out of Loch Ness in the last few decades. The couple who captured the video told news outlets that they have no strong views on Nessie either way, and that they simply enjoyed the mythology surrounding the loch. They uploaded their footage hoping that experts can analyse it and come to a solid conclusion. However, so far, no one's been able to definitively say what's causing the large wake in the waters of Loch Ness. Home security cameras are a great way to keep an eye on things around your house. They're also apparently a great way to capture unexplained phenomena, like this video from our viewer, Noelia Diaz. The video shows the street outside of their home. At the start of the video, everything appears to be perfectly normal. There are several cars parked on the street, but there are no other people to be seen. That's about to change, however, when a strange red light flashes across the camera. Watching that again, after the light dissipates, several people appear on the sidewalk across the street. They appear suddenly from behind a telephone pole about a third of the way into the frame, so it's not possible that they simply wandered into the camera's range. So then, where did they come from? One possibility is that the red flash indicates some sort of camera glitch, and that there's footage missing in which the people walked into the frame. However, the timestamps on the video don't seem to indicate any time missing. So could this be a glitch in reality, a wormhole to another dimension, teleportation, or is there a much more mundane answer to this clip? Let us know down below. In this TikTok from WTIO7, we see something that seems to transcend ordinary human ability. Take a look. Somehow, the man manages to lift the dump truck up and move it to the side, allowing another vehicle to pass. He doesn't even appear to break a sweat while performing this amazing feat. The average dump truck weighs between 20 and 32 tonnes. However, the world record for the most weight ever lifted by a human is just over 3 tonnes, a record set by Paul Anderson in 1957. That means the man in the video would have needed to casually lift at least six times the world record weight with a casual flick of his arms. This hardly seems likely, especially for the thin-looking man we see in the clip. There have been some recorded cases of hysterical strength in which people are able to perform great feats of strength in times of stress. However, even in this situation, lifting 20 tons would likely do serious damage to the human body. So are we seeing some sort of superhuman, or is it all just CGI? From super strength to levitation, let's look at a clip that seems to show another human with super abilities. It was uploaded to YouTube by Lebergang Ron Mashigo. The video shows what appears to be some sort of ceremony. There's music and singing and a crowd is gathered to watch the man at the center of the ceremony doesn't take long to see why. The man appears to be hovering several feet above the ground. At first, he's lying in a supine position as if he's been lifted off the ground while lying flat. 
then he begins to spin around, appearing to stand upright in the air, then flipping on his head. The ceremony takes place outside in the middle of the day. The sun is shining brightly and the bright light doesn't illuminate any hidden strings that could be helping to levitate the man. Also, there doesn't appear to be any trees or structures nearby that he could be suspended from, making it difficult to imagine how this amazing feat could be faked. There are some belief systems that claim that people can achieve amazing things that go beyond ordinary human ability by using practices such as meditation. So could this man have achieved this amazing power of levitation in a similar way? Watch the video again and decide for yourself. According to Project Paranormal, the first of the scary ghost photos on our list originates from Southeast Asia. Sources say that a recent death was the reason this young man was scared out of his wits when he first saw this photo. The photo in question seems to be a bit older. It was almost certainly taken on a film camera, then developed into a physical photograph. It depicts a carefree, if slightly sad looking young man hanging out in a typical teen's room. He's sitting at his computer with his legs crossed casually. However, if you look just above his right shoulder, it becomes clear this is no ordinary photo. Hovering in the background is the image of a translucent disembodied head with glowing eyes and a wide eerie grin. The young man in the photo recently went through something no young person should, the death of a close friend. He believes that the face in the photo is that of his friend. Others are more skeptical, however, believing that the photo was likely blurred or double exposed. However, the face and hair of the floating head look far too different to be double exposure of the young man in the photo. Is it possible that his recently deceased pal stuck around to watch over him? Redditor Donald Amandum always suspected that something strange was going on in their childhood home. Odd noises and mysteriously moved objects were just a few of the bizarre experiences that led them to believe their house was haunted. When their sister snapped these scary ghost photos, the whole family became believers. The Redditor's sister was alone in her room with a friend when she took these two photos seconds apart with a digital camera. In one photo she used a flash, in the other she didn't. Yet, in the first photo everything looks fairly normal. However, in the second photo an unexpected guest appears. Just behind the friend in the photo appears an older man or woman with round glasses peering at the camera. The person is clearly absent from the previous photo taken only seconds before. So where could they have come from? The family believes that the mysterious person in the second photo could be an entity that was responsible for the paranormal events that had been plaguing them for years. Some who have seen the photo believe it was manipulated as a hoax, but the Redditor who first publicised it insists it's the real deal. Bus driver Trevor Ty is an amateur ghost hunter so he's no stranger to scary ghost photos. However, he was pleasantly surprised to capture an eerie image of his own when dropping a group off for a tour at Hampton Court in the London borough of Richmond upon Thames. Hampton Court is said to be haunted by the ghosts of two of King Henry VIII's former wives, Catherine Howard and Jane Seymour. Catherine Howard resided in the palace as she awaited execution in 1541. Her ghost is often seen moving about the place in a white dress. After the tour group got off the bus, Ty headed inside to take his own photos of the marble staircase in the public foyer of the royal residence. He waited until the room was completely empty before snapping a few photos. It wasn't until reviewing the photo later that a friend noticed something strange. A young woman in white peering down from the upper floor. Ty spoke to a security guard who confirmed seeing the exact same figure on a regular basis. 
In addition, he's had the photo analysed by experts who confirm that the photo is legitimate. So has Ty captured an eerie image of a long deceased queen? Love to get your thoughts on this one in the comments section below. Amateur photographer Mark Baker wasn't looking to take any scary ghost photos when he pulled out his camera at the Mount, a quaint parkland reserve in Guildford, England. However, the spirits of the area had other plans. In one of the photos Baker snapped on that day, later published by the Surrey Advertiser, we can see a foggy path lined with bare, gnarled trees. The fog gives the air a greenish tint. Combined with the trees that look straight out of a horror movie, this is the perfect setting for a ghost story. Sure enough, in the very centre of the path appears a strange figure. The entity is entirely white, but takes on the shape of a person walking down the path, with their hands in their pockets and their head angled towards the ground. Baker insists that he was the only one in the area when he took the photo, and that it's not been altered in any way. This leaves only one question, who could the ghostly figure be? Unfortunately, until further information comes to hand, no one will know the real answer. What better time for scary ghost photos than Halloween? In this photo published by UK Paranormal Tavern, it seems that a spirit decided to make Halloween extra creepy for one family. The photo, taken with a film camera, shows a young girl standing in a kitchen. The photo is off center, showing the girl at the far left edge of the picture. Although she's the only person in the photo, something else takes center stage. The image of a strange ghostly figure that appears to be walking through the kitchen. The entity is difficult to make out, but there's clearly some sort of translucent white figure in the room. Its shape is almost certainly human, with one arm jutting out as if swinging while walking. Some believe that the figure is just glare or a flaw in the film, others are certain it's a ghost. Bobby Mackey's Music World, a nightclub in Wilder, Kentucky, has been the site of numerous paranormal experiences that have led many to believe the place is haunted. A photo captured by club DJ Wanda Kay seems to confirm some of these stories. Heralded as the most haunted nightclub in the US, Mackey's venue was originally a slaughterhouse. After it became a roadhouse, many patrons started claiming that the site contained a portal to hell. Some of the stories surrounding the place involve a pregnant dancer who apparently committed suicide after her father murdered her lover, the club singer, in a back room. There was also a man named Pearl Bryan who was allegedly killed by Satanists, who later cursed the location. According to patrons and staff, these ghosts and curses are still around. The image captured by the DJ is nothing short of creepy. The photo was taken at the bottom of a cobweb-covered staircase. The room is dark and the bleached out colours of the photo give the room an otherworldly appearance. However, the highlight of the photo is the ghoulish apparition walking down the stairs straight towards the camera. The figure is thin, it's entirely white so no features can be made out. However, the staff of the nightclub believe that the entity is most likely one of their resident ghosts. Have you ever visited Bobby Mackey's Music World? If you have, I'd love to hear about your experiences in the comments section below. According to Ghost and Ghouls, a website dedicated to the paranormal, the Guildhall in Sandwich, Kent is the site of regular paranormal experiences. Security guards who work there late at night often report hearing mysterious footsteps and feeling like they're being watched. The site hosts regular ghost hunting nights, and at least one attendee seems to have captured proof of the building's haunting. The ghost hunt took place on Halloween in the part of the building that used to house a prison. The visitor snapped a photo from inside the old shower block. They were shocked at what they saw the image of a young boy peeking out from behind a door. He appears to be wearing glasses or has sunken black eyes. 
no one knows who this boy could be, but his appearance in the building is nothing short of terrifying. Some viewers think it's nothing more than pareidolia, the tendency humans have to spot familiar shapes in random stimulus. However, given the history of the building and the security guard's accounts, this photo does leave the viewer with an eerie feeling that can't quite be rationalised. Douglas Tippold is a firefighter in the town of Gary, Indiana. He never expected that a photo taken to document the scene of a fire would turn into something paranormal. Tippold was waiting for his fellow firefighters to prepare a hose when he decided to pull out his phone to snap a photo documenting the fire for evidence. He was busy attempting to put out the blaze and didn't give the photo a second look. However, when his wife saw the photo, she noticed something shocking. The figure of a man standing in the window outlined by bright orange flames. Because of the raging fire in the house, the man appears mostly as a shadow. He seems to be wearing a baseball cap and a dark jacket as he stares almost casually out the window. His face is unclear. Tippled was shocked by the photo, as the house was certainly empty when they showed up to put the fire out. The bright hot flames behind the figure make it seem like a demon from hell. But many believe the man is more likely the ghost of a previous occupant. However, with no additional information and the house destroyed by fire, the man's true identity may never be known. In 1561, something strange happened in the skies over Germany that has left a lot of historians mystified. This event was a mass sighting of unidentified flying objects over what is present-day Nuremberg. A part of the Holy Roman Empire back when the sighting took place, Nuremberg remains on the radar of UFO enthusiasts centuries later. It was daybreak on April 14. Early risers throughout the city were witnesses to terrifying visions over the sun. First, it took the form of blood red coloured arcs peppered with black spheres blotting out the sun. What came next was said to be worse. A series of blood red crosses appeared beside the black globes. The images in the sky all seemed to battle amongst themselves in a torturous upheaval as the people of the city looked on. Finally, the objects all appeared to burn out from exhaustion before falling in the sky with puffs of smoke. Naturally, the people of Nuremberg applied a Christian interpretation to the incident. Many saw the blood red crosses mixed in with a scene of turmoil and destruction as a call to repentance. However, many other interpretations have been floated around since. Many people believe the globe-like balls mixed with fiery blood-red puffs of smoke were cannons from a nearby military exercise. Others believe that the people of the city were simply applying their overzealous religious beliefs to a particularly red sunrise. Some took it as a sign of an impending apocalypse. Curiously, five years later in Basel, Switzerland, another very similar sighting took place. Over the course of three days, on the 27th, 28th of July and again on the 7th of August, mysterious black shapes were spotted in the sky. First, it was reported that the sun lost its luster, before blood red tears seemed to form in the sky. On the 7th of August, the black floating balls appeared as though they were embroiled in battle. Some of the balls turned a fiery red colour before extinguishing. Again, through a modern lens, this event can be interpreted a number of ways. The most common explanation is that overly religious witnesses expounded the sighting of a solar eclipse as apocalyptic. During the 16th century, throughout Europe, there was significant conflict between Catholic and Protestant factions during Reformation. It's possible villagers witnessed military conflict without realising what was happening. Still, there's no concrete evidence that explains what witnesses saw in both Switzerland and Germany all those years ago. Strange flying balls in the sky that appeared to be engrossed in battle certainly does pique one's interest. But ultimately, these incidents still remain a complete mystery to this day. Broadcasting at a frequency of 4625 kHz, an eerie radio station of unknown origin sends a mysterious code out into the airwaves. 
UVB-76 is a radio station in Russia that no one claims to run. It emits a mysterious buzzing at 25 tones per minute, around the clock, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. The exact start date of the station is unknown, but many speculate that it began sometime in the early 1970s. Day after day, it sends cloaked messages intended for an audience that hides in the shadows. The station does occasionally break through with a series of nonsensical words uttered in Russian. In this video from Mr. Dr. Smith Jr., you can sample the bizarre and mysterious buzzing sound that is emitted from the so-called ghost station. People from all around the world tune in to try and make sense of the station, crack the code behind the mysterious messages it's sending, and anticipate what type of potential doom the mysterious messages could be conjuring up. Is it a communication method for spies, a calling card for a secret society, a hoax, or a dead man switch for nuclear retaliation? Nobody's certain. To deepen the mystery, in September 2010, the broadcast broke its monotonous tone to play a short excerpt from Tchaikovsky's Swan Lake. Take a listen. The theories behind why this station exists are intriguing. A popular one is that the channel's used for Russian military communications. Under this theory, the buzzing sound is merely a placeholder until the channel's needed for more important communications. Another theory that's been thrown around is that the tower that emits the buzzing sound is connected to Russia's missile system. If the signal is interrupted as a result of a nuclear attack, an automatic nuclear retaliation will be triggered. But ultimately, the true nature of this radio broadcast is still unknown. However, when you're trying to sleep tonight, think about this. It's possible that an antique radio station built in the 1970s somewhere in Russia could malfunction and trigger a nuclear war at any given second. Sweet dreams. As the world celebrated the close of 2019, a call went out to the US Coast Guard from Bahamian authorities. A 29-foot Mako Cuddy cabin vessel carrying 20 people on holiday had disappeared while bobbing along in the waves over the Bermuda Triangle on its way back to Lake Worth from Bimini. Rescuers searched an area covering 17,000 square miles for days without turning up any evidence that a boat had been in the area at all. Significant resources were used during the search for the boat, including HC-144 Ocean Sentry aircrew from Miami and a C-130 Hercules aircrew from Clearwater. The US Air Force, Coast Guard, as well as the Royal Bahamas Defense Force and the Bahamas Air Sea Rescue Association and Patrick Air Force Base units were deployed in the search. Despite such a significant search and rescue contingent, no evidence was found on the whereabouts of the boat. Ultimately, on the Friday morning, after more than 84 hours, the search was called off. The fate of all 20 people on the vessel is now one more mystery that's been swallowed up by the Bermuda Triangle. The infamous history of the Bermuda Triangle, or the Devil's Triangle as it's sometimes referred to, began in the early 1950s, when several journalists reported strange disappearances in the area. The first noteworthy disappearance happened five years earlier on December 5, 1945. Flight 19 consisted of five TBM Avenger bombers participating in an overwater navigation training exercise. All 14 airmen participating in the training disappeared without a trace. To make the event even more bizarre, a 13-man crew was dispatched from Naval Air Station Banana River to search for the missing Flight 19. The search party also mysteriously disappeared while looking for the original missing crew. An eerie message from the doomed Flight 19 was later released to the public. 
Over the radio, the flight leader was heard saying, We're entering white water, nothing seems right. We don't know where we are, the water is green, no white. This was followed by radio silence. Over the years, more than 30 disappearances have occurred in this notorious stretch of water. Numerous explanations have been put forth trying to explain the bizarre occurrences. Everything from compass variations and dangerous currents to wild weather and human error have been suggested. It should be noted that the official word from the US Navy and US Coast Guard is that no supernatural activity is responsible for causing disasters and disappearances in the Bermuda Triangle. Did Dr. Mary Neal really go to heaven? An orthopaedic spine surgeon, Neal certainly seems believable as a woman of science and logic. However, her claims require faith in the unknown if they are to be believed. The good doctor was kayaking while on holiday in Chile in 1999, when her kayak pinned her at the bottom of a waterfall for 12 full minutes. When medical aid arrived, the ice cold body of the doctor had no heartbeat or breath, Ultimately, she was without oxygen for a total of 24 minutes. Amazingly, Dr. Neil was revived without any long-term damage to her brain or body. While she was unconscious, Dr. Neil claims that she arrived in a place full of structures where spirits roamed. Overjoyed to see her, these beings were focused on nurturing and protecting her. They informed her that she needed to return to her body because she had more work to do. This place was allegedly so comforting and magnificent that Dr. Neil protested returning back to the living. Finally, the beings gently guided her down the path to be reunited with her body. However, they delivered a message to her before she should go. The beings informed her that she would suffer the great tragedy of losing her eldest son. It was a piece of knowledge that Dr. Neil tried to shake off after she returned to her life. For a decade, she kept the secret to herself out of fear of upsetting her husband and children. However, she received a phone call 10 years after her spiritual experience in Chile, informing her that her son had been killed in a car accident caused by a distracted driver. Neil claims she received the news of her son's death the day she finished her memoir. While Arkansas may be known as the natural state, an alleged supernatural happening has drawn a lot of attention. The situation became so serious that the Arkansas National Guard was asked to step in to confirm whether or not the soil in a small town called Midway was being used as Satan's play sand. As summer 2018 drew to a close, a flaming sulfur emitting hole appeared in the ground near the town of Midway, Arkansas. The two-foot hole was shooting flames reaching nine feet high at times. Residents reported sulfur odours as they watched the ground burn up in a perfectly circular shape. Early theories ranged from a deadly gas leak to a portal to hell. Local officials took a more tempered approach by declaring the spontaneous fire circle as definitely man-made. The most plausible explanation was that a person had simply dumped some paint thinner that eventually caught on fire. However, some oddities were discovered when the Arkansas National Guard unit was brought in to use specialized equipment to test the soil inside the hell hole. What the unit concluded was the hole contained high amounts of sulfur dioxide that would not be found in the ground under normal conditions. They also found that the hole went down more than three feet before making a sharp 45 degree turn. The mystery behind why the flaming hole of Midway was created was never solved. However, local enforcement officials are adamant that the hole was man-made. The official conclusion is that the hole was part of a prank. However, no pranksters have ever come forward to take credit for bringing hell to Arkansas. Chicago's Graceland Cemetery is home to one of the creepiest sculptures ever created. A bronze sculpture called Eternal Silence is an eerie work of art with a dark story behind it. Locals often refer to it simply as the Dexter Graves Statue of Death. In 1831, a man named Dexter Graves led 13 families on a voyage to settle Chicago. While Graves passed away in 1884, it would be 75 years before the statue that is forever associated with him would be created. 
In fact, Graceland Cemetery itself wasn't founded until 16 years after Graves passed away. So how did this settler come to be associated with Chicago's creepiest statue? Dexter had a son named Henry who left behind a sum of money totaling around 300,000 US dollars to create a statue in honor of his father. When Henry died in 1907, instructions were left to create a monument in Washington Park in honor of a racehorse named Ike Cook that was beloved by his father. However, the horse-inspired monument was never actually built. Curiously, the funds were redirected to a statue built by Laredo Taft that featured an eerie hooded figure. The statue has haunted Chicago's Graceland Cemetery since 1909. Standing 10 feet tall, the bronze statue draws clear comparisons to the Grim Reaper. The statue has become something of a grotesque tourist attraction in recent years. According to folklore, anyone who looks into the eyes of the hooded bronze figure upon entering the Chicago Cemetery will see a vision of their own death. There have even been reports that the statue's arms move throughout the day, often in such a subtle way that passers-by would never notice. At night time, witnesses say that eerie screams can be heard in the vicinity of the statue. Up until the 1970s, a pernicious rumor suggested that the statue wouldn't show up in photographs, adding to its mysterious lore. This theory has obviously been disproven, but it adds another layer of intrigue to the already eerie statue. So is this statue in Chicago's Graceland Cemetery really haunted, or is it just a case of an intricate layering of urban legend? One way to find out for sure is to stare deep into the black veil of the statue and wait for a vision of your own demise. What's wrong, baby? Our first clip of the day comes from Dean Stewart. This OP was recently recording his daughter when something strange happened on camera. Take a look. You're so pretty, Bebo. Watching that again, the light at the end of the hall turns on, catching the OP's eye. If we slow it down, you can actually see the rocking horse start to move, seemingly all on its own. The bizarre incident has led the homeowner to suspect that his house might be haunted. So what do you think's going on here? Is it something paranormal caught on camera? Or is there another way to explain the strange incident? Let me know your theories on this one in the comments down below. For some time now, one of our viewers, Bobby, has suspected that his house might be haunted. In fact, the activity's gotten so frequent that Bobby started a YouTube channel called World Paranormal to document the bizarre happenings they encountered. We've featured some of Bobby's footage before. Take a look. It looks like the antique clown doll moves all by itself. Well now, yet more disturbing footage has been captured inside of Bobby's home. It's after 11 p.m. when this uploader thinks he sees something move out the corner of his eye. That's when he took out his camera to try and catch some evidence. Watch. Yo. Yo, I told you, I told you I saw that. I told you it was moving. You can clearly see the doll's arm move. Yo. Yo, I told you, I told you I saw that. I told you it was moving. Throughout history, there have been numerous cases surrounding haunted and cursed dolls. One of the most notorious is Annabelle the Doll. This case was made famous when it was fictionalized in the Conjuring spin-off film Annabelle. 
The scary thing is, it's based on a very real incident. The doll that would become to be known as Annabelle was originally a Raggedy Ann doll given to a young girl named Donna in 1970. Donna and her friend Angie used to play with the doll and would often find it in different places around their room. One day they found the doll chained to a bedpost with a note that said, help me. It was written in a red substance. The girls took the note to their mother who contacted a medium who told them that the doll was possessed by the spirit of a little girl named Annabelle Higgins. The Higgins family had allegedly lived in the house before the current occupants and Annabelle had died in a tragic accident. The girl's story caught the attention of famed paranormal investigators Ed and Lorraine Warren. They decided to take the case and see if they could find out more about this supposedly cursed doll. After conducting their own investigation, they concluded that the doll was indeed possessed by a demonic entity. They took her back to their home and placed her in a glass case with a warning sign that read, do not touch. So is it possible that spirits can attach themselves to inanimate objects like dolls and toys? If Bobby's footage is to be believed, then we could indeed be witnessing a real haunted doll. Yo. Yo, I told you, I told you I saw that. I told you it was moving. This next curious sighting was uploaded to the Instagram page UFO Lovers. The clip was captured in England when this family were out for an afternoon walk. Take a look at what they saw. In the distance is an odd cube shaped cloud. It stands out in contrast to the more normal looking clouds in the background. Here's some still photos that show the anomaly in more detail. Viewers on Instagram were shocked and confused by the bizarre cube cloud. Its unnatural appearance sparked all kinds of theories in the comments section of the video. Some jokingly said it looked like a cloud from Minecraft, while others couldn't help but wonder whether aliens were somehow involved. Several comments suggested it could be the work of a government program called Project HARP. Project HARP is a research program that seeks to advance our understanding of the ionosphere, a region of the Earth's upper atmosphere. The program is sponsored by the US Air Force, the Navy and the University of Alaska Fairbanks. HARP stands for High Frequency Active Auroral Research Program. The facility is located in Gakona, Alaska and consists of 180 antennas spread over an area about the size of a small town. Critics say that the military is using HARP as a weapon and that there have been a number of conspiracy theories about its capabilities. Some believe that HARP can be used to manipulate people's emotions or even control their thoughts, while others think it may be responsible for natural disasters like earthquakes and hurricanes. So what do you think's going on with this cube cloud? Aliens, government mind control, or is there another way to explain it? I'd love to hear your theories on this one in the comments down below. One of our viewers who goes by the Reddit username Julio the Gay sent us this peculiar footage. The OP was recently exploring an old, partly demolished building in the historic suburb of Saint Anne de Bellevue in southwestern Quebec, Canada. Out of curiosity, they decided to explore the abandoned property. The strange thing is, while they were there, nothing particularly odd happened. However, when they rewatched the footage they had captured that day, there was something odd happening in the clip. Take a look. In the background, you can hear an unsettling noise. The OP swears the noise wasn't happening when they were there in person, 
For some reason, you can only hear it in the footage. The history of St Anne de Bellevue goes back to the early days of European settlement in North America. The area was founded as a parish way back in 1703. Due to its long rich history, many locals believe the area is home to a number of heavily haunted hotspots. One of the most notorious is the Auberge Le Saint Gabriel. The restaurant is located in Old Montreal and is one of the oldest buildings in the city. The building was originally built as a private home in 1688 and later turned into a tavern and inn. It's been said that the ghosts of former owners and guests still haunt the place. There have been reports of doors opening and closing on their own, dishes breaking and strange noises coming from the basement. There's even been sightings of a little girl who's said to have perished in a fire in the early 19th century. Witnesses say they see her crying in the corner of the room, but when they go to comfort her, she's nowhere to be seen. So what's to be made of the strange noise captured by our viewer? Given the history of the area and that many believe that spirits still linger from long ago, could this sound be some kind of supernatural phenomenon? Take another listen and decide for yourself. This photo was submitted to our Slaptam subreddit by user ownresolution7554. The uploader says that her mum's sister was out having some drinks on a girl's night out. The group was happily snapping pics to remember the night by when suddenly they noticed something eerie in one of the photos. In the middle of the group, there's a small hand that's unaccounted for. It seems to be reaching up past the throat of the girl in the middle. The family were freaked out by the strange small hand and had no way of explaining how it got there. Some viewers said it almost looks like the girl in the middle is reaching up and resting her hand on the shoulder of the woman on the left. The OP's aunt, who's in the middle, says that on that night she was wearing bright pink nail polish, but the hand doesn't seem to have pink polish on at all. Plus the family insists the hand is far too small. They believe it looks like the hand of a child, none of whom were present when this photo was taken. While the family isn't jumping to conclusions, they wanted to share this photo because they have no rational way of explaining the small hand's appearance. So what do you think? Is this just a trick of perspective, or is there more going on in this photo? Let me know your take on this in the comments down below. This wild sighting was posted to YouTube by Finding UFO. It was captured on live TV by Sky News as they had rolling coverage of the Queen's Platinum Jubilee back in June 2022. As a squadron of jets from the Royal Air Force make a pass over Buckingham Palace, something odd is inadvertently caught on camera. Take a look. An unidentified white or black object flies through the air just behind the jets. The object was even captured by one of the jets on board surveillance cameras. It's brief, but you can see the ball pass by the red smoke. To get a better look, here's the wide shot again, zoomed in and slowed down. The YouTube channel Finding UFO did some analysis of the footage and noticed another strange object passing by among the clouds. So what's going on here then? It's worth noting that the airspace was closed and closely monitored for the special event so it's unlikely to be a drone. Plus, the speed at which the object flies is far greater than any drone commercially available. Even stranger, if we watch the footage again during the shot of the royal family, you can see young Prince Louis point up into the air. Some viewers think it looks like he says, look, there's a ball.
but others think he just says, look, there's smoke, perhaps referring to the colorful smoke coming out of the jets. Despite this puzzling footage going viral, there's been no official word from the British government or military on what this object could be. So for now, unless more info comes to hand, this will have to remain a genuine UFO sighting. Exploring with Danny is a YouTube channel based in the UK. Danny is a paranormal investigator who travels the country looking for evidence of life after death. In this episode, Danny explores an old abandoned church that he had heard about online. He keeps the location a secret, but early on in the exploration we can see that it's an old gothic style church sitting among an overgrown estate. It's been abandoned for quite a long time. He makes his way into the building. Hi right, guys, I have just made my way into this. Creepy, creepy looking church. Here we can see what kind of state it's been left in. I've got to watch where I'm walking. I can hear all sorts of noises. I'm nervous. I'm really nervous. But you know, I've got to bring the best for you guys. Shortly into the exploration, he begins to hear some unnerving sounds. I've got to watch out for these. Holes in the floor right here. You don't want to be <laughs> falling through. What is this? <gasps> what the hell? <sighs> Danny presses on, dismissing the noises as pigeons. Look, there's quite a lot of pigeons in here. <sighs> Guys, I am so nerve nervous right now. Then, while looking at an old baptism pot, he hears what sounds like a woman crying. Just think people would have been christened here once. What the hell? Is that a pigeon? That's when this happens. Hello? Ah! Oh my god! What the f is that? Ah! Watching that again, there's some kind of grey figure sitting in the pews. Hello? Ah! Oh my god! What the f while a lot of people have said this could have easily have been staged, it's the genuine sounding screams that Danny lets out that has the majority of viewers convinced that this is real. Oh my god! What the f is that? Others have noted that for it to be a hoax, an accomplice would have had to have been sitting in the dark for quite some time while Danny explored the church. So do the screams convince you? Take another listen and judge for yourself. Hello? <laughs> 
TikToker Joshua Davis 2021 believes that his friend's car is haunted by some kind of spirit, and it seems he has video evidence to support this wild claim. In April 2021, this clip went viral around social media as it appears to show some bizarre activity happening in this man's car. Take a look. Are you able to? All the way, all the way, you got this. Bro. Keep going, keep going. Bro! You got this, all the way. Now, can you go all the way back? The dial on the air conditioning moves, seemingly on command. Are you able to? <laughs> Bro, no way. Are you able to go all the way back? Show me. No keep going. way. Keep going. All no the way. way. Oh, you got this. Come on, keep going. All the way. Bro, there's nothing even there to make it move. Oh, dude, there's a ghost <laughs> in your car. The footage stunned hundreds of thousands of people as a deluge of comments poured in trying to figure the clip out. Some viewers suggested that the owner run a background check as they suspect someone may have previously died in the car. Another comment said it's all fun and games until the spirit flicks it into reverse on the freeway. Others jokingly said it was an Autobot from Transformers. Bro, there's nothing even there to make it move. Oh, dude, there's a ghost in your car. So what do you make of this strange footage? Are we seeing some ghostly activity here or is there another way to explain it? Share your theories with the rest of the community in the comments down below. Are you able to? <laughs> Bro, no way. Are you able to go all the way back? Show me. No keep going. way. Keep going. All no the way. way. Oh, you got this. Come on, keep going. All the way. Bro, there's nothing even there to make it move. Oh, dude, there's a ghost in your car. I hear something up there. This next freaky sighting was uploaded to TikTok by To Do Contenida Top. This homeowner was hearing some strange sounds coming from their backyard, so they decided to get their phone and film the yard to see if they could find what was making the noises. Take a look at what they caught. What is... Watching that again, you can see some movement in one of the bushes. What is... Then a figure crawling on all fours lurches towards the house. The clip then abruptly ends and we're left wondering what it is we just witnessed. Unfortunately, there's no info on where or when this video was captured or who the original poster is. So for now, all we can do is re-watch the footage and let our imaginations run wild as that freaky figure crawls towards us. What is... We often show clips that purport to show a breakdown in reality, a glitch in the matrix, something that suggests that we could be living in a simulated reality. This next video uploaded to TikTok by Strangest MP4s does just that. A passenger on a bus was filming out their window when they inadvertently caught something bizarre happening outside. Take a look. <laughs> a woman on the side of the road is taking a series of non-stop selfies. But it's the eerie, robotic way in which she does it that's caught the eye of online viewers. Some have said it looks like her animations have glitched, putting her on repeat. This theory implies that we're living in some kind of simulated reality in which breakdowns can occur in the code causing bizarre glitches like this. <laughs> For thousands of years, philosophers have grappled with the idea of reality being an illusion. Chinese, Indian and even ancient Greek texts discuss the idea that our reality is more akin to a painting like visions experienced during sleep or periods of madness. A contemporary take on this theory was popularised by philosopher Nick Bostrom. Bostrom posits the idea that in the future humans will have access to vast amounts of computing power, enormous networks that are so powerful that our future selves could be running detailed simulations of historical events and timelines. He suggests that the inhabitants of these simulations may harbour their own consciousness, 
and that the worlds are so finely detailed the people in them wouldn't know the difference. So are we witnessing a breakdown in reality here? Or is there another way to explain the woman's bizarre behavior? Let us know your take on this in the comments down below. <laughs> this next documented haunting, which was uploaded to YouTube by Crazy Adventures 1000, has been lurking on the internet for nearly 10 years, and it still manages to freak audiences out. Back in December 2012, this family home began experiencing things that seemed beyond the realms of possibility. Things in their house would often move seemingly unaided, strange sounds were heard at all hours of the night, and the family's safety soon became a concern. The family set up a series of cameras around the home in order to try and get some evidence of the bizarre happenings on film. In this first clip, we can see some rather extreme activity taking place in the kitchen. Drawers open. And even cutlery flies out of the shelves. Here's some more footage captured in the kitchen on a separate night. This time we see it from a different angle. Watching that again, the oven seems to turn itself on before the door flings open. and more strange things happen in the background. In this final clip, taken in January 2013, we see some activity taking place in one of the bedrooms. The large toy ball begins to bounce up and down. One viewer thought that they could see strings making the ball move, but on closer inspection there doesn't appear to be anything making this ball bounce. This led some viewers to believe that the spirit of a child might be playing with the ball. This is certainly a strange series of clips. While the first two videos seem to be the classic makings of a poltergeist haunting, this one seems more playful and less violent. So is it all just a hoax, or are we witnessing some genuine supernatural activity here? Watch the clips again and make up your own mind. Our last clip's been floating around social media quite a lot in the last few months. This version was uploaded to Instagram by Paranoid Normal. The clip begins with a person exploring a ruined bus that's been left to the elements. That's when they spot something rather chilling. Take a look. Watching that again, a young girl can be seen peering through a dirty window of the bus. But when the OP looks inside, there's nothing there.
Naturally, a lot of comments poured in trying to make sense of this eerie sighting. Some people suggested that something bad may have happened on this bus or that someone died in an accident, tethering their spirit to the area. As is so often the case with alleged ghost sightings like this, there's never any solid info attached to the clip. We don't know where or when this was captured, so it makes it difficult to investigate any further. So for now, unless more info comes to hand, this freaky sighting will have to remain a mystery. Posted to TikTok by user MaryLiz9, this video will have viewers watching over and over again. In the video, the uploader seems to be doing just what teenagers like to do most on TikTok. They're filming themselves doing a dance for the camera. The uploader says in the video's description that this clip was in her drafts and was appealing for viewers to explain the strange man that can be seen behind her. As it's a rehearsal that was never meant to see the light of day, we see the uploader walk through a few dance moves, making her way towards the camera. As she moves to her left, an elderly man can be seen walking towards the camera. The girl ends the video moments later, blissfully unaware of the man behind her who is now out of sight. If you slow the footage down, you can actually see that the figure is walking backwards toward the camera. This would be incredibly hard to pull off if it is indeed a hoax. The erratic movements of the girl would make it difficult to hide someone the entire shot. Since going live, the video has racked up 11 million views with thousands of comments speculating on who the old man might be. Theories range from a ghost, to a stalker, to a friend who helped stage the video. Mary Liz 9 has since posted a video update in which she insists the video isn't staged and that she doesn't know who the person was. The video wasn't staged. I really don't know who the guy in the back was. Um, I wasn't alone in the parking garage. I was with my sister. It was just kind of a strange experience. But... She does, however, think that the man might have managed to walk away when she went to pick up her phone after the dance had ended and just didn't notice a person behind her. So what do you think? Ghost, coincidence, or something else entirely? Love to get your thoughts on this one in the comments section below. Uploaded to YouTube by user Transistus Fluvis, this video claims to feature real footage of a small ghost boy captured by CCTV. The channel is known for posting scary videos of ghosts. It claims each video features real instances of paranormal activity. The footage comes from a camera stationed in the upper corner of a convenience store. It's been positioned to keep an eye on both the counter as well as the front door. At around 30 seconds into the clip, you can see a small child appear out of thin air. It looks as though they materialize out of nowhere, rather than simply walking up to the window. A man is seen behind the counter working and attending to menial tasks. He doesn't respond to the figure clearly present outside the door. The young child raises an arm and it looks to be eerily long. Although admittedly, this could be the two windows creating a warped perspective. The figure steps to the side and looks through the other part of the window. It's at this point that the young child seems to shift in and out of focus, almost as if switching in and out of a solid form. The worker's ignorance of the boy's presence is another telling factor, which raises a few questions. Was the boy truly a ghost, so incorporeal as to be easily ignored if one were not looking right at him? Or was he perhaps the type of spirit that can be captured on camera but not seen in real life? Or further still, perhaps the child is just some riffraff that the store clerk is choosing to ignore. Either way, the man pays the boy no mind. The boy remains staring longingly inside, all the while appearing to wish to come in as he waits alone, 
leaving viewers to wonder at the strange boy's fate. Sure to stump, frighten and even amuse is this next video posted to Reddit by user KittyK38. The uploader explains that after she and her husband were concerned by a cupboard that seemed to open by itself the previous night, they set up a camera to record the kitchen the following night. That very evening, the uploader's husband is seen grabbing some cereal as a midnight snack. After pouring the cereal, the man puts the box down on the counter and retrieves milk from the refrigerator. As he does so, the cereal box is seen sliding down the counter by itself. Although the man doesn't see the box slide, he does notice that it's moved when he turns around. Only a bit confused, the man moves the box back to where it had been. As he pours some milk into his bowl, the box moves once again. The man looks slightly more concerned but finishes pouring the milk. He moves to replace it in the refrigerator once again. As his back is turned, the box begins to slide down the counter once more. Clearly spooked, the man does something very few people are seen to actually do in genuinely scary videos of ghosts. He jumps and moves away from the box comically fast. He runs out of the kitchen. The man's reaction is most likely the real deal, as he runs away from the serial poltergeist haunting his kitchen. A spirit trapped in a mirror located in a haunted Irish castle seems to be the plot of a horror movie. Yet lead paranormal investigator Siobhan McCauley seems to have captured proof. The ghost is known as the man in the mirror. There were two separate stories in the news outlet The Irish Mirror. The original piece was by Mark Corcoran, followed by a second piece by William Dunn a month later. They both feature the video and photos captured by the six-person paranormal investigations team during a public lockdown of one of Ireland's most haunted castles, Leap Castle in County Offaly. In the footage, you can see the lead investigator pointing out to her fellow partner that the man visible in the mirror seems to be wearing a straw hat. There you go. Is he wearing a hat? Yes. No. Yes, he's wearing a hat. Hook off. Yes, yeah. he's wearing a straw hat. Look. There he is. The two seem to be able to make out separate and distinct features in the mirror. Yeah, there you can see his nose and the hat around the rim and the hat and everything. Yes. Like many scary videos of ghosts, this video has come into its own fair bit of contention. Another group of paranormal investigators seem to deny any claim of a ghost's presence in the mirror. They claim the mirror simply needs to be cleaned. While at some points in the video you can actually see something that resembles a man wearing a hat, it's a little odd that the man only moves when the investigator moves her torch. She even admits in the video that the entity moves opposite to her actions. I'm going to step forward. Are you going to do the opposite again? Look, I knew he would. With two directly opposing investigative results, viewers are left to decide for themselves just what they've seen in the mirror. Hey, there you can see his nose and the hat it's around the rim and the hat and everything. Yes. Uploaded by YouTube user CH3Thailand, this next clip captures something frightening on dash cam. The footage was captured in the middle of the night. As the car drives down an empty highway, a figure seems to materialize out of nowhere. Continuing on, the car seems to pass right through the mysterious figure. This video gained a fair bit of media attention in Thailand where it was captured. After being shared on social media, the video was picked up by a Thai English language news outlet. Strange videos like these reach peak levels of speculation when they broach the mainstream, and this one is no different. The clip has drawn a fair amount of skepticism, with some viewers asserting that the figure was simply the result of a reflection on the window. However, discerning viewers find it unlikely that a window reflection could so accurately show a person standing up straight and unmoving in the middle of the road in such a way. If it was just a person wandering aimlessly on the highway, perhaps drunk, how is it that they managed to pass right through the driving vehicle and disappear without a trace?
It's no coincidence that St. Augustine, the oldest city in the US, is also frequently referred to as the most haunted city in the US. Posted to the YouTube channel Paranormal Planet, this video takes us on a tour of some of St. Augustine's oldest sites, all of which are reported to be haunted. The old Spanish fortress still haunted by slaughtered soldiers. The oldest house in America stands in an area known for a vicious slaughter by the Spanish Armada. This right here, the oldest house. In an old room just adjacent to the oldest house in America, the uploader claims the Spanish Armada slaughtered up to 50 people. When the Spanish Armadas invaded the city, they slaughtered 50 people in this room. It's here that they set up a time-lapse shot to see if they can capture anything unusual on film. Shortly into the time-lapse shot, a shadowy figure is seen walking between rooms. It glides eerily from door to door. Given the area's history, it's clear why ghosts would remain tied to this place. Being one of the oldest continually lived in cities in the United States and being the site of many historical battles, there is more to these buildings than meets the eye in the light of day. Almost like a movie, it would appear these shadows tend to walk across the buildings of their old stomping grounds, seemingly restless and haunting such areas of strife for all eternity. As kids, most of us had a fear of something creepy hiding under our beds at some point or another. Perhaps it was the boogeyman or a sinister clown. As we grew older, we understood that this was just another childish fear that we would grow out of. Or is it? For TikTok user Josh Dean 2 this nightmare was anything but a silly youthful fantasy. In fact, it looks to have become a reality for his young daughter. In the video, we see camera footage of the TikTok user's daughter's bedroom. A child's musical tune is playing in the background. His daughter lies on her bed. She pokes her head over the edge to look underneath. His daughter slowly climbs off her bed and onto the floor. She crawls her way to the front of the bed, turning her head to look underneath the mattress. And what happens next will surely give you the chills. Take a look. As you can see, her body slowly goes under the bed, as if being pulled by something underneath. We then hear the child begin to wail. Her cries become more distressed as her body goes underneath until it completely disappears. The TikTok user explained that his wife believes their daughter simply crawled under the bed, though he's certain that she was pulled by something or someone. The way her body seems to slowly slide under the bed is clearly suggestive of a pulling motion, and the fact that she screams mummy is extremely eerie and suspicious. The uploader later confirmed that they ran into the child's room to see what had happened. They found their daughter under the bed safe, but frightened. So could this video be a case of our worst childhood nightmare come true? According to traditional Chinese medicine, qi is a type of energy that binds life itself together, a sort of life force that exists in all things. Grandmaster Wolf is a martial artist and mystic from Australia. He studied in remote temples in the Himalayas and other remote mountains of China, where he claims to have mastered the flow of qi. In this video, we see Grandmaster Wolf prepare with a few hand movements. What happens next is quite remarkable. Take a look. As you can see, he hovers his hand over a bowl of water. The liquid appears to vibrate, 
as tiny ripples appear on the surface. When he moves his hand away, the vibration appears to stop. The description of the video states, under ideal conditions, water produces its own chi. When this comes into contact with human chi, it often produces an evidential shimmer. There is a far greater fundamental mind in all of us than what is generally accepted as the normal waking state. This original mind is your true identity. When life is engaged directly from this original mind, one becomes privy to sights, sounds and connections in life that can never be grasped by the physical senses and the machinations of the brain. There are definite techniques and methods specifically designed to awaken this wonderful, mysterious realm of pathless ultimate reality. GM Wolf. So does this video show evidence of a powerful master of chi at work? Or is there another explanation? Love to hear your opinions on this one in the comments section below. Reddit user KittyK38 has experienced all kinds of eerie activity inside of her home. From things moving on their own to strange noises and unsettling vibes in the basement, it would appear this house has become home to some kind of unnatural presence. We've shown quite a few of KittyK38's videos on our channel in the past, and many viewers agree that the house is in fact haunted. In this clip, KittyK38 speaks to the camera, giving an update to her followers on when she'll upload new videos in the future. Happy Wednesday, TikTok. Um, everything in the house has been really crazy lately. I've been posting videos to show you kind of what's been going on. All seems fine at first, but seven seconds in, viewers are hit with something chilling. See if you can spot it. Lately, I've been posting videos to show you kind of what's been going on, so the house is getting really active in 2021. Um, in the top left-hand corner, viewers can see what seems to be a tall, dark, lanky figure slowly walking behind the woman. Lately, I've been posting videos to show you kind of what's been going on, so the house is getting really active in 2021. Um, getting a lot the figure seems to stop in front of a large window in the background. Schedule. And as soon as we can get back to doing live streams down in the Though it seems to shift around a little near the end, right as the video concludes. Stay tuned. I will keep you updated with the haunting. Cheers. As we said, KittyK38 has sent a number of videos to Slapped Ham in the past, as she and her husband's home is said to be notoriously active with spooky spirits and other supernatural beings. In this way, perhaps it's no surprise that another terrifying figure has made an appearance here. Viewers noted that this figure seems to be wearing a brimmed hat, which is reminiscent of the infamous Hat Man. The Hat Man is one of the most petrifying supernatural figures, claimed to have been seen by a large number of people throughout history all around the world. He's said to be a tall, dark figure that sports a hat and stands at a distance from individuals, often staring at them eerily. There have been accounts of the Hat Man approaching some individuals and even hovering over them while they rest in bed. So could this be yet another sighting of the infamous Hat Man? Getting really active in 20 Type Hat Man in the comments below if you're a true believer. So please stay tuned. I will keep you updated with the haunting. Cheers. Dragons have been associated with Chinese history for thousands of years. In fact, symbols of dragons are found in drawings, literature, jewellery, coins, clothing and films, among many other mediums throughout the country. It's said that the dragon symbolises extraordinary strength, and its appearance is often accompanied by impressive lightning and deafening thunder. One video shared by the news website Newsflare may have just captured a dragon making an incredible appearance in Shenyang last year in the province of Liaoning. Viewers see a view of the city from outside of a balcony. Suddenly, something extraordinary happens. Take a look. As you can see, an enormous ball of fire breaks out, seemingly out of nowhere. 
It's accompanied by a large explosive sound. A second corroborating clip is then shown, this time from a lower angle. Viewers can see just how intense the fireball is before it slowly dissipates. Yet another clip confirms the event, this time from another high angle with a similar view as to the first clip. A final video is then played, this time as shot from a moving vehicle. Take a look at what happens. Next to the fiery explosion, just on the left, viewers can make out a strange dark flying figure next to the fireball just before the video ends. Some have speculated this unidentified flying object is in fact a Chinese dragon. It was later confirmed by some news outlets that the impressive fireball was caused by a lightning strike to a set of high voltage power lines. Interestingly, the power lines were not at all affected by the huge explosion even by such a big strike. However, the dark flying figure is a complete mystery. Its large frame resembles the outline of a dragon, as often seen in images or illustrations in China. If we watch the first clip again, you can see the big black flying object from another angle. This time, however, it's a little ways in front of the explosion. This has led many viewers to theorise that there were in fact multiple unidentified flying creatures in the sky that day. So could this fireball be the result of an angry dragon? Or was it simply a massive lightning strike as presented by the media? Let us know what you think in the comments section below. For one YouTube user, Siust, a stroll in the forest led to a bizarre, unexplained sighting. In the video, the camera operator shows us a view of leaves on the ground before panning the camera up to a grove of trees. The camera holder pans back down, continuing to walk forward before he or she stops, showing us one tree in particular. Take a look at what they spotted. Upon review, we see a small figure peeking out from behind the tree. The figure is dark coloured with a round head, small body and long narrow arms. The figure looks at the camera for a few moments before hiding back behind the tree. The camera operator then turns and walks away quickly before the clip ends. Here's the sighting again in slow motion. The YouTuber explained in the video description that in some Russian forests, there are said to be strange creatures hiding, including aliens, gnomes, yetis, goblins and elves. These creatures appear in forests that haven't been extensively explored before. Many of the video commentators agreed that this creature looks like an alien or gnome based on its physique. As there are so many stories of creatures being found in these forests, it's perhaps not surprising that one unusual being decided to make an appearance. The question still remains what it is and what its intentions could be.
Some strange sightings posted to the internet are just plain hard to explain. This could be due to a mysterious being having an ambiguous shape, moving rapidly, or having no suggestion as to what it could be at all. This is the case for one video uploaded by Warmonger on YouTube. In the brief clip, we see a view outside of a car at night time. What happens next may just give you the chills. Take a look. We can see a small white figure running on all fours in front of the car and into the darkness, disappearing from sight. There have been many suggestions as to what this so-called creature might be. Many viewers thought the creature could actually just be a person who was drunk or under the influence of drugs running on all fours. Others were more inclined to believe it was some type of animal, perhaps a monkey or a large cat. The YouTube user who uploaded the video explained that this so-called creature had made strange sounds before emerging. There have been no explanations as to what this figure could be, so until further information comes to hand, this bizarre sighting will have to be chalked up as a mystery. flashing lights, a sign of an electrical problem, or something a little more sinister. This is the question TikTok user Blake A. West had when they uploaded a bizarre video to the social media platform. With over 800,000 views, the comments section went into a frenzy trying to figure out what was going on. We see a view of a large parking lot at night time. The person handling the camera shows us street lights around and nearby the parking lot all of which seem to be flashing at a rapid rate. The uploader pans the camera around, wondering what it could be. What the Another person in the background comments that it seems like it's a lapse in the matrix. It's a lapse in the matrix, guys. A lapse or glitch in the matrix is used to refer to an irregularity in the world that is not supposed to happen, such as with the shown flashing lights here. Many other commenters blamed aliens, spirits or other paranormal activity on the bizarre event. Of course, many level-headed viewers suggested it was most likely a malfunction at a local power station. So is this simply a malfunction, or is it something a little more sinister? Give the video another look and judge for yourself. Strange objects or beings flying in the air are, terrifyingly enough, an occurrence that's been reported by countless people worldwide. Sometimes these sightings are simply explained as birds or planes. Occasionally, however, they're also believed to be UFOs flown by aliens. Still, Instagram user Unanswered Universe was not able to find an answer with the clip he shared. In the Instagram video, we see a blue sky with a flying object in the center of frame. The object resembles a small humanoid figure. Here it is, zoomed in and slowed down. Many have explained this sighting as a drone. After all, drones have become more and more common in everyday life. On the other hand, most drones are small, flat with a noticeable camera. It's this detail that has led many viewers to believe we're witnessing some kind of alien craft or being hovering in the air. They've also theorized that it may be collecting data on Earth and sending it back to some interstellar race. But what do you think, drone or alien? Duke it out in the comments section below. Many urban legends tell of a story of a deranged mental patient who escaped an insane asylum to prey on nearby men, women and children. 
While these stories are often complete fabrications that play on common fears and misconceptions about individuals with psychological problems, in the case of the Cropsey legend, a killer associated with a mental institution who was convicted of murder, it probably didn't turn out how most people would expect. According to the most common iteration of the popular legend which circulated around New York City through the 70s and 80s, Cropsey was an escaped mental patient who hid in the tunnels underneath an old tuberculosis hospital during the day. At night time, he would supposedly prowl the darkness, in search of wayward children and vulnerable targets to prey on. Some iterations of the tale claim that he had a hook for a hand, and the character even made an appearance in The Burning, a 1981 slasher film. Although it's a thrilling tale, no such figure was ever found on Staten Island. Some people even believe that this story was just a clever way to keep kids and teenagers from exploring the many abandoned factories and institutions dotting the landscape of Staten Island at the time. Nonetheless, while the details of the Cropsey legend may have been exaggerated and distorted over the years, the tale does have a strong basis in reality. The story has its roots in a string of disappearances from the early 70s to the late 80s. Throughout this period, children went missing around Staten Island, and although authorities suspected a man named Andre Rand from the start, they simply couldn't find any concrete evidence to detain him. Despite having been convicted of sexually assaulting a girl in the late 1960s, Andre Rand had somehow managed to keep his job as a custodian and orderly at the Willowbrook State School, a mental institution on Staten Island that he'd been working at since the mid-1960s. Although the institution didn't seem to care about its employees' backgrounds, his shady past eventually came to haunt him after the disappearance of a young girl named Alice Pereira on Staten Island in 1972. Aware of his criminal record, local police questioned the man soon after the girl was reported missing. However, despite their suspicions, they didn't have enough evidence to detain him, so they had to let him go. Over the next 15 years, he was thought to be involved with several more disappearances, but he was only charged in one incident, wherein he kidnapped 11 children and brought them across state lines to buy them lunch. Thankfully, nobody was hurt in the incident, but he only served 16 months. Once he was out of prison, the disappearances continued. Finally, in 1987, a girl named Jennifer Schweiger was reported missing, and she had last been seen with Andre Rand. By this time, the Willowbrook State School had recently closed, and its large campus had become a prime location for squatters and vagrants, including the recently unemployed Rand. Suspicious of the man and aware of his whereabouts, the local authorities searched the school, and after more than a month, an officer noticed what appeared to be a shallow grave on the premises. Soon after the grave was discovered, the police dug it up and identified Schweiger's body. Nearby, police found a makeshift camp that had been erected by Rand, all but confirming their suspicions. Following this discovery, Rand was found guilty of first-degree kidnapping, but they didn't have enough evidence to convict him of murder. He was sentenced to 25 consecutive years in prison, and he was set to be released in 2013. However, in 2004, more evidence was uncovered that linked him to the 1981 disappearance of Holly Ann Hughes, a young girl from the Staten Island area. Again, they couldn't convict him of murder, but he got another first degree kidnapping charge and was sentenced to another 25 to life in prison. It looks like he'll be eligible for parole in 2037. So if you live in New York City, then you should be extra careful and pay close attention to the headlines around that time. Have you ever seen a mannequin that looks so lifelike that you could have sworn it was a genuine human body? If you have, then you're not alone, and this may explain why so many stories of corpse mannequins have popped up over the years. One fateful day in 1976, a studio was filming an episode of The Six Million Dollar Man at the New Pike Amusement Park in Long Beach, California. A hanging mannequin was obscuring a shot, so one unlucky film technician had to move it so that the crew could continue filming. As he started to get it out of the way, an arm broke off, and it became pretty clear that this wasn't any ordinary mannequin. 
Within an instant, he noticed human bone and muscle around the broken piece of the mannequin's arm, and the crew quickly realised they were dealing with a corpse. After some investigation, it was found that the corpse belonged to an old criminal named Elmer McCurdy. Having been linked with a series of unsuccessful train robberies and bank heists, he eventually met his end after being shot by police officers in 1911. Due to his lack of friends or family, nobody claimed his body, and it was quickly embalmed and put on display by a dubious undertaker. At some point in 1916, some carnival owners posed as McGurdy's brothers to con the undertaker out of McGurdy's body. From then on, the body was used in sideshow attractions by a slew of different owners across the United States, and it eventually found its home at the New Pike Amusement Park. Upon being uncovered by the film crew 65 years after his death, McCurdy was finally buried at a cemetery in Oklahoma. If you've ever been on a road trip, then you've probably dealt with your fair share of questionable motels. Between the drug deals, questionable hygiene, and strange characters that frequent them, there's no wonder that there's so many urban legends that have centered around these dilapidated venues. One of the most common stories describes a family or individual unwittingly spending the night in a room with a corpse under the bed. Still, despite the legends, there were never any verified instances of this happening until a couple booked room 222 at a Memphis hotel in January 2010. Upon entering their room, they immediately noticed a foul odour, and no matter what they did, they couldn't cover it up. Coincidentally, detectives from the Memphis Police Department investigated the motel concerning a missing person case a couple of times over the next few days, but they never checked out the Sergeant family's room and the hotel staff claim they hadn't noticed anything strange about the room. The missing woman was Sony Millbrook, and she and her family had been staying in room 222 at the motel for several weeks before she had allegedly checked out. Despite having checked out, she was reported missing after she failed to pick up her children from daycare. However, the trail was cold and the police couldn't seem to find a lead. In the meantime, the sergeant couple complained about the room to the motel staff, but they refused to let them stay in a different room. Sick of the smelly room, they stayed at another hotel for some time, but they eventually came back because they couldn't find a better price elsewhere. Upon their return, they spent another day in the room, and it was even smellier than before. Finally, more than five weeks after the sergeant couple had first checked in, a motel worker found a corpse under the bed in room 222. Following this, Lakeith Moody, the woman's boyfriend at the time of her disappearance, was apprehended and sentenced to life in prison for the strangulation of Sony Millbrook. While it's good that the culprit was eventually brought to justice, one has to wonder why it took so long. Why did the hotel staff not report the strange smell to the police? And why did the detectives not check the room in which the missing person had been staying? While some people have conspiracies and wacky theories about both aspects of the case, the most likely answer is plain incompetence. Thus, whether you're managing a hotel or running an investigation, it's always important to remember to follow your nose and leave no stone or bed unturned. In 1981, rumours started to spread about an arcade game like no other. They called it Polybius and said that it had psychoactive effects like some kind of hallucinogenic drug. While many have said that games have addictive properties, much like a drug, people claim that Polybius gave users a strong psychological urge to keep playing the game. While many variations of this legend exist, most versions of the story claim that the Polybius arcade cabinets mysteriously appeared in various spots throughout Portland, Oregon, and caused a slew of deaths and hospital visits immediately after their installation. Moreover, their appearances allegedly coincided with encounters with government agents and mysterious men in black. Reportedly, users would develop amnesia, hallucinations, insomnia, and other serious symptoms after playing the game. According to the most common version of the tale, all game cabinets disappeared within a month of installation, making the story conveniently difficult to verify for skeptics and journalists at the time. 
No genuine Polybius arcade cabinets have ever been found, and it's widely considered to be a simple urban legend. Nonetheless, several games have caused physical and psychological symptoms in various individuals throughout the history of gaming. Around the inception of the Polybius rumour, an Oregonian named Michael Lopez had to call emergency services after playing the game Tempest on an otherwise ordinary day. He claimed to have experienced a severe migraine and had vision issues after playing the game for some time. According to a newspaper in the area, the bright lights and flashing effects were very disorienting. Thus, the game could have plausibly caused migraines or affected individuals with sensitivities to flashing lights. Games, hardware and visual media were not as well regulated back then, and video game studios often hired very small and inexperienced teams because the medium was still rather new at the time. Consequently, it's no big surprise that bad or harmful video games were occasionally released to the public. Tempest is just one of many games throughout history that have caused medical problems for players. For example, in 1982, 18-year-old Peter Bukowski achieved a high score in the game Berserk, and subsequently experienced a cardiac event that led to his death. While some sources claim that he was obese or suffered from heart disease, according to other reports, he was a healthy young man with no known problems. Whatever the case may be, his death serves as a cautionary tale, to temper your excitement and not get too carried away. Otherwise, you could find yourself in an ambulance. The aforementioned deaths and other similar events in the early 1980s likely had some influence on the Polybius myth. Moreover, video games were relatively new at the time, so people would ascribe strange and magical properties to arcade cabinets, consoles, cartridges and other related media. Of course, most people now understand that video games are just complex compilations of binary code that don't contain any supernatural properties, but it's still a good idea to limit your screen time and not get too excited when you do well in a game. If you've ever worked in a high-rise office building, you've probably heard the urban legend of a guy pretending to test the strength and sturdiness of the windows and accidentally plunging to his death. Gary Hoy, a securities law specialist at a company in Toronto, plunged from the 24th floor of the TD Bank Centre in Toronto after jumping through a window in an insane stunt that had no real purpose. People have whispered about unbreakable windows in skyscrapers across the globe for as long as skyscrapers have existed, but nobody ever dared test the urban legend until July 9, 1983. For some reason, on that day, Gary really wanted to liven up the atmosphere for a group of new interns while conducting a routine tour. Upon reaching a conference room, the man claimed that the office windows in the office were impossible to break, and to his credit, he wasn't exactly wrong. As he reportedly done many times before, Gary Hoy took position and slammed himself against the window, but that would be the last thing he would ever do. The window was quite durable, it didn't break after the 160 pound man rammed into it. However, the window did manage to pop out of its frame. Unable to stop his forward momentum, Gary Hoy flew out the window with the window pane and died upon impacting the ground just a couple of seconds later. While his death was tragic, thankfully nobody else was injured in this event. The man's recklessness could have easily killed or injured several passers-by if they would have been in the wrong place at the wrong time. By going out in such a way, Gary Hoy will forever be immortalised in television shows and online articles as someone who suffered one of the most avoidable deaths in history. When you head out for a relaxing hike in nature, you may be hoping to spot some local animals along the way. However, if you're like Instagrammer Adam Bonini, you might see something that makes you hesitant to return to that area ever again. The Instagrammer, along with a friend, were traveling in Japan when they decided to catch a tram to the top of Mount Hiei. From there, they began to hike down to the bottom. Unfortunately, the pair quickly found themselves lost in the dense forest. As they navigated their way down the mountainside, they came across a dam. Take a look at what they saw inside. What the f is this thing? So we stumbled upon the most questionable uh, kind oh, of uh, 
in the current we've ones. seen so far. Let me show you. <laughs> what is this? In the first seconds of the footage, we see what appears to be a dark brown or black tentacle extending from the water. What the f is this thing? <laughs> so we stumbled upon. The camera then pans back, revealing that it's actually attached to a worm like creature. Let me show you. It winds over itself in such a way that makes it difficult to estimate its actual size. What is this? As the hikers continued their journey, they also captured several photos, one of which shows a sign with writing scratched out in the direction that they had just come from. Could this have been a warning from a previous visitor to stay away from the dam? If anyone can identify the strange worm-like creature, would love to hear about it in the comments section down below. The most questionable uh, kind oh, of uh, thing Christ. we've seen so far. Let me show you. <laughs> what is this? This next photo was shared to our Slaptam subreddit by user Nova Knives. It was supposedly taken by their pregnant friend as she attempted to show off her baby bump. However, when she looked at the picture, she was shocked to see an extra hand resting on her belly. The hand almost looks mist-like and has an ethereal quality to it. While one might initially be able to explain this anomaly as double exposure or a trick of the light, note that the woman is actually holding the camera in her left hand. That means that the ghostly hand couldn't belong to her, as you can clearly see her other hand resting on her stomach as well. One viewer noted that they didn't think the ghost wanted to hurt the baby, but rather wanted to say, hi, I'm here to protect you. The photo continues to stir up debate online, with some believing it's actually a hoax. Others think that the angle of the hand clearly shows that it belongs to another entity, and not the woman herself. So what do you think's going on in this photo then? Does the hand really belong to a ghost? Or is there another way to explain this eerie presence? Many people believe that there is intelligent life on other planets. Some even think that these beings possess the ability to travel to Earth. Does this next piece of footage show evidence that this could be the case? Take a look and judge for yourself. William! William, man, man, man! William! Recorded in 2007, the video was captured by a Costa Rican carpenter named Marvin Badia. He was at work at the time when a strange buzzing sound suddenly caught his attention. Much to his shock, he saw a saucer-shaped object flying in the air not far from him. He grabbed his camera and immediately began filming. William! William, man, man, man! William! According to Badia, the object was about the size of a large tractor wheel, not large enough to hold a person. However, experts have suggested that it could have been some sort of probe or drone that was piloted remotely. When Badia turned away briefly to call out his colleague, the saucer flew away. His colleague never saw the object but stated that Badia was excited about the incident. As the clip was recorded on an old Motorola phone, the footage is low quality. However, this also means that it would have been difficult to manipulate. Luckily, Redditor Disaster Big has shared a slow motion stabilized version of the video. Here we get a clearer view of the object. It appears to be dark gray in color and the outer edge seems to be rotating. Note that this footage was captured back in 2007, well before drones were widely available to consumers. There have been many clips over the years that claim to show spacecraft from other planets. However, many consider this footage to be some of the most compelling. So what do you think? Does this video really show an alien craft? We'll leave that up to you to decide. William! William, man, man, man. William! Is 
the east one. There's no denying that modern technology can do some pretty impressive things, but can it actually detect ghosts? This video was posted to Reddit by user 01101001100. It shows a car driving through a graveyard in the middle of the night. Everything outside of the car is dark and there's little to illuminate the area except for the vehicle's headlights. Next exit. In the footage, we see the view outside of the windshield as well as a screen that shows potential obstacles near the car. Okay, it's been a few minutes. I cannot, um, I'm not spotting anybody so far. For the first few minutes, the system doesn't show anything unusual. However, the driver suddenly stops when it seems to detect a pedestrian on the road just in front of the car. What the, what the f***? Y'all f***ing saw that. The camera holder pans around the dark cemetery, showing that there's clearly no one around. Other than that, uh, what the f***, it disappeared. A few seconds pass and the system detects more movement. Nobody's here. This time it suggests that there are two more pedestrians a few metres from the vehicle on the left-hand side. Okay, I'm gonna... Yo, y'all see that? Just like before, we can see that there's no one there. Yo, y'all see that? Nobody's here. Suddenly, another person appears to begin walking right towards the car. Oh my god! Ah! 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 That's it. I'm getting out of here. I'm getting out On first viewing, the clip certainly seems unnerving. However, several viewers have pointed out some inconsistencies. The poster claims that the car is using LIDAR, a technology that employs lasers to determine distance. However, several viewers have noted that the car is actually a Tesla and that they don't use this type of technology. Yo, yo, yo. They propose that in this case, the car's cameras are actually mistaking the gravestones as pedestrians due to the low light. Okay, I'm gonna... Yo, y'all see that? Nobody's here. So what do you think? Is it possible for this sort of technology to really sense spirits? Or is it the system simply making an error? Love to know where you land on this in the comments down below. Oh my god! Ah! 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 That's it. I'm getting out of here. I'm getting This next piece of mysterious footage was uploaded to Reddit by user I broke the box. It shows a bizarre object flying through the air. At the start of the clip, all we can see is a clear blue sky. Everything looks normal in the light of day. However, as the camera zooms in, a strange object suddenly comes into view. As the video continues, the object then appears to change shape and colour. It looks as though it's made of some sort of shiny metal as it seems to reflect the sun's light. Some who have seen the clip have theorised that it might be a flat circular object that's rotating in the sky. This could explain why at times it looks like a thin line and others a round sphere or cylinder. The object certainly fits the description of many other UFO sightings, yet not all viewers are convinced that this footage shows an alien visitor. Some think it's more likely to be a mylar balloon or even a kite. Unfortunately, without more information, this sighting will have to remain a mystery, at least for the time being. What would you do if you saw a strange, unidentified creature lurking in the bushes? If you're like Redditor Eda Cheddar, you might record a video and post it to the internet for all to see. The clip, which was filmed at night time, focuses on a bush in the distance. Suddenly, its leaves and branches begin to thrash about. If you look closely, you can actually see there appears to be something hiding within the foliage. A few seconds pass, and something runs from the bush. Take a look. Although its appearance is brief, the creature doesn't seem to resemble any known animal. It looks large and hairy and runs on all fours. It moves fast, quickly disappearing from sight. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
The Redditor who posted the video believes that the creature might be a duende, a mythical creature comparable to a gnome or elf. These creatures are typically known to cause mischief. However, the duende is actually depicted as distinctly humanoid, whereas the creature in this footage looks more like an animal. It's also been suggested that the creature resembles a cryptid known as the Mapinguari. While this beast is also often described as a humanoid, some say that its appearance is more like that of a giant ground sloth. The Mapinguari is said to have long brown hair and large claws. Some accounts even describe the creature as having a single eye and a mouth in its abdomen. While this footage alone is not enough to definitively prove the identity of this creature, there is little denying that it certainly does look strange. So what do you think it could be? Is it really a mythical cryptid? Or is there another way to describe its odd appearance? Let your theories rip on this one in the comments down below. <laughs> When it comes to capturing spiritual activity on camera, poltergeists are a goldmine. The main thing that separates a poltergeist from a typical ghost is that poltergeists have the ability to interact with their environments. They can move objects, turn off lights, and even physically attack the humans unfortunate enough to dwell in the same space. This makes poltergeist activity significantly easier to capture on film. YouTube channel Nerve Paranorm set out to capture such footage in a creepy abandoned house, rumoured to be haunted by a poltergeist. The YouTuber wanders around the house attempting to attract the attention of the ghost. After a few minutes, a loud whistle prompts the poltergeist to move a chair resting just outside the view of the camera. A few minutes later, while he's attempting to open a door inside the house, another door nearby begins to violently rattle. The door is locked from the outside, but the ghost hunters are understandably disturbed by the violent sounds. They approach the door to investigate, and it begins to rattle even louder. A loud banging sound from the floor below draws their attention away from the door. As they begin to walk down the stairs, the door at the top of the landing that was locked only seconds before swings open all on its own. <laughs> Nervously, the YouTubers decide to ascend the old staircase. At the top, they find an old dusty attic. After exploring for a few minutes, they find nothing that could explain the door rattling on its own. Is it possible some sort of spirit was trapped in the attic, just waiting to be released? It's hard to tell if these bizarre occurrences were recorded with the help of a sneaky accomplice. The footage certainly looks genuine, and staging such a long, drawn-out video in a creepy abandoned house that's falling to pieces would certainly take some planning. This eerie footage certainly makes you wonder, are ghosts real? When a young couple moves into their new home, they're probably not expecting chilling video clips to be part of their housewarming. However, the couple in this video gets more than they bargain for when they decide to inspect their new attic. Not long after the couple took up residence in their new home, they started hearing strange noises. The sounds seemed to be coming from overhead, so they decide to take a look in the attic to see if they can find the source of the strange sounds. The man goes into the attic with a light and a camera. He looks around for several minutes, but sees nothing out of the ordinary. He reassures his wife that there's nothing to worry about as he hands her the camera and calmly climbs back down the ladder to the floor below. However, the woman keeps the camera on as he descends and inadvertently captures something terrifying, the haunting grey face of an old man. 
In the dim light, it's difficult to make out any specific features. The wrinkled skin is a pallid grey and the face looks down at the couple with an eerie smile. It only appears for a moment before disappearing once again into the dark. Viewers have suggested that an elderly homeless man may have taken refuge in the attic while the house was empty. However, others have pointed out that in such a small attic, the homeowner surely would have spotted a squatter as he checked the space. According to these believers, the only possible explanation is supernatural. YouTube user Fexed is known for uploading videos of people doing fun and bizarre things. The fact that the channel has only ever uploaded this one ghost video makes the footage all the more disturbing, as it's less likely that it was staged for the sake of YouTube fame. In the video, the man holding the camera states that he was hanging out at home when he heard a strange noise over his head. He checked inside a nearby closet and found a hole in the ceiling. There's a hole in my uh, closet. Assuming a small animal had made its way into the space beneath the roof, he decides to use his camera to investigate. When he puts the camera through the hole, he quickly captures the image of a pair of green glowing eyes looking out from the darkness. It's a pair of eyes. Hey. The space is too dark to capture anything else, but the man is still shaken. He still believes it's an animal, however, and places the camera in the hole again for a better look. This time, he captures some eerie audio. As he films the creature, the camera picks up the sound of high-pitched laughter. Oh, close the camera. Oh my god! The sound is enough to terrify the man, and he quickly abandons the hole in the ceiling. This photo was taken in the attic of an unknown restaurant in the US. For over a decade, employees reported strange sightings in the roof of the restaurant. They say they've seen shadows lurking, felt nauseous for no apparent reason, as well as had feelings of dread wash over them. Finally, one employee took a photo when they felt they were being watched. Later that night, when reviewing the photos, they spotted this ominous shadow figure. It has the clear outline of a head and shoulders, but its lower body looks almost like vapour and lacks any real definition. When co-workers saw the image, they all agreed that this is the shadow entity they had all seen over the years. This creepy clip, uploaded to the YouTube channel Paranormal Dwellings, certainly appears to show something supernatural happening in this house. The video opens up to reveal a well-lived-in home. There are a couple of articles of clothing and random items scattered about. The camera holder sounds as though he's breathing quite heavily, and it quickly becomes apparent that there's something that's not quite right. The camera focuses on a screwdriver that has suddenly begun to move. The man immediately opens the cabinets below in order to film inside. It's clear there's absolutely nothing there that could be manipulating the screwdriver in any way. The video then cuts, revealing a view of the ceiling. There's a loud thumping noise coming from above. The camera holder then takes a metal stool from the kitchen and slowly opens the manhole in the ceiling to get a better look. The attic is dark except for the light that is peeking in from the small hole where the man is standing. He cautiously asks if anyone's there, but he doesn't receive a response. Hello. The attic appears to be cramped and littered with insulation and other construction material. It's obvious that if there was someone in there, they couldn't even stand up, let alone be responsible for those terrifying thumping noises. The video then cuts out, leaving the viewer wondering what could have possibly happened next. So what do you think caused this screwdriver to move all on its own? Have you ever had a sudden, eerie event occur that made you reach for the camera? If so, we'd love to hear about it in the comments section below.
this scary video was uploaded to the YouTube channel Interesting, Creepy and Abandoned in October 2016. The clip begins as the YouTuber and his companion are walking through the woods in an unknown location, towards an old abandoned house. He mentions that the area is extremely isolated, and that there's no road around for at least a mile. As they approach the house, they notice that the words DON'T ENTER are written in large letters across the roof of the property. Do not enter. Keen to continue their exploration, the YouTuber and his companion decide to enter the house via a broken garage door. Inside, the floor is littered with dirt and debris. They make their way down some stairs where they come across what at first appears to be an old uncovered vent. Oh my golly. However, when the explorers look inside, they notice that there are actually several light fixtures that lead off into the darkness, suggesting that it could possibly be some sort of secret tunnel. The pair think about entering the space, but eventually decide not to, and continue their exploration of the house. They make their way around the side of the property and enter through a broken window. Inside, there are several pieces of old furniture strewn about, and the walls are covered in graffiti. A fortress of prickers just to get inside here. Soon, they enter another room that contains a fold-out bed. Although worn, the bed looks as though it's been recently slept in. Yeah, this is really weird. Cautiously, the pair make their way up a flight of stairs, where, after exploring several more rooms, they discover a ladder that seems to lead into an old yes. attic space. So there's this creepy ladder thing. The camera holder decides to climb the ladder to take a peek and is immediately startled by what he sees. There in the middle of the attic is a creepy doll hanging by a rope. What is it, dude? Oh my god. The discovery becomes even more terrifying as he zooms in to get a closer look. The doll slowly begins to rotate as if it's aware of the YouTuber's presence. That is so weird. Scared, the explorers decide to leave the house and the video soon ends. Since the footage was released, some have suggested that the building might have been used for satanic rituals. If you look closely, just in front of the old cardboard box, you can see what appears to be an open book placed upside down. Could this be some sort of tome filled with evil incantations? Whatever the house was used for, one thing's for sure. These explorers are unlikely to return for another look anytime soon. In 2014, a police officer known only as Ted posted this disturbing video. He claimed to have heard some strange noises coming from a neighboring house after responding to a disturbance in Delray, Detroit and decided to investigate. As the officer approaches the abandoned house, he pans the camera across an old newspaper clipping then calls out to see if anyone's inside the building. Suddenly, a ghastly face appears in the upstairs window before disappearing into the darkness. The video reveals that the article seen by the police officer was actually about a woman named Rose Varez, who was known as the Witch of Del Rey. It was thought that Varez may have murdered as many as 12 men in the 1930s, but that her neighbors were too scared to testify against her believing that she had supernatural powers that could make their children sick. Did this officer actually catch a glimpse of the infamous Delray Witch? Was it a creepy coincidence that the article was there on the ground, or did the man plan it in order to create an elaborate hoax? Let us know what you think in the comments section below. In 2017, not long after welcoming a new daughter to the world, Jerome Kennedy of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania started hearing strange noises coming from the attic, above he and his wife's bedroom. He investigated the attic and found unexplained drill holes and even a flashlight. He set up a secret camera to find out what was going on. What he discovered shows that reality can be scarier than the paranormal. In the footage, we see Kennedy's neighbor remove a false wall that the neighbor had put between their two attics. According to Kennedy, the man had removed all of the insulation in the floor so he could gain access to the vent and peer into the rooms below. The original video shows him watching through the floor for a total of 30 minutes. Kennedy showed the video to police who questioned the neighbor. He denied the claim, stating that he could only access his neighbor's attic if he used a ladder. 
With this frightening video as evidence, the man was charged with trespassing, burglary and stalking. It's truly disturbing to imagine how the situation might have escalated if the video footage hadn't captured these eerie nocturnal activities. In April 2016, popular YouTuber Phase Adapt released this video in which many believe he captured a ghost on camera, while exploring an abandoned insane asylum with a group of friends. After entering the derelict building, they start searching rooms along a graffiti-lined hallway. In one of the rooms, they find a mattress along with the words New World and You're Gonna Regret It written on the walls. With only their torchlight to guide them, they decide to head up a rickety staircase. It leads to another hallway with more empty rooms. The group pass an old elevator shaft before continuing down the dark corridor and into a large room. Phase Adapt asks if anyone felt a really cold breeze as they entered the room. The crew ascend another flight of stairs and find themselves inside some sort of dilapidated attic space. They find a narrow plank of wood that leads to the roof of the asylum. Despite being precariously perched above a large hole, the group decide to take their chances and cross the plank. After snapping some photos on the rooftop, they enter another dark room. This one has a mysterious stain on the floor that looks a lot like blood. Phase Adapt approaches a closed door with a small window in it. He peers through the opening and for a brief second you can see what appears to be a face staring back at him, through the window in the adjacent door. Unaware that they're being watched, the group continues exploring the asylum before eventually deciding to leave. When the video was released, some fans thought that the face might have belonged to a homeless man who was stalking the boys and that they were incredibly lucky to have made it out alive. Most, however, felt that it was a ghost, possibly the spirit of someone who died in the asylum. What do you think? Has Phase Adapt actually captured a ghost on camera, or could it be something else entirely? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. In 2013, YouTuber Alien6467 captured this footage in an abandoned house in Southwood, New York. While driving along a deserted stretch of road, the group spots the derelict house and decides to investigate. The inside of the house is empty and there is graffiti covering the walls. As the group make their way into one of the larger rooms, the word vengeance can be seen written above the fireplace. The group take a closer look and notice that the wall is covered with plastic bags, each containing a single coin. One of the members searches a hole in the floor and finds even more bags. Again, each one contains a single coin. As the group leaves the house, the camera holder focuses on the upstairs window, where they notice something moving inside. As the camera zooms in, you can clearly see a robed figure staring ominously out of the window. The video then ends abruptly as the group quickly leave the property. Who or what was the sinister figure seen peering from the window? Was it a ghost or could it have been a member of some sort of dark cult? Could it be possible that the group interrupted some sort of bizarre ritual taking place? Whatever it was, the figure was probably inside the house the whole time the group was filming. This photo was taken on a smartphone by a construction company in Tremont, Illinois. They were hired by the new owners of the home to renovate the roof before they moved in. The workers claim no one was in the house over the two days they worked on site, and there was definitely no one standing in the window when the photo was taken. When the workers asked about the house, the owner said they had just bought it as the previous owner was an old lady who died alone in the house. Has this photo been staged or have they caught the spirit of the former owner standing in the window? There's very little information available on this video, other than it was apparently captured by a young man who was home alone one evening. He began hearing unusual noises coming from the second floor and decided to investigate. The video begins as he makes his way up a flight of stairs. He then pans the camera around a cluttered room and cautiously heads into the darkness. Suddenly, a flash of light appears. It's so fast that it seems as though the man doesn't even notice. 
However, if you slow the footage down, you can actually see that the Flash looks like some sort of terrifying face. It's pale with dark sunken eyes and a wide open mouth. It almost looks as though it's silently screaming at the man before it suddenly disappears. Sadly, as there's very little information available on this video, it's hard to know for sure what this man is actually caught on camera. Could the mysterious face be the cause of the sounds that the man heard coming from the second floor? Or is it more likely to be an optical illusion or even a clever editing job? Love to get your thoughts on this mysterious video in the comments section below. This short little clip purports to show a shadow entity of some kind haunting an attic. The video was uploaded to YouTube channel Carl Humberg in 2012. The description claims that a paranormal investigation team was sent to a 120 year old building in an unknown part of the US to take a look at some strange activity. An infrared camera was set up to film around the clock. It would appear some kind of shape or figure has been caught moving in front of the camera. On the left hand side of the screen, a shadow moves in and out of shot. According to the timestamp, this occurred at 3.19 PM. Unfortunately, the clip is short and it's difficult to see if anything could be causing the shadow. The uploader claims that the video has been analyzed by paranormal experts such as Bill Murphy from Fact or Fake and the founders of MUFON, the mutual UFO network. It's unclear as to their stance on the video as the uploader never posted their opinions. The general consensus is that it's an interesting video that does show something strange, but it's just too brief and unclear to make any definitive judgment. This video from YouTuber Double Bins is believed by many to show a ghost wandering in the attic of an abandoned house. The footage starts as a group of boys are walking across a field towards an old dilapidated house. They enter and begin to explore the ground floor which appears to be very heavily vandalized. As the camera pans towards the roof, a strange dark figure can be seen walking past an opening that leads to the attic. The camera holder yells to the other boys and the group immediately run from the house. While the video footage is poor and it's difficult to make out the figure in any great detail, it does leave you wondering what it could actually be. Is it a ghost or could it be a person that's living in the attic of this old abandoned building? What do you think the dark figure seen in this video actually is? In May 2021, Coventry local Rebecca Glassborough took a group photo with her friends and thought nothing of it. However, when they later reviewed the photo moments later, they were all shocked at what they saw. In the picture, we see the group of friends posing together. On the left side of the photo, we see what appears to be a blurry looking woman with dark hair and a grey face, hovering just above one of the friends. Glassborough emphasised that this was not an individual who was part of the group. After spotting the figure, the group explored the apartment for any signs of what the face could be, but found no reasonable explanation. There were rumours in the neighbourhood that a woman had died in the bathroom of the apartment that this photo was taken in. Without knowing how to explain the strange figure in the photo, Glassborough admits to having a few sleepless nights, wondering whether there's some kind of ghostly presence in her apartment. So could this ghostly figure be the very woman who passed away in the apartment? While there's no clear answer, hopefully the photo's owner can solve the mystery and get some sleep soon. While attending a ghost tour of a famous former slaughterhouse in the village in Mansfield, Nottinghamshire, visitor Tanya Copeman felt a sudden urge to snap some pictures while down in the dark cellar. In the photo, we can see the cellar covered in a bright green carpet. A door stands in the middle with a sticker of an alien on it. But the creep factor gets cranked up to 100 when we look at the far right of the image. While initially hard to see, we can make out a terrifying ghoulish face staring directly into the camera upon closer inspection. The photo's owner didn't initially notice the dreadful looking face until later when she looked through her photos. At first, she thought the eyes of the figure were simply two bright white lights. 
Of course, this all changed when she saw the outline of a face. The couple then contacted the tour guide who double checked CCTV footage of the cellar and confirmed that no one else had been in the room with the group when the photo was taken. That's when the tour guide suggested that this could be a ghost of one of several monks who allegedly burned there hundreds of years ago. He even tried recreating the photo to see if he could catch the presence again, though he was unsuccessful. Historians say that an old barn once stood on the property. Prior to the 19th century, it was said to be used as a hideout for monks seeking refuge. One day, the barn was set alight and seven monks perished in the blaze. Interestingly, Tanya had said that she felt her face go hot when she first entered the basement, even before knowing about the priests who had burned there. She believes the burning sensation is connected with what's been caught on film and that there's no other way to explain what had happened besides referencing the paranormal. Now, if all this sounds familiar, it's because we featured footage from the village in Mansfield just a few weeks ago. The clip we shared shows an eerie smoke blowing through the property. This was captured by a CCTV camera during a seance conducted by full-time paranormal investigator Lee Roberts. He too referenced the tragic fire that took the lives of several monks. So given the evidence, is something supernatural really happening at this old heritage listed building in Mansfield? User Small Bees uploaded this eerie photo to our Slapped Ham subreddit. They took their nephew to the Kima Boardwalk in Texas for a fun night out. In the pic, we can see a large splash pad area, with the Redditor's nephew looking down in the middle of the frame. To the immediate right of the child, there's a strange shadow. If you zoom in, there's even what looks to be a partially formed leg. Small bees said they took numerous photos that night and they all seemed normal, except for this one. Most other Redditors were creeped out by the photo and were sure that this was evidence of something otherworldly. One viewer did say that this could be a case of motion blur. Perhaps the original poster had captured another child in motion who appeared blurry on camera. The original poster disputed this, showing another photo of a child running in the same area. While there is a little bit of motion blur in this second image, there are definitely no dark shadows near the children. While there's no way of knowing for sure what's been captured in this image, the dark shadow and the partially formed leg does make one's mind wander into the realm of the paranormal. In 2016, the aunt and uncle of Redditor Caramel Watermelon were on a ghost tour of the Waverly Hills Sanatorium in Kentucky. The aunt diligently took photos of all the rooms they visited, just in case they caught something supernatural. Sure enough, in a dark, dusty room that was once used as a children's play area in the sanatorium, something showed up on film that wasn't there in person. In the eerie photo, we can see a large, empty room. In the back of the room, in the doorway, we can see a small, dark shadow. From a distance, it resembles a girl. Waverly Hills was opened in 1910 to house tuberculosis patients. At the time, the local area was being ravaged by tuberculosis or the White Plague. In 1914, a children's wing was added for not only kids suffering from tuberculosis, but also children whose parents contracted the awful disease. Over the years, it's been dubbed the most haunted location in the United States. The Redditor's aunt explained that in this particular room where the photo was taken, the children of the sanatorium would gather to play games. As such, many commentators on the photo believe that this is the ghost of a little girl who once played here. Some Redditors noted that the figure seems to have disproportionately short limbs. Given the morbid history of Waverly Hills Sanatorium and the years of suffering and death that have played out amongst the halls of the old building, 
it's possible that the spirits of former patients do indeed linger here. Reddit user Kirkster1986 captured a bizarre incident on film one night that he had to share with other ghost lovers on Reddit. On the 9th of May 2021, while taking a nap on the couch, the Reddit user's home security system detected movement in the living room. In the first picture, we see the Redditor lying down on his couch, sleeping. However, judging by the timestamp, a fraction of a second later in the second photo, the blanket has been lifted off the Redditor. On top of him is what looks like a crouching shadow figure. Here it is, zoomed in. There were plenty of theories as to what's happening in these photos. Some jumped to the idea that this figure was actually a succubus. These demonic entities have been noted in historic literature all around the world for centuries. Folkloric tales refer to a feminine supernatural energy that haunts men in their dreams. Typically, these entities sit on the dreamer's chest and suck the life force out of their victims. From Arabian mythology to Buddhist scriptures and European folklore, it's interesting that these disparate cultures all refer to the same supernatural entity. One that visits you in your dreams, sits on your chest and sucks the life out of you. So could these photos confirm a thread of truth running through the mythology behind the infamous succubus? Take another look and decide for yourself. Haunted hotels make for the perfect spooky outing. Reddit user CPlatz123 decided to get their fright on with a visit to Hotel Mead, a supposedly very haunted place in Montana. The building's history stretches all the way back to 1875, when it was first used as a courthouse. In the 1890s, it was transformed into a bustling hotel, where many of the town's big events and socials were held. The hotel was made into a makeshift hospital when epidemics hit the city, including smallpox and typhoid. In the 1940s, all the townspeople left the city, leaving the building abandoned. Fortunately, Montana State Parks decided to renovate the building and present it as a visitor's center. Nowadays, visitors and workers on the building alike have reported countless sightings of all types of strange manifestations, with most of them believed to be previous residents of the hotel. In the photo shared to our Slaptam subreddit, we can see a room on the hotel's second floor. On the right side of the door frame, we can see a strange strand of curly blonde hair. The Redditor explained that in 1916, a young girl named Dorothy Dunn had drowned in the hotel pool, and her spirit is said to haunt the second floor. The uploader said that they took the photo because they're fascinated by old-fashioned doorways that have internal windows on them for airflow, so they grabbed a quick snap, thinking nothing of it. Some commenters thought the girl's hair looked too vivid to be a ghost, and that there was probably just another person in the room when the photo was taken. However, the OP insists that the room was empty when they walked by and snapped the photo. So could this be a glimpse of Dorothy Dunn's spirit? Or is there another way to explain the photo? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. There's someone at the door, and it's not your long-awaited delivery. Reddit user VeggieShite420 captured something with an accidental Snapchat picture that's been making people want to bleach their eyes out. In the image, we can see the Redditor's living room. Take a look at the doorway on the right hand side. Here we can make out what looks like a dark figure wearing a white sweater and black pants. The head of the figure looks like it's sunken down into its torso. Take a look at this brightened version of the image. It's worth noting that the Redditor didn't seem to notice this horrifying figure at first. In fact, they posted the image asking about two small lights on the left side of the photo. In the pitch black under the window frame are what resemble two bright eyes looking inside the home. 
Most people shrug this off as either lights from an electronic device or an animal. Instead, they were far more interested in the freaky floating figure in the doorway. So what do you make of this unsettling photo? Love to hear your theories in the comments section down below. Our first clip of the day comes from Twitter user Sidio Paranormal, but its true origins are a mystery. The clip opens with someone exploring a funeral parlor after dark. Hello. It's not really known what they're doing there after closing, but it soon becomes apparent that something is very wrong. Take a look. Watching that again, after a few thuds, the coffin starts to shake. It's almost as though whoever's inside wants to come out. The camera holder freaks out and runs away. Right at the end of the clip, there's a brief shot of the coffin and you can clearly see that it's open and empty. Unfortunately, the clip ends abruptly and we're left wondering what it is we've just seen. So what was this person doing in this funeral home after hours? What were they looking for? Unless more info comes to hand, this unsettling little clip will have to remain a complete mystery. This weird piece of footage went viral on Twitter in late July 2022, when user Noah3020 uploaded some footage that they captured at a Lady Gaga concert. It left conspiracy theorists gagging as they suggest something bizarre is afoot. Take a look. Watching that again in slow motion, a book that's been thrown on stage appears to stop in mid-air, then fall to the ground. The strange footage sparked a number of wild and wonderful theories on Twitter. Some said it was a glitch in the matrix and that the book encountered an error and fell to the ground. The more popular yet strange assumption is that Lady Gaga is protected by an invisible force field suggesting she's some kind of futuristic being. There were some more level-headed theories however saying that a lot of big concerts often have a very fine mesh-like barrier in place for the artist's protection. But many fans have noted that Lady Gaga often interacts with things that have been thrown on stage, as you can see here. It's clear random objects can make it on stage without being stopped by mesh or a glass barrier. So what's going on here then? Does Lady Gags really have a force field protecting her? Let me know where you stand on this in the comments down below. This next eerie incident was captured on a live stream when YouTuber Horror Fantasies was running a Ouija board session for his fans. As he's chatting away to his fans watching the live stream, something strange happens. Watch. The doll appears to move its head. The YouTuber freaks out and drops the doll, but isn't quite sure if something really happened or not. I could have thrown that doll turned its head at me. Okay. Naturally, the live stream chat went into overdrive as viewers speculated whether the doll's head really moved or not. Some noted it almost looks like the YouTuber could make the head move with his thumb, which does look plausible. So what do you think? Is this doll haunted or was the head just manipulated? 
I'll leave that up to you to decide. Do shadow people really exist? This next clip from Sidio Paranormal has left Twitter users wondering whether it shows a genuine paranormal encounter. Take a look. The internal security camera shows that out of nowhere a shadow seems to push the man. He stumbles a few steps, clearly frightened by what's just happened. There are many theories about what shadow people could be. Some say they're ghosts or spirits of the deceased, others believe they're extraterrestrial beings, but some think they're demons or evil entities from alternate realities. And still others believe that shadow people are simply figments of our imagination. No one knows for sure what shadow people are, but there have been many reports of sightings throughout history. In some cultures, shadow people are seen as omens of death or misfortune. In other cultures, they're seen as benevolent beings that offer protection or guidance. Most people believe that shadow people are just figments of their imagination. There are few scientific explanations for why some people may see shadow people. One explanation is that when we're tired, our brain doesn't process information very well. This can lead to us seeing things that aren't really there, like shadows. Another explanation is that some people may have sleep disorders which cause them to have hallucinations. These hallucinations can be anything, including shadowy people. However, this footage clearly shows the man being pushed by something, so it's hardly his imagination. I'll throw this one out to you for final judgement. Is this a real shadow person caught on camera? Let me know down below. You might recall back in 2016 when we had the so-called clown epidemic. These were a series of reports of people dressed as clowns in public places, primarily in the United States. The sightings began in South Carolina in late August, and by early October had been reported in at least 28 states and three Canadian provinces. Most of the sightings involved people trying to scare or harass others. But some reports included armed clowns or even clowns attempting to lure children into the woods or cars. The sightings caused widespread panic and led to schools closing, police forces increasing patrols, and several people being arrested. Well, now it seems more strange clown sightings have started popping up. This eerie sighting was captured by a Florida resident in late 2020. It was uploaded to the YouTube channel Tree Nation. Take a look at what they caught on camera. This homeowner in central Florida began filming when they noticed someone lurking in the woods near their house. As you can see, the person's just standing among the trees with a clown mask on. It's not known whether the person was casing the house for a possible burglary or whether they thought it was just a funny prank. The uploader says this isn't the first time this has happened. Just prior to this incident, they saw five or more people dressed as clowns standing in the tree line on their property. Some residents think it could just be teenagers trying to scare people and that they're not actually going to hurt anyone. However, other people are taking the sightings more seriously and are concerned that the clowns might be trying to lure children into their cars or kidnap them. There have even been reports of people wearing clown masks trying to break into homes. The police have urged people not to take matters into their own hands and report any suspicious activity to them straight away. They're also warning people against dressing up as clowns in an effort to scare other people. So could we be seeing a repeat of the 2016 clown epidemic, or is this just an isolated incident in Florida? For now, only time will tell. Ever again. This next series of clips come from a wild story that's playing out on TikTok. In April 2022, TikTok user Andrew Dawson was driving in a remote area of British Columbia in Canada when they spotted something unusual. Take a look. What is it? 
On top of the snow-covered mountain in the distance, there appears to be a very large bipedal figure. No, seriously, pull over, pull over. There's a person standing there. No, it's not. Dude, have you seen what I've seen right now? Considering the distance, whatever's standing on the mountaintop would have to be enormous. <laughs> The sighting prompted viewers to call this figure a giant. Some said it could even be a Sasquatch. For decades, Sasquatch sightings have been prolific in the Pacific Northwest region of North America. The first recorded Sasquatch sighting in British Columbia was in 1884, when a group of prospectors claimed to have seen the creature near Yale. Over the years, more and more sightings were reported in the region, forming much of the Bigfoot lore that we know today. One of the most famous Sasquatch sightings occurred in 1941 when the Chapman family saw a bizarre bipedal creature near Ruby Creek. At first they thought it was just a bear, but it soon became apparent that what they saw was something else entirely. The mother of the family, Jeannie Chapman, described the creature as a huge hair-covered man that stood more than eight feet tall. The beast had a broad chest and long arms, a small head with a thick, strong-looking neck. Jeannie's description does closely resemble the figure seen in Dawson's mountaintop footage. No, seriously, pull over, pull over. There's a person standing there. No, it's not. Dude, have you seen what I've seen right now? <laughs> to prove that there's nothing normally on the mountain, Dawson went back to film some more footage. Here, you can clearly see there's no tree or structure that might resemble a giant person standing on the mountain. In fact, there's nothing there at all. And it's not even there anymore, too. That's where it was yesterday. I spoke to some locals and it comes and goes apparently, I don't know. Things take a turn for the strange when Dawson explains that he tried driving up the mountain to investigate the area. Take a listen. I just got stopped by like some CIA agent. He told me to turn around, said I'm trespassing. I said it's a it's a public freaking it's a public area, like a public park or whatever. Some local told me to take this path. I don't get it. It was awkward, but I'm going back again tomorrow to see if he's not there. But if he is there, I will keep camera. I will film. Several days later, Dawson spots this in the sky near where the giant figure was seen. A strange, unidentified light is hovering in the air. The plot thickens when several days later, Dawson sees several large extraction helicopters hovering over the woods. So they're extracting something out of here. There's two helicopters. What the f Spurred on by these strange set of events, Dawson waits till nightfall to drive up the mountain when this happens. This is him. What's going on? Road's closed. Turn around. Really? Yeah, man. Just, just turn around, please. Okay. okay. A government official turns Dawson around, telling him he can't proceed. The officer sounds quite rude and doesn't give an explanation as to why the road is closed. What's going on? Road's closed. Turn around. Really? Yeah, man. Just, just turn around, please. Okay. okay. A few days after this incident, Dawson uploaded a video claiming there was a surveillance team just outside of his home. I think that's the same vehicle from. Hey! Now here's where things take a turn into conspiracy town. Dawson promptly uploaded an update telling viewers that the whole thing had been staged and that it was just a bit of fun for TikTok. Now, now I'm gonna give you an official update of what's been going on. Sorry to disappoint you guys, but all of the videos that I post, all the videos that I posted were scripted. They're just fake. They were just strictly for entertainment. Uh, sorry to disappoint you guys. I just needed to give you a quick update. However, viewers noted Dawson's uneasy body language and that he keeps glancing off camera as though he's being forced by someone. Sorry to disappoint you guys, but all of the videos 
that I post, all the videos that I posted were scripted. They were just fake. They were just strictly for entertainment. I uh, sorry to disappoint you guys. I just needed to give you a quick update. Then at the time of writing this, a quick update was posted to the channel. Take a look. You might not see me post ever again. My videos weren't, they weren't fake. Dawson claims he may not be able to post ever again and that the videos weren't staged. This is one of the last videos that's been posted to the channel and viewers aren't sure what's going on. Some say it's getting a little heavy handed and over the top and claim it has to be a hoax. But the vast majority of people who have seen this series of clips think it's just the tip of the iceberg and that it's beginning to expose a much larger government cover up. No, seriously, pull over, pull over. There's a person standing there. No, it's not. Dude, have you seen what I've seen right now? <laughs> so what do you think's going on here? Giants, Bigfoot, UFOs and government agents? It's certainly an interesting story, but is it really true? Let me know where you land on all this in the comment section down below. Shot in Wellington Market, Telford, Shropshire, UK and uploaded to YouTube by Old Spitalfields Market. The creepy footage recorded in this security video shows how a stack of boxes wound up scattered down a flight of stairs. A subtle, shadowy figure zips up the staircase and appears to almost run into the stacked boxes. The figure seems to blur as it moves toward the boxes and knocks them down. Those watching this alleged ghost may want to pause the video several times to get a better look. While some might claim that a strong wind could have brought the boxes down, the fact that a subtle shadowy image is visible and that the larger box in the forefront doesn't move at all proves otherwise. According to an article about the incident in the mirror, the manager of the market, Kay Bokier, said, we came into the market in the morning and the boxes were all over the place. They were on the floor and over the stairs. We thought there'd been an intruder. So we obviously went straight to the CCTV. We couldn't believe what we saw. There was nobody there when the boxes fell off. The market is an old Victorian building that dates as far back as 1244. Old historic structures often have ghost stories tied to them. The traders and stall owners have reported hand dryers starting up without anyone around, doors slamming and coughing noises coming from empty parts of the building. Those who work there never know when or where something spooky might happen. Filmed in Bangalore, India at night, this creepy footage was uploaded to YouTube by Satya Productions. The clip shows what looks like a ghost walking slowly into the middle of a street. It takes the alleged ghost several seconds to make its way to the centre of the road. The figure doesn't appear to be in any hurry. Once it reaches the middle of the road, the mysterious image stands there quietly as people on pedal bikes, motorcycles and cars drive by. The people passing by don't seem to notice the figure. Several cars drive through the ghostly image, and while it fades slightly as they drive through it, the image still remains visible. It finally disappears in the headlights of an automobile. The Bangalore street is dark and eerie with just one streetlight providing a yellowy illumination. Trees add creepy shadows to the scene, making it the kind of street that most people wouldn't want to traverse down alone at night. The ghost is bright enough to be clearly visible. In fact, those watching the footage are likely to be surprised when people passing by fail to look at it or slow down when coming upon it. The image is too distinctive and moves forward too deliberately to be a puff of smoke or a wisp of fog. Watching the ghost stand in a city street in India is sure to make a viewer wonder if the apparition is aware they're dead or is confused and thinks they're still alive.
Some ghosts just want to have fun and tease the living. In a security video from the Bawtree Hill supermarket in Irvine, Scotland, something seems to move a crate from under a store employee, as she's attempting to step up onto it to stock some shelves. Instead of her foot landing on the step, she misses it and falls against a stack of store merchandise, knocking over a few cans on the shelf. A nearby co-worker witnesses the incident and continues stocking shelves. He doesn't even move in to help her. If you slow the footage down, you can see a clear gap between the employee's shoe and the crate. The crate moves before she steps onto it. According to the shop's owner, the ghost's name is Stacy, and she plays pranks on the staff when anyone annoys her. The store shared the footage on Facebook and wrote, When Elise, our employee, annoys Stacy, our resident ghost Stacy moves the crate to teach Elise a lesson. Don't be flirting with her man in the store. The store didn't elaborate on who Elise was flirting with, but Stacy's jealousy should have anyone looking over their shoulder. The store confirmed that Elise was okay, with the only damage being a sore ego. She does appear to have been stunned in the recording, and it takes her a few minutes to get back up. Viewers might have to watch the video a few times to see Stacy move the crate, but the crate clearly moves with a ghostly push. Love to get your thoughts on this fascinating piece of footage in the comments section below. As one starts watching this creepy footage, it's tough to decide where to look. The warehouse is cluttered with boxes, but when a strange figure pops its head out from behind the shelf, it's impossible to miss. It shows up about 12 seconds into the footage. The figure seems to have a white face and it looks like it's floating. The spooky image moves its torso from out behind the shelf for a second or two before zipping away. The figure is visible in the gap between the black shelves, so viewers will be able to see it moving. When it does dash away, it's impossible to tell where it goes or how it entered the space initially. So what is it up to? Perhaps the ghostly figure is a former worker who still thinks he needs to complete inventory. Some viewers have even suggested that the figure looks like an alien grey. If so, why would it be lurking in this random warehouse? Uploaded to YouTube by Calling Spirits, the spooky footage caught in this security video happens so fast that blinking at the wrong time could cause a viewer to miss it. The camera is aimed at a door during a day when everything seems to be peaceful and quiet. It looks like a back or side door, one that opens to a tile floor and a covered hallway. Suddenly, a shadowy figure walks towards the door in what seems to be an attempt to step inside. The figure looks like a teen boy or a young man who has short hair. Before he has a chance to reach for the door handle, he disappears. Earlier in the clip, at around 11 seconds into the footage, a wisp of black smoke appears in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. This may be a brief view of the alleged ghost before he walks across the room. Those who watched the video are left wondering what the ghost was intending to do. Is he a past resident of the home, or a friend who has arrived for a visit? The ghost doesn't seem to be angry or sad. In fact, if he weren't shadowy, he would look like he belonged there. Britain's Leopard Inn is one of the country's most haunted pubs. Ghost hunters have been attempting to share its hauntings with the world for years. Finally, paranormal investigators the Spirit Searchers hit the jackpot by recording a mysterious mist floating through the pub. The ghost team uploaded the video to YouTube. The creepy footage was shot in one of the pub's back hallways. First, there's a flash of light. Then a puff of mist appears in front of the camera. 
It shows up briefly. The smoke puff makes its way down the hallway until it ebbs into nothing. When the mist appears, it almost seems to be a figure that dematerialized when it came into contact with the camera. As it moves away from the area and down the hall, it appears to reassemble itself. Those watching the creepy footage are likely to rewind the video to get a better second look. The hallway is creepy enough on its own without the added ghost image. In fact, the space gives the impression of being abandoned. The pub regularly hosts ghost hunts and those who sign up for one of these adventures will have the chance to walk through this scary dilapidated area to experience it first hand. Let me know in the comments section below would you go on a ghost hunt down this creepy haunted hallway. In this piece of creepy footage, two men are sleeping. They seem somewhat restless and are shifting their arms and legs around. Since sleep is a time for the brain to relax, some experts have suggested that humans may be able to sense paranormal activity more easily in this state. 50 seconds into the recording, the dorm room door opens up. It appears to open on its own because there's no one there. 20 seconds later, something barely visible enters the room. Viewers may notice a slight shift in the image. After a few more seconds pass, the legs of the man who is closest to the camera start to lift. The initial lift doesn't wake him up. He starts to stir awake as he's yanked toward the end of the bed with his legs being pulled up into the dorm room ceiling. As his legs are being lifted high enough for him to almost be in a headstand, the man realizes that he's being hoisted up and starts to fight whatever it is that's pulling him along. The spirit almost succeeds in pulling him entirely off the bed, but at the last moment, it releases him. The boy sits up and looks towards the open door. He seems confused as he searches for whatever it was that lifted him up. He then gets up and walks out into the hallway, likely searching for a human culprit. However, it seems it was something more sinister that disturbed his rest. TikToker Diego Spickers seems to be experiencing a haunting of a potential ghostly girl right in his own home. In the first video, we see the TikToker showing us a child's playhouse that he has in his home. And as you'll see, there seems to be something very wrong with it. Watch. It's really lindo, tiene ventanita y todo, PG. When we first see the playhouse, there appears to be nothing in there. Para nada, weón. He then looks through the window on the side, and now there seems to be something inside of it. We can see a blanket that appears to be covering someone, perhaps a small child. The TikToker moves back to the entrance, though the blanketed child is no longer there. Diego uploaded a picture to his Instagram account, Speakers. Here we can see the child's playhouse again, except this time the creepy siding is right outside the window. Here we can see what appears to be a small girl peering inside. At first it looks like a normal enough picture, but the following TikTok video gives a little more context. In this clip, the TikToker proves that he lives a few floors up from the ground, meaning this girl couldn't have been standing and looking in the window. He also shows us that he doesn't have a balcony, suggesting that the little girl could indeed be a ghost. Also, if we watch that clip again more closely, as he walks into the room, you can see a face in the window. But as we see, the homeowner lives several floors up, making it impossible for someone to be outside the window. No 
In the final video, the TikToker is sitting in his living room watching some TV when something super unsettling happens. Watch. We can see what looks to be a child's hand pushing the door open on the cabinet just under the TV. The man rushes forward, but there's nothing there. There's a lot in these clips to suggest that there's something way more sinister going on here. How could the girl be looking through the window without any support? And how could the hand have disappeared from the cabinet so quickly? I'd love to hear your theories on this one in the comment section down below. Es re lindo, tiene ventanita y todo, Pichi. ¿Qué es esa mierda? Uy, no. Some people who come across strange sightings or hear strange sounds are brave enough to take a look. And that includes a few kids in a TikTok video shared by Holopita 010506H. While one video is scary enough, the kids seem to have spotted the same figure in a whole separate incident. In the first clip, one of the kids is filming inside his grandparents' house. He explains that the lights have gone out in the place and that the adults have gone out to buy some candles. The kids hear some strange noises and decide to see what's happening outside. The camera operator moves to the screen door. Take a look at what happens. Watching that again on the left hand side of the screen, just outside, we can see a shadowy figure emerge quickly before disappearing from view. The kids then decide to go outside, scared but curious. We can hear strange banging and knocking noises. No, tengan miedo. The kids walk to where the shadow figure disappeared, turning the camera to the left when they catch something again. Watch. We can see a shadow figure peering out. The camera operator calls out to the formation, asking it to present itself when this happens. Watching that again, the shadow figure pops out and flies up into the air. In the second video, we can see the roof of the same house. A few seconds into the video, we see the same shadowy figure appear for a brief moment on the roof before it vanishes. Interestingly, it seems that the children thought the shadowy figure might have been their grandfather who passed away. They even introduced themselves in the first video as the figure's grandchildren. However, the figure didn't seem to respond to this, which probably means this unsettling dark figure isn't their grandfather.
The Molly Stark Sanatorium in Stark County, Ohio is yet another sanatorium that's believed to be haunted. The Molly Stark Sanatorium's history extends all the way back to the 1920s, where it once housed tuberculosis patients. In the 1990s, the hospital eventually closed down due to resigning staff and money troubles. Since then, the location has become decrepit and a hotspot for paranormal investigators and bored teenagers. Those who have visited have claimed to have experienced various paranormal occurrences, such as hearing strange sounds, seeing orbs, and even spotting ghosts of former patients. YouTuber Urbex Hill decided to join in on the fun and see what he could spot in the eerie location. What he finds is definitely unsettling, to say the least. In the first few minutes of the video, the uploader wanders around the sanatorium, showing us the well-worn interior. He notes that he hears footsteps from above, spooking him out. Then, at around the 8 minute mark in the video, something very eerie happens. Watch. What the f is that? Yo, do you see that Yo. In the centre of the video, down in the tunnel, we can see a dark figure walking in the distance. YouTuber eventually walks down the tunnel but comes across a dead end, meaning that the figure must have disappeared into thin air. Here's the sighting zoomed in and brightened up. At the very end of the clip, the YouTuber plays some footage he took of the sanatorium's exterior. Watch what he saw. There appears to be someone or something standing up on the roof. Many viewers were puzzled and creeped out by the footage. They believe the first figure had to be a ghost as it seemed to disappear into a dead end. While the second sighting could have been a real person, this could explain the footsteps that the YouTuber heard. Do we all hear that? Well, according to this footage, it seems this sanatorium does indeed have plenty of spooky, ghostly and human visitors. In August 2016, YouTuber The Ball Family Vlogs was filming what was supposed to be a normal vlog updating their viewers, but it appears they inadvertently caught something strange on camera. The YouTuber welcomes viewers to their home before turning the camera around and showing us the living room. It's an extra storage workshop area. Our dog is back there right now because he's a little sick. I got to into the vet. As the camera pans past some stairs, it slows down to show something standing there. It looks like a transparent figure. The YouTuber has said they've experienced weird things in the house. Even their mum has felt an unexplained presence in the home. 
The ghostly figure is certainly eerie looking and quite suspicious. Sometimes cameras can't always clearly capture a person moving very quickly, showing the person as a blur or even transparent. However, this figure doesn't appear to be moving at all, throwing this theory out the window. With that being the case, what do you think's happening here? Let us know in the comments section down below. This clip shared by Facebook page Wicked Investigations shows us a sighting that's been creeping viewers out for years. The footage was shot by a security guard doing his rounds in an empty shopping mall late at night somewhere in South America. Watch what he spotted. Watching that again, we can see what looks to be a little girl on the escalator. The guard runs towards it, showing us an empty view. Just seconds later, the child can be seen running off. Somehow, they're back on the ground floor. Ai, meu Jesus. Ai, 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 meu Deus. Ai. The security guard said that this is the second time he's spotted the little girl after hours in the shopping mall and that he couldn't find her anywhere even after a thorough search. How is it that the girl went up the escalator but then seconds later was back on the ground floor? Were there two children running around the shopping centre after hours? It seems unlikely as the guard couldn't find a trace of anyone anywhere. YouTube user Logan Robert has shared some eerie ring security camera footage from his own backyard. We could see someone standing outside apparently calling for a pet to come inside. See if you can spot anything unusual. Here at my home. Watching that again in slow motion and brightened up, there's a strange shape that floats by in the background. Given the low quality of the image, it's hard to tell what this actually is. The uploader thinks it's a ghost. However, due to the compression rate of the home security camera system, it's impossible to make a definitive call as to what we're seeing. I'll throw this one out to you, the viewers. What do you think's been captured on this home security camera? Here at my home. In October 2021, a barber shop in Long Beach, Proper Cuts, experienced something on the paranormal side. The TikTok account, the barber underscore T, shared some security footage of the shop, and it's been creeping viewers out ever since. In the video, we can see CCTV footage at the barber shop. A few seconds in, we can see the door at the back of the shop randomly open. A few moments after this, we can see what looks to be a ghostly figure moving across the TV screen on the left hand side. Following this, the door that was open suddenly shuts. About 30 seconds later, the door opens once again, except this time one of the barbers gets spooked and starts to leave. Watch what happens. The creator of the video suggested that perhaps one of the clients that day was a poltergeist. The responses from the clients and barbers alike seems quite genuine. 
Unless this was a prank and the people in the footage weren't in on it, this event will have to be chalked up as a complete mystery. In February 2017, an anonymous woman made a frantic call to the Billings Police Department in southern Montana, saying that there had been a break-in. It was around 9.30pm when the woman received a notification on her phone that the baby monitor placed in her infant daughter's bedroom had detected movement. When she checked the feed, her blood ran cold. The single snapshot shows a person on the right-hand side of frame. The woman said she rushed into the bedroom, grabbed her daughter and fled the property. A short while later, a squad car from the Billings Police Department arrived to search the home. However, after a thorough investigation, they could find no evidence of the person at all. The Billings Police Department put out a call to the public asking for any information that might lead to the identification of the person snapped by the baby monitor. To this day, the case remains unsolved and the identity of the person is unknown. This next strange piece of home security footage was uploaded to Reddit by user CJ8012. The footage is a snippet taken from a Ring home security system. The feed is overlooking a snow-covered backyard that backs onto a frozen lake. Take a look at what happens. A strange light illuminates a portion of the lake. While at first it looks like it could just be a flashlight, after a few seconds you can make out what looks like a glowing figure standing on the ice. The homeowner pauses the footage to get a better look. Then when they hit play, the figure disappears altogether. So what could this strange sighting be? The OP put the footage on Reddit hoping for answers, but the community wasn't able to successfully identify the glowing figure. So what do you think it could be? Love to hear your thoughts and theories in the comments down below. This is an old piece of security footage that's been scaring viewers for over a decade. The clip was taken from a security feed overlooking an undisclosed workplace. It's a little after 11pm when we can see a worker in the top right hand shot. Now what happens next has been baffling experts for well over 10 years. Take a look. A flash of light interrupts the feed and everything goes black. The system returns to normal, yet the employee is nowhere to be seen. The cameras continue to record for another two hours. Then suddenly, this happens. A second flash of light occurs, then the same employee appears on his hands and knees. He gets up but looks disoriented, then walks out of frame. It was reported that soon after the incident took place, the employee in the footage quit their job out of the blue and moved away. Some experts who have analysed the footage believe this might be evidence of an alien abduction. After close examination, they say the footage appears to be genuine, but just what happens in the two hour period that the employee goes missing remains a mystery. 
the unknown flash of light that bookends both when the employee disappears and when he returns is the key piece of evidence that has really excited UFO and alien enthusiasts. Also, the missing time element has really intrigued anyone who ends up studying the footage. Where exactly did the employee go for over two hours? Missing time is a recurring feature in many alleged UFO abduction cases. Victims often claim that they experience a sort of vague confusion, then realise that a large chunk of time has passed without them knowing. So could this really be an alien abduction caught on camera? No one knows for certain, but the footage continues to intrigue amateur sleuths and experts to this day. This next piece of CCTV footage comes from a reportedly haunted antique store in Barnsley, UK. Over the course of several years, the owners of this antique store have suspected that a resident spirit might be haunting the old shop. Objects often move unaided, and when opening up some mornings, employees will find things on the ground or discover shattered glass cabinets. Take a look at this strange piece of footage that's been captured inside of the store. While at first it simply looks like something topples off the shelf inside of the cabinet. However, on closer inspection, things take a turn for the bizarre. If you slow it down, you can see some kind of light coinciding perfectly with the movement inside of the cabinet. The owners of the store uploaded the footage to their Facebook page looking for answers. Some customers thought it looked like a ghostly arm passing through the cabinet, causing it to collapse. Others were gobsmacked and were at a loss to explain the movement. Given that the owners, as well as staff and customers, have long suspected that the property might be haunted, it certainly does make you wonder what's being caught on camera here. Could it really be a ghost? Watch the footage again and judge for yourself. This clip was captured inside a home in Merrimack County in New Hampshire, United States. In June 2019, the homeowner was shocked to see something strange happening on their Nest home security camera. Take a look. Out of nowhere, the child safety gate closes, seemingly unaided. The homeowner stated that they believe their house has always been very active with paranormal things happening almost every day. Was this really evidence that the home might be haunted? Love to hear your thoughts on this strange little piece of footage in the comments down below. This next terrifying piece of footage was uploaded to item fix by user Area51. Take a look. This doorbell security camera has captured the terrifying moment a wayward tyre careens out of control into a house. It slams into the front door and even appears to ring the doorbell in the process. The tyre sits smouldering in the front yard as someone comes into view, clearly bewildered by what's just happened. So it seems same day delivery services are getting just a little too quick these days. Our last clip of the day was uploaded to YouTube by Tammy Jackson. Take a look at this strange event caught on their Ring home security system. So 
some kind of unknown line to passes from left to right. While at first it looks like it could just be a camera malfunction or some kind of glitch, the thing that really makes it eerie is that whatever this thing is, it appears to trigger the motion sensing line in the backyard. Then moments later, a second security light triggers on the back of the house. When the clip first hit YouTube, it caused quite a stir with many instantly calling this a ghost caught on camera. Other viewers were a little more reserved, suggesting that a small animal hidden in the shadows could have caused the camera and even the light to turn on. However, that doesn't explain the odd misty figure that appears in the back of the yard. So is this some kind of strange atmospheric condition, a glitch, or could it really be a ghost? Share your theories in the comments down below. Our first sighting of the day comes from one of our viewers, Lainey Ferrari. Lainey submitted this curious piece of footage to our Slaptown Facebook group where it caused quite a stir among other members. On a rainy day in May 2022, Lainey decided to set up a shot of her backyard. She wanted to capture a heavy downpour in slow motion. While it's a fun shot in and of itself, there's something strange happening in the sky in the background something Lainey didn't notice at the time of filming. Watching that again more carefully, there's an unidentified object flying across the horizon. Members of our Facebook group quickly noted that this video is shot in slow motion, so whatever's flying across the sky must be moving at an incredible speed. Laney notes that the nearest light aircraft airport is around 30 kilometers away. However, no known light aircraft can move at speeds like this. So what is this extremely fast object? Aliens, the military, or is it all just a trick of perspective? Unless Laney spots this object again and can make out what it is, this will have to remain a genuine UFO sighting. One of our viewers, David C, works at a hospital that he wants to remain undisclosed in the south of Yorkshire. He works as part of the security team at the health facility. One morning, several years ago, David found one of the security doors wide open. He was certain they should have been closed and locked because he and his team had done so at 10pm the night before. Concerned, the security team reviewed the internal CCTV footage that was captured the night before. That's when they spotted something they can't quite explain. Take a look. At 1.49am in the morning, the doors open by themselves. Then the light in the room flicks on. What's particularly eerie about this footage is that at either end of the corridor are security doors that require swipe card access. There are no employees seen swiping in or out anywhere near the time these doors mysteriously opened up. David says that the way these doors work is that the small door bolts into the larger door which is locked by key. When he found the doors open, the bolt on the smaller door had slid open but the larger door remained locked. So somehow the bolts moved but the door remained locked. To back up this eerie sighting, the hospital has a long and freaky past. The property once served as a workhouse and children's hospital. For years, security staff have reported strange happenings along the long dark hallways of the buildings. They regularly claim to see spirits or ghosts lingering around the property. One in particular is said to be the old matron of the children's hospital. 
Her spirit, along with several other ghostly children, have allegedly been spotted walking waist deep in the now raised floorboards of one of the wings. So what opened the security doors then? No one swiped in or out and it's nearly 2am in the morning. Could the haunted stories be true then? Perhaps this old hospital really is plagued by the spirits of its former patients. This next one is an old school ghost sighting that's been haunting the internet for over 16 years. In April of 2006, the investigative group Western New York Paranormal was spending the night at Valentown Museum after hearing rumours that the property was heavily haunted by spirits. The original clip was uploaded to YouTube by Nitro Sejo. It's after midnight when one of the museum's security cameras shows one of the team members searching a room. That's when something very eerie happens just next to them. Watch. On first watch, it can be hard to see anything at all, but if you brighten the image, you can see a dark figure walk right past one of the team members. Here's a different filter again. Located in Victor, New York, the original building was called Valentown Hall and was built in 1879. Levi Valentine built the grand five-story structure with plans for it to become a sort of shopping plaza. However, when the planned railway line set to come through the town was never finally built, the area suffered a sharp decline. Valentown Hall was ultimately abandoned and left empty for decades. Over the years, locals began to suspect that the building was haunted. Some say that in the middle of the night, you can sometimes hear a music box playing in the empty building. Visitors have claimed to have seen tools and other objects moving on their own, and even full-bodied apparitions have been reported. This security footage, now colloquially known as the Valentown Ghost Sighting, has become somewhat notorious in the paranormal community. Dozens of experts have attempted to debunk the footage. Some say it's nothing more than another person walking by. Others claim it's been altered, but some insist it's the real deal. It's strange that no one seems to be able to come to a clear consensus, and so the footage plays on. Year after year, it continues to intrigue those looking for proof that ghosts really do exist. This family photo was posted to an old ghost investigation forum called Science of Ghosts. It was taken over 20 years ago on an old digital camera. These two kids were visiting their grandfather when several photos were snapped to remember the day. A burst of photos were taken in quick succession, and at first everything seemed perfectly normal. That was until they reviewed the photos sometime later. In the first photo, you can see the two boys sitting on the couch. However, in the second photo, taken just a split second later, a transparent woman can be seen in the top left-hand corner. She has dark eyes and is staring ominously at the camera. The OP says that that's not actually a mirror, but rather a gap in the wall designed to let more light into the two rooms. When the family saw the photo, they were at a loss to explain it. They have no idea who she is or how she got there. No one's been able to recognize her at all. 
The family tried to recreate the image with no success and have maintained for years that the photo is genuine. The OP said that it was taken by the grandfather who, in his late 60s, doesn't even know what Photoshop is. So is this really a ghost? There's no way of knowing for certain, but if the family is telling the truth, then it definitely is a mysterious capture that seems to defy explanation. This next sighting comes from the Instagram account Unanswered Universe. It's some footage captured from a commercial flight. It's not known what route it was taken on, but a passenger seems to have spotted something strange outside their window. Take a look. As you can see, there's a spherical object flying through the air. Just below it is another object with a different shape. Immediately, commenters noted that it looks like the spherical craft is towing the object below, but just what the lower object is, is up for debate. Suggestions ranged from satellites to alien spaceships or even a drugged up Sasquatch being transported to a secret location. While it is possible this could just be a weather balloon, the strange object dangling below has cast this theory into doubt. So what do you think's been spotted here? Are viewers reading too much into it? Or is this something a little more mysterious? Drop your theories in the comment section down below. Over the last two decades, retired Army Sergeant Clifford Stone has become notorious within the paranormal community for being a whistleblower on what some say is the largest cover-up in history. Sergeant Stone served for over 22 years in the armed forces and alleges he was privy to out-of-this-world top-secret information. While operating in the MBC unit, Nuclear, Biological and Chemical Retrieval, Sergeant Stone claims he was assigned to some highly classified missions that involved alien life. On several occasions, Sergeant Stone and his team were allegedly assigned secret missions that involved retrieval of crashed alien craft, even coming into contact with life forms from other planets. After decades of operating in the shadows, Sergeant Stone retired and started campaigning for the release of classified documents, believing that this level of government secrecy is unconstitutional. Over the years, Sergeant Stone has participated in a number of press conferences, where he's shared in great detail the extent of his black ops encounters with extraterrestrials. Take a listen. Right, the reason I state that, when I got out in 1989, we had catalogued 57 different species. Uh, you have individuals that look very much like you and myself that could walk among, among us and you wouldn't even notice the difference, except for some of the things that uh, they might be able to go ahead, even in a dark room, and touch an object and go, at, go ahead and identify what color that object might be. He goes on to explain that most alien life forms that he did allegedly encounter were humanoid. Uh, the unique thing I th uh, that I'd like to point out for the most part is that the entities that we did catalog were in fact humanoid. Now this created a situation where the scientific community was trying to figure out why that would be the case. Because you would expect that if life evolved on other planets, that they would take on some type of other uh, being, so to speak, not necessarily look humanoid or be bi bipedal such as we are. But apparently, we got quite a few of the species out there that are humanoid in appearance. And that creates a question that yet has to be answered by science. Sergeant Stone has called upon other high-ranking officials around the world to admit that governments have detailed knowledge of extraterrestrial life. Some people have been skeptical of Stone's statements, citing the lack of evidence to back up the extraordinary claims. Still, many wonder why a highly decorated military official would put his reputation on the line just to spread a hoax and misinformation. Have you heard of Sergeant Clifford Stone before? If so, what's your take on his alleged disclosure? Love to hear your opinions on this in the comments section down below. Misguided Road Trips is a YouTube channel that documents Stacy and Cliff's adventures around the United States. 
The pair often travelled to strange and unusual historical sites that are rumoured to be haunted. In this episode, Stacy and Cliff explore an undisclosed cemetery somewhere in the south of the United States. The crew begin by walking around the property. And we turned down here to find out what they, um, what cemetery it was. It's clear that this graveyard is intended to all that often. Well, that one's 19. 99 and look how the moss and all's just covered it. As they search the grounds, they begin to hear some strange sounds. One of those before. Somebody's shooting. What? Hmm. Yeah, it could have been a cover on one of these. At one point, they inadvertently catch something behind a tree, a sighting they only discovered after they reviewed the footage. Over on this side. But... But... Later in the investigation, Stacy sets up a spirit box in the hopes of communicating with any entities that may be present. During the spirit box session, something eerie takes place in the background. Take a look. A dark figure can be seen walking among the trees in the background. It looks like someone wearing a robe. Are we safe? Are we safe out here? It appears that Stacy and Cliff didn't notice the figure at the time of filming, but the spirit box seems to refer to a third person being present. Okay, I'm gonna cut this off for a little bit. We may just Okay, we may cut it back on in a few minutes. Thank you for talking to us. Naturally, this sighting sent the comments section into a frenzy with hundreds of people scrambling to point out the strange robed figure. Most people were stunned at the sighting, but understandably, there were a few people who thought the capture was too good to be true. A lot of viewers have defended the footage saying that Stacy's a genuine person and isn't known for pulling stunts like this in any of her other videos. Others suggested it may have just been a real person walking through the property at the same time. So what do you make of this creepy cemetery siding? As always, I'll throw this out to you the viewers for final judgement. Let me know where you sit on this in the comments section down below. Are we safe? Are we safe out here? Our first entry comes from one of our viewers who submitted an eerie photo on our Slaptown Facebook group. In 2012, Sandra Lyles Goldsbury and her family were exploring the Haha -Ha Tonka State Park in Missouri when they took a series of photos to remember the day by. They took a bunch of snaps in quick succession and didn't think much of it. That was until they reviewed them. The family was stunned at what they saw. In this first one, you can see a group of children smiling for the camera. There's nothing strange about the pic at all. However, in this one, taken just seconds later, something strange can be seen in the background. It looks like a face with a large outstretched hand looming towards the camera. Our community members were freaked out by the image. One viewer, Tina Gerd, enlarged the image and brightened it up for all to see. Not far from where this photo was taken stands the abandoned ruins of the Haha -Ha Tonka Castle. 
an area of the state park that many believe to be cursed and heavily haunted. In 1905, wealthy Kansas City businessman Robert McClure Snyder Sr. began construction on a grand stone mansion that was modelled after European castles of the 16th century. Set high atop a rocky bluff, the sprawling manor was said to be a beautiful retreat for the family to enjoy. However, less than a year into its construction in 1906, Snyder was killed in a terrible car accident. Snyder's two sons took over the project and completed the castle just before the great stock market crash of the 1920s. Then in 1942, the home was gutted by fire, leaving nothing but a stone facade atop the cliff face. Due to their tragic history, many believe the Snyder family were cursed and that that curse now lingers in the ruins of the old castle today. In recent years, tourists have reported eerie shadow figures moving among the ruins. One hiker claims to have seen a full-bodied apparition floating on the property. Some say it's the ghost of Snyder himself trapped eternally in the rubble of the doomed family castle. So, given that this photo was taken not too far from the so-called cursed castle, could it be that we're seeing the spectral remains of old man Snyder himself, reaching out in grim terror, shackled by the family curse for all eternity? In February 2022, something truly bizarre was caught on a security camera in Xicalapan de Juarez, about 20 miles east of Mexico City. The footage was uploaded to YouTube by Malson TV. Take a look. camera overlooks an empty lot. Three stray dogs are spooked by an unknown floating object that hovers about the area. Here's the object through an infrared filter. It looks to be an amorphous blob that drifts through the air. Initially, people thought the footage was edited with CGI. However, the fact that the dogs interact with the object seems to discredit this theory. Some comments speculated whether the object is alien in nature, perhaps a craft of some kind collecting data here on Earth. Of course, there's a possibility it could just be a drone or perhaps a deflated balloon, but the amorphous quality of the object casts some doubt on this theory. It's definitely a strange piece of footage, and as of yet, there's been no official word on what this object really could be. This next bizarre little clip was uploaded to Instagram by Strange Activities. The footage has been dividing the comment section on what it's actually showing. Take a look and see what you think. We can see an unknown creature clinging to a branch out the front of a house. Some commenters were calling it an undocumented cryptid, 
a creature that's yet to be classified by modern science. However, the majority of comments thought it had to be CGI, which most likely is the case. I have to say though, whoever made this really should be working in top tier Hollywood movies, as the animation is outstanding. Sticking with mysterious creatures, although this next one is almost certainly not CGI. It was uploaded to the Facebook group Weird, Fantastic and Odd Things by Max Jack. This bizarre looking snake was found in Thailand by a local resident who took it home and fed it fish. The snake looks to be covered in green fur. Some comments suggested it might be some kind of algae growing on the snake's skin. The person who discovered the bizarre snake is going to hand the creature over to authorities for research and identification. So until then, all we can do is marvel at this mysterious animal. If you can't get enough of the old slapped ham, we publish daily spooky videos over on our TikTok account. There's a link in the description box below. Check us out and hit that follow button. Paranormal investigator Lalo Escalante is dedicated to exploring some of the most notorious locations in Mexico. Whether it's abandoned buildings, sites of urban legend or cemeteries, more often than not Lalo Escalante captures some really freaky stuff on camera. In this episode, he's exploring an old graveyard. Many locals believe the property is riddled with tormented spirits and often report sightings of shadowy figures lurking in the dead of night and objects moving seemingly all on their own. Disembodied screams are also said to be a common occurrence. It isn't long into the exploration before the OP begins hearing things in the distance. Hola. Oi, oi. Abre una reja. Moments later, as the camera holder's torch begins to flicker, he asks if there's any spirits nearby to make themselves known. That's when this happens. Si una entidad se quiere manifestar, dame una señal. ¿Alguna entidad se encuentra aquí? ¿Qué pedo? Watching that again, a nearby tap mysteriously turns itself on, scaring the cat away. ¿Alguna entidad se encuentra aquí? ¿Qué pedo? ¿Se abrió la llave? He then turns the tap off, but seconds later, it turns itself back on. ¿Se abrió la llave? Uy. ¿Quién anda ahí? Se abrió la llave. ¿La llave se abrió? ¿Sí la vieron? Ay, Dios mío. ¡Eh! Mira, 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 mira. Otra vez de nuevo. ¿De nuevo se abrió? Later, the uploader explores another part of the cemetery when something eerie is caught on camera. Watch. ¿Quién está aquí? ¿Alguien es? Bien, 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 bien. Bien, cómo el tren se está moviendo. 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 Bien, bien, bien. Somehow, the toy appears to move on its own. Estoy enfocando. He even checks to see if there's batteries, but there's none there. 
¿Quién eres? Vean, por favor, que no estoy desenfocando esto. Se está moviendo el tren. Dios mío de mi vida. Vean. No tiene pilas, vean. After hearing numerous strange sounds, the explorer is soon confronted by a terrifying sight. Take a look. Se ve que tiene muchísimos años. ¡Eh! ¡Mira! ¡Oh, oh, se vio una mujer! ¡Se vio una mujer! Here it is again, slowed down. There appears to be the figure of a woman moving to the right. The OP is so freaked out, he begins to recite a prayer in Latin. Pater Noster, Kisin Cheris, Santifechetur, Nomen tu Adveniat, Regnu tu fiat, voluntatus execute, in cielo in de terra. Before long, yet more strange activity is recorded. Quiero que te presentes. Preséntate. De nuevo. The candle seems to move by itself. De nuevo. The camera holder then decides to go investigate the tap once more, the place where all the eerie activity began in the first place. No, amigos. Esa llave... No se va a abrir, yo creo. Ay, Dios mío. Y ahí están los perros. Eventually, the noises and bizarre activity become too much for the explorer, and the video abruptly ends. So what do you make of this eerie encounter? Could this old cemetery in Mexico really be haunted? The moving toy, the tap, the strange vanishing woman, it all certainly makes you wonder whether something supernatural is at play here. But ultimately, I'll let you be the judge. Here's another bizarre little clip that was uploaded to Reddit by user Exastican. I won't preface this one, just marvel in its strangeness. As you can see, a car's dash cam has caught the moment a styrofoam box falls out the back of an open truck. Not once, but twice. Well, that's about it. Something about a slipstream and science. Now let's get back to the ghosties. This clip was sent to us by one of our viewers, Natalie Jean Bonovich. It's a home video that Natalie's brother-in-law took while renovating his house to put on the market. He was using the video to show all the work that he had done on the building. He didn't actually review the video until a year later, but that's when he spotted something in one of the windows. Take a look. While in real time, the light in the front left window looks like a reflection. But if you play it in slow motion, it starts to look a little more mysterious. Some viewers think it looks like the light is coming from inside the house. The brother-in-law said that while living there, it always felt like there was a ghost lurking nearby. He also later found out that the previous owner, an elderly woman, passed away in the home. 
The comments section was almost 50-50 divided on this sighting. Some say it's just a reflection, others think there's more to it. So where do you sit on this one? Let us know down below. Our last entry was submitted to our Facebook group by Romy L. Romy was sitting around the house one day when she felt like something was watching her. She took a few quick snaps to try and document the strange feeling. At first, the photos don't appear to show all that much. However, on close inspection, there is indeed something there. If you zoom in, there appears to be a transparent face. There's a faint hint of eyes, a nose and a mouth. It almost looks like there's tears just under its left eye. Romy left us a message saying, The photo was taken shortly after the birth of my daughter. My pregnancy test was on the first anniversary of my father-in-law's death. Maybe he wanted to tell me something. So what do you think? Could this be a family member trying to make contact from the beyond? Or is it all just pareidolia? Until further info comes to hand, this sighting will have to remain a mystery. For many security guards working at night time, shifts go by relatively quiet as most of the world's sleeping. Unfortunately, this wasn't the case for one unlucky security guard working in a nursing home in Chicago. YouTube user The Hidden Underbelly 2.0 shared Officer Jay Brown's story of meeting with something creepy during what was supposed to be just another shift. In the video, the security guard shows CCTV footage taken during his shift. In the footage, the guard is sitting at his desk and all seems quiet. But then something eerie happens. We can see what looks to be a nearly transparent white shape floating over the carpet that lays in front of the entrance to the building. The security guard sits back against his chair, obviously perplexed. He stands up for a few seconds before putting his arms up and pointing to the camera. And I had that, I'm like, okay, okay. So I looked at the camera, I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna calm down. I'm gonna calm down. So I wanted to tell the camera, y'all see that? Y'all saw that, right? I'm telling. The security guard explains via voiceover that he wanted to ask those viewing the camera if they had just seen what he had seen, which is why he raised and moved his hands. So I wanted to tell the camera, y'all see that? Y'all saw that, right? I'm telling CHA, did y'all see that? Okay. Here's the footage in slow motion with a close up of the eerie, ghostly figure. This means the security guard saw the strange anomaly in person as it passed through the lobby, and the video evidence certainly backs this up. See, I saw that. Commentators of this video were certain that this footage showed a real ghostly appearance. They also stated that the security guard's reaction seemed genuinely shocked. There were a number of suggestions thrown around as to what the shape could be including a spirit of a person roaming the building, a ghostly animal, or even the idea of a demon. So what do you think? Given the guard's reaction, coupled with the video evidence, makes this a compelling piece of footage, one that may provide a glimpse into the afterlife. Hospitals are considered by many to be hotspots for wandering spirits and ghosts as they see a lot of death in their halls. One particular hospital in Peru is said to be home to multiple hauntings that simply can't be explained any other way. In one video shared by YouTuber Jesus Enrique Mazano Ramos, we get to see one exceptionally eerie spiritual happening right in front of our eyes. The CCTV footage provided shows an early morning feed of the empty day surgery service of the hospital. It would appear something very unusual was caught on camera. Let's take a look. Uh, 
15 seconds into the footage, viewers can see what appears to be a spooky human-like shape appear on the left side of the frame and walk through what appears to be a car park. As the figure walks to the right of shot, it begins to become more and more transparent until it fully fades away into nothingness. Workers in this hospital have stated that these spiritual sightings are quite common in the building and that they believe they're actually souls. As this figure looks like and walks exactly as a human does, could it possibly be a soul that once passed away inside this very hospital? Usually parents use baby monitors to watch over their little ones in case they begin to cry, shift around or express other types of discomfort. But what about when a parent notices something happening nearby the baby that is not explained by any usual behaviour? That's exactly what happened to YouTuber Dad's Always Right when he saw something on his baby monitor that gave him the chills. In the brief clip, a baby sleeps soundly in a baby carriage snuggled up in blankets when suddenly something eerie happens. The bear slowly turns sideways seemingly all by itself. It stops a couple of seconds later seemingly looking directly into the camera as the clip ends. Teddy bears and dolls moving all by themselves have been the plot points for countless horror films and TV shows. Usually in these films, the stuffed animals and dolls have sinister intentions, bringing death and destruction to the humans around them. Thankfully, this baby's dad and his child haven't experienced any harm. Still, the fact that the teddy bear stopped moving as soon as it was facing the camera certainly leaves viewers of the video with an unsettling feeling in the pit of their stomachs. It's rumoured that all kinds of paranormal activity haunt the many theatres around London. As London has such a long history, it's perhaps no surprise that paranormal and poltergeist activity has been reported. One particular theatre, the Victoria Palace Theatre, is said to be especially haunted. Check out this frightening clip, uploaded by the YouTube channel Billy Alley at the Musical. A number of inexplicable occurrences seem to take place. Check it out. At around the seven second mark, we witness the door to the costume changing room open seemingly of its own accord. It stays open for a few moments before slowly closing again on its own. A little time goes by before we get to see another hair raising event. One of the model heads on which a wig rests suddenly falls to the ground. Shortly after, a few objects that were on the wig changing table suddenly fall to the ground, right before the clip ends. Dresses of the Victoria Palace Theatre have suggested that the hauntings could be due to one specific person, the early 20th century Russian ballerina Anna Pavlova. While Pavlova was an extremely successful dancer, she was also incredibly superstitious, even afraid to see her own picture on posters. She used to use different entrances than most people to enter the theatre. In the wig room once rested a statue of Pavlova, which was eventually removed during World War II. Present day dressers believe that Pavlova's spirit continues to haunt the room causing the random opening and shutting of doors as well as flying wigs and missing props, forever imprinting her own superstitions onto the theatre. Museums are a great place to see some incredible art, learn about history and, according to this footage, possibly see ghosts. 
This eerie CCTV footage uploaded to YouTube by Casper Web TV has left viewers on edge. In the video, viewers see what appears to be a large room in the museum, with two bright lights shining down on the floor. The camera appears to have caught some unusual activity. Take a look. A ghost-like figure appears out of nowhere and strolls over the floor under the lights where it becomes difficult to make out. As it does this, the turnstiles in the bottom right of the shot appear to spin all on their own. After a few moments, the transparent figure turns around making itself visible once more, before it walks back to the left of shot then completely disappears. As this is live CCTV footage, viewers state that they're more likely to believe that this is an actual apparition over something that could have been manipulated or edited. Moreover, there doesn't seem to be anyone else in the room that could explain the arrival of the figure or why the turnstiles appear to move on their own. More importantly, the transparent nature of the figure is certainly mysterious. Give this clip another view and let us know what you think. It's thought that paranormal entities can take on all types of different shapes and forms. One of the most common is the shape of a shadow figure or a dark entity that resembles a shadow. In this instance, viewers can see a possible shadow figure taking on the manifestation of a circular black mass. YouTuber Hidden World has shared this clip, which has made the employees of this office want to give it a double look. The first 25 seconds of the video is still footage of an office space with a couch, a couple of desks and a chair. It's after the 30 second mark however that something bizarre is caught on camera. We can see a small black mass appear near the doorway of the office space. The mass slowly hovers up from the floor before suddenly moving over the desk and chair and turning into a strange mist. The clip is played twice more with a focus on the strange shape as it moves over the desk. What's particularly odd about this shadow figure is its transformation from a solid black shape to being nearly transparent in just a second. We can only hope this dark figure had innocent intentions. While driving on freeways, we expect to see lots of cars, lights and long stretches of road. But what about when we see something more sinister on the highway? That's what seemed to happen in this clip originally posted on I'm Haunted's YouTube page. In the video, we see CCTV footage of a freeway with cars driving by. After a few moments, on the left side of the frame, we see something eerie. We can see what appears to be a mysterious figure resembling a man casually walking across the left side of the road. A couple of seconds after it appears, a big truck drives into frame and seemingly right into the figure. As the truck drives on, we can see the entity again, walking just as it was moments ago. The figure then steps onto the freeway median before disappearing completely. Here it is again, zoomed in and in slow motion. The uploader of this video believes that the ghostly figure could actually be a time traveller from another era exploring the road. Some commentators of the video have disputed this however, wondering how a time traveller could have walked away unharmed after being hit by a truck. This led to others speculating that it could indeed be a ghost, spirit or other paranormal being haunting the highway. 
Give the clip another look and judge for yourself. In this video, a shadow figure makes an appearance in yet another seemingly normal place, this time in a hallway of a regular home. What makes this particular video more spine-chilling is the fact that an innocent baby may have been involved, as shared by YouTuber Captured Camera TV. We see what appears to be a hallway of a normal residential home. Soon after the clip starts, we hear a violent banging sound. Seconds later, we see something unusual. Take a look. A dark shadow appears on the left side of the wall. The figure seems to travel down the hallway with its shadow appearing on the right wall as it makes its way down the hall. We then see the shadow figure go into a room on the right hand side. After a few moments, the shadow entity reappears briefly outside of the door again, while a baby begins to cry. As the video goes on, the baby's cries turn into loud screams, until the baby ceases to make noise. We then see the shadow figure re-emerge and leave down the hallway. The fact that the baby started howling when the shadow figure entered the room is certainly eerie timing. What could the figure have done to the baby while it was haunting the room? Or could the baby's cries not be related to the figure at all, and instead be pure coincidence? There's been no explanation for what's happening in this clip so we can only make assumptions for ourselves. As usual, I'll throw this out to you, the audience. Let me know what you think's happening in this eerie video. Then let us know down in the comments. The Randonautica app claims to use the law of attraction to find a nearby adventure. Released in February 2020, the app was developed by Joshua Lengfelder. Users are given coordinates on a map that they can follow and report their findings. It professes to channel the intentions of its users in order to lead them to relevant spots of potential adventure nearby. Users must think about what they'd like to get out of their session before focusing their intentions. According to the devs themselves, the app is an attractor of strange things. The app gained controversial attention when a group following their prescribed coordinates found a suitcase containing two dead bodies in Duwamish, West Seattle. Since the discovery, many have speculated that the app has an eerie ulterior motive. This has led to an explosion of Randonautica videos appearing on Reddit and TikTok. As for the veracity of these videos, viewers will have to brave viewing them for themselves. You can decide for yourself just what is real and what is not. Posted to the TikTok channel Randonautica2, this clip shows what a well-executed Randonautica video can actually do. The video opens with the camera panning around an abandoned building. Both the camera work and the angle in which the video is filmed gives viewers the sense they're experiencing this TikTok firsthand. Looking around, we see trash scattered around the ground and walls defiled with graffiti. The camera pans around a corner of the building outside. The video now focuses on an eerie humanoid shape huddled in the corner. No mummies. Hunched over and exposed, the figure seems to leap at the camera just before the footage cuts out. No mummies. No mummies. Unfortunately, there's very little info available about this Randonautica clip. We don't know where it was filmed or who even filmed it. This has led many viewers to suggest that the whole video is staged. 
Others, however, think the figure is a homeless person looking to scare the camera holder away. So what do you think? Hoax, homeless person, or something far more sinister? Love to hear your opinions on this one in the comments section below. This next scary Randonautica video was uploaded by TikTok user Kelly Velarez. Velarez and company found themselves faced with a creepy supernatural sighting. The group is pulled over on the side of the road. They look back at what appears to be two men walking down the road toward their vehicle. The figures walk at a slow pace, but nothing seems out of the ordinary. However, the reason for the group's panic soon becomes evident. As the video pans over to the vehicle's rear view camera, the camera shows nothing but the road behind them. Just where the two men should be visible, the vehicle's camera has picked up nothing. Oh my God, okay. People. The camera pans back and forth between the men and the camera. Oh my God, okay. They're still slowly walking towards the vehicle, yet can't be seen in the rear vision camera. This video has racked up millions of views and stirred up quite a controversy in the comments section. Some people think it's faked, others think it shows a glitch in the matrix or perhaps even some ghosts. Love to get your opinions on this strange piece of footage in the comments section below. Uploaded to TikTok by Chris C's Ghosts, this next video may be slightly more mystifying to the potential skeptic. Captured in broad daylight, a group of friends were led to an eerie field via the Randonautica app. This video is unlike other scary Randonautica videos. Instead, it offers a factual, neutral account of what Chris found in this field. This makes the video that much creepier. The area is filled with coffins arranged haphazardly, along with other mysterious implements. And in the creepy back area, we found a lot of coffins. And the uploader opens one of the coffins only to find the lid has been lined with large spikes. And we got curious and opened one and there were spikes inside. In he cites mind. the coffin's resemblance to the design of the classic Iron Maiden torture device. This makes the presence of these coffins even more alarming. An innocuous looking table nearby is also quickly exposed as something more disturbing. Upon gently adjusting the table, its resemblance to another medieval torture device becomes apparent. One of those tables that you like, tie people to and uh, torture them. So, uh... Last but not least, ominous ropes are seen strewn along the ground. This could imply that something or someone has recently made an escape. Mad sketch. Maybe if you blow this up. Chilling and disturbing enough on its own, Chris ends the video by suggesting he may return to the same spot at night. This promises an even more ominous adventure. Mad sketch. Maybe if you blow this up, we'll come back at night. Some of the scariest Randonautica videos out there contain events too odd to be unreal. Such is the case in this chilling video posted to the TikTok account Frozen Meals. They begin by explaining the prompt the app gave them. The app began by first pointing the two girls in the direction of a detention center, seemingly not too far from their location. So we decided to play Rando Nautica, and it took us to this random detention center. Either thinking this to be innocent enough or the start of a creepy Rando Nautica adventure, the girls decided to take the risk and make the drive out to the detention center. Eerily, when they arrive at their destination, one of the girls receives an anonymous text asking if they're real. From a random ass number that said, are you real? And we decided to come back to check it out. Just how the girl received the text remains unclear. Some viewers have suggested perhaps it was through an open Bluetooth or location setting. Creepily enough, the girls then look over to a nearby bridge and crosswalk, only to see the word real in graffiti. Number that said, are you real? And we decided to come back to check it out. And it just says real. While the rest of the adventure can easily be chalked up to the app's influence, the scribbled word and anonymous text make for troubling conclusions. Was someone stalking these girls, or is it a case of pure coincidence? Some viewers believe the Rando Nautica app may even be cursed. 
This would explain why so many weird and scary things have been attributed to Rando Nautica Adventures already. And we decided to come back to check it out, and it just says real. These TikTokers unknowingly pushed the boundaries in this video, uploaded by user Benjamin Hicks. The pair featured in the video explained that the app first guided them to an old and abandoned convent roughly an hour out of town. They explore the creepy yet beautiful remains of the once holy ground. Hey, uh, something traumatic happened that changed my life, Chad. They then decide to do what almost any teenager making a TikTok would do. They decide to film a dance challenge. As the girl featured in the video begins to dance, however, the boy behind the camera quickly realizes something's not quite right. Wait, what? Any, 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 any. Noticing an odd shape just over her shoulder, he calls his friend's attention. Unsure of exactly what they're seeing, they make their way over to the odd shape. What at first appears to be an oddly constructed fixture quickly turns out to be something else entirely. Gathered in a circle, there's a group of people all standing with their heads pressed down. They form an odd cult-like practice around the unknown object. Without moving or speaking, the group seems to be performing some ritual or rite. Extremely unsettling, the pair of friends seem rightly disturbed by whatever it is they're looking at. The video ends with both the friends and the viewer fairly unsure of what it is they've just seen. Posted on TikTok by user Haley Egg, this rando Nautica adventure seems obviously fake, but it is fun and creepy to watch nonetheless. Opening just like other rando Nautica videos, Haley explains that the app brought her to a random park in the middle of nowhere. All right, going rando nodding, and it took us to this shitty park in the middle of nowhere, so let's see what we find. She pans the camera around and seemingly doesn't see the shadowy face peering at her from behind a tree. She explains that she crossed a bridge to explore the park further. In the distance, an eerie figure in a long black dress can be seen walking across the field of view. Clearly unsettled, the next clip features Haley as she walks away from the figure. She seems obviously uncomfortable with what it is she's just seen. As the video goes on, the clip stays true to classic horror clip fashion. The camera gets shaky as Haley runs, seemingly for her life. A quick cut reveals a terrifying figure lunging at the camera. The video cuts off before Haley's able to make it to her car. With the clip obviously plotted and acted out, the video is nevertheless a good reminder of what it is that makes these clips fun. The sense of adventure and horror, as well as the blurred lines between reality and fiction, make these adventures a new form of entertainment in their own right. Oh my God, is she following us? Lastly, this series of scary rando Nautica videos posted by TikTok user Taylor Vasquez 66 hopes to serve as a cautionary tale, deterring the curious away from the perils of rando nording. Documenting her own adventures with the app, Taylor shares more than a few spooky clips of her own. So I keep seeing that rando nut thing all over TikTok and I really want to try it out. So I just downloaded the app and I found a location that's like a mile and a half by my house. So I'm going to go check it out. The first adventure takes Taylor to an abandoned creek area. Eerie but seemingly innocent, Taylor has nothing to fear until she finds a series of disturbing and violent drawings. Then we have these random three. This one's a It's Your Birthday with the snowman with... Obviously freaked out, Taylor's senses are on high alert. The video ends with a horrific sound nearby, sending Taylor running. I swear I'm friendly. Play with me. <gasps> Feeling brave, Taylor returns to the creek. This time she pans around the area in order to ensure that there's no one around. To her dismay, more drawings are found in the area each creepier and more distressing than the last. Okay, these drawings are creepy as f I feel like I should just grab them all really quick if they have messages on them, because then 
Like those look like symbols. As Taylor is distracted by the horrid drawings, she doesn't at first hear what appears to be the ethereal voice of a small child in the area. If they have messages on them, because then, like those look like symbols. The clip ends abruptly when she does hear it. Clearly disturbed, she makes a break for it. I don't really see anything else. So like... Analyzing her previous video, a viewer spots the unthinkable. The face of a creepy child is clearly seen peeking around a corner, looking directly at Taylor's camera. No one was with me, and tell me if you guys think that looks like a ghost child, because I don't know. Clearly distraught, viewers have made the connection between the face and the voice of the girl with the disturbing drawings left behind at the scene. I don't really see anything else. So like... Having grabbed a journal from the creek area, Taylor spends this video analysing the messages left behind. Detailing voices heard in her head and asking why her brother abandoned her, it's clear that any little girl with a diary like this would have to be seriously disturbed. But with the messages in this book so far, I don't really want to keep it that long. Feeling brave after a few beverages, Taylor makes her way to the creek once again this time finding a few of the girl's possessions, including what seems to be a makeshift Ouija board. The final video in this series shows a knife found at the creek. This knife I saw sitting next to it, so I just grabbed these two things and ran. Positive something dangerous is going on, Taylor makes it clear she won't be returning to the creek after all she's seen. So what do you think's going on in this series of videos? Some viewers have speculated that the whole event is staged. Others, however, think the drawings look too weathered and authentic to be a setup. That, coupled with the eerie sounds and mysterious ghost-like face, make this a very eerie Rando Nautica adventure. So why did the app lead Taylor to this strange location? Is there perhaps a story that needs to be told in order to give some restless spirit peace? Posted to the Triple Four page on Facebook, this video was shared to us by the owner of the page herself, Shannon Courtright. Shannon explains that the video features her own sister, Robin Pagan, as well as her sister's friend, Katie. As the two were playing a drinking game and filming themselves, the group happened to capture what appears to be a rare supernatural event. Early in the video, Katie points out a cup moving in front of Robin. However, as the cup is out of Robin and the camera's view, she immediately dismisses it. After playing the game on camera for several minutes, the pair leave the viewer the shot. Moments later, the cup seems to move all on its own. It repeats this motion several times throughout the video. At one point, the curtain slowly shifts by itself. The startling thing about this footage is that Katie moves and flips the cup numerous times while playing the game. The source footage is all one continuous shot. This would make it extremely difficult to hoax the event. There can't be string attached to the cup because it gets flipped several times. There also can't be magnets attached either. It's evident while watching the video that the people aren't aware of this paranormal activity occurring around them. It's not until the video was watched back that they spotted it. Shannon explains that the next day, the girls saw that a lamp and lampshade had fallen over and flown across the living room. Even more weirdly, a speaker kept turning on, despite the fact it wasn't plugged in. The final straw for the girls was when something seemed to gently lift Katie's hair into the air. Concerned due to the string of supernatural events, the two went back and watched this video from the previous night now aware they had started capturing their very own scary ghost videos. The paranormal events of the following day, combined with the odd actions seen in this video, were enough to convince the pair that they were host to at least one unexpected guest. 
With this myriad of odd activities all in a row, one has to wonder just how safe the two could feel while staying in that home. Uploaded by YouTube user Rodri Yoshiaki, this next clip seems to have been captured in a nearly empty hospital. The translated text from the video explains that Rodri thought himself to be alone when he saw the nearby doors open by themselves. Slightly worried but not overly shocked, the healthcare worker gave it some time before he decided to begin filming. The camera holder explains that the doors are automatic, but they require motion for them to be activated. Pasa la mano, la puerta se abre. In the video, you can clearly see the door open a number of times with no one around. Rodri then meets up with his work partner. The pair hear the sound of the doors once again opening by themselves. The pair decides to approach the doors, finding it curious that they've stopped opening by themselves upon their approach. They take a look around the room to see if anything might be activating the doors. There's clearly no one there. However, it's at this moment that the very clear sound of a whistle is heard. Again, the room is empty except for the two workers. If you slow the footage down, there is indeed a strange disembodied whistle. Now clearly not as alone as they thought they were, the uploader has posted the clip to his YouTube channel for viewers to decide for themselves if he truly came into contact with some sort of spirit that day in the hospital. Posted to the YouTube channel Alice in Wonderland 74, this piece of eerie footage seems to show something truly mysterious. The video was captured by a truck driver's dash cam late at night while driving through Georgia. Although the clip is short, the description of the clip only serves to add more mystery to the already intriguing circumstances. The figure of a fully white woman is seen standing by the side of the road. Then, just as the truck comes nearer, the woman continues walking right into the road, seemingly colliding directly with the truck. The clip ends, but the video's description goes on to further muddy the mysterious circumstances. The truck driver, afraid he had hit someone, pulled over to the side of the road. Oddly enough, the driver didn't find evidence of a body anywhere nearby. Dismayed but still concerned, the driver called the police himself in order to clear up any potential misunderstandings regarding what had happened. Disturbingly enough, when the driver made contact with the police, they explained that his situation was not unique. In fact, the police officer explained that many such calls had come in, all regarding that very same spot. Many drivers seemingly reported concern over hitting the same ghostly woman, only to find they hadn't hit anything at all. What remains for the driver and the Georgia police, as well as viewers, is the ghostly mystery of the woman's origins. Just where did she come from? And why she reenacted being hit in the same spot on the road over and over again? This next clip was originally posted to the Home for Scary Ghost Videos, the Facebook page Do You Believe in the Unexplained. Host to a vast array of similar videos, this clip in particular is sure to give viewers the creeps. Recording an empty hallway, the majority of the clip plays out with no one in sight. The quiet emptiness of the hallway is exactly why it's so frightening when the smallest of shadows appears to creep around a corner only to quickly creep away in the direction in which it initially arrived. The small shadow appears to be about the size of a small child moving as a person would. 
It walks around the corner, then darts back in the opposite direction. The appearance of the small shadow is even more shocking due to just how quickly it appears and then leaves in the midst of the complete stillness of the hallway. With no human attached to the shadow, it appears it could be some kind of supernatural being. But without further evidence, we may never know the truth about this mysterious clip. So we'll throw it out to you, the audience. What do you think that strange shadow is? Let me know in the comments section below. Posted to Daily Motion, this next video comes from the pirate themed bar Dreamwater Lounge. While there are many scary videos caught on CCTV, this one is fairly unique. The video was captured on what appears to be a bridge section of the themed restaurant. The area is seemingly empty. Without a soul in sight, an alleged spirit seems to choose that moment to make itself visible. The ghostly figure appears to be relatively white and wispy. It floats right down through the empty area. It's almost as though it knows exactly where it's going, as it moves too purposefully. As the video continues, we watch the ghostly figure continue to move down the hall at a leisurely pace. Given the theme of the bar, it's highly possible that many spirits could have been drawn there. Perhaps it's a reminder of the spirit's home, past life, or an area it used to frequent. Some viewers have suggested the video is staged to drum up publicity for the restaurant. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of info to run with regarding this clip. So until more evidence comes to hand, this strange video will have to remain a mystery. YouTube user Youngboy Lloyd has provided us with this video as an update to a previous one we featured a few months back. In the latest in his string of scary ghost videos, his video explains the most recent haunting he's experienced. Lloyd explains in the video that his children saw a ghost in their home's washroom. He follows his son to the washroom to see what he's talking about. Okay, you stay there, yeah. Where? Lloyd is soon trapped in what may be every parent's worst nightmare. Lloyd remains just outside the door as his son points to the spot where he witnessed the ghost. Okay, show me. The door suddenly springs shut on Lloyd, trapping his son in the bathroom while he's on the other side. Lloyd bangs on the door, shouting for his son to no avail. The door appears to be kept shut by some sort of supernatural force. Likely the same force that Lloyd's children witnessed in the washroom in the first place. Lloyd continues to attempt to open the door, banging on it and calling his son's name, even as the video ends. Just how long it took to finally open the door and get through to his son is unknown. But spending any amount of time living in such distress would be unbearable. Given the description of Lloyd's video, it seems quite clear that he no longer feels safe in his own home. This isn't the first time they've witnessed paranormal encounters in their home, as seen in videos that we've previously featured. <laughs> Who the ghost is and why it's haunting Lloyd and his family is uncertain. However, what is certain is that Lloyd and his family may never feel at ease under that roof. Would you be house hunting and looking for a new place to live? Or would you brave it out and try and live with this supernatural entity? Let me know what you'd do in the comments section below. This video, captured by John Teeter Official and featured on the YouTube channel Zeal, shows something truly bizarre floating in the skies over Sao Paulo, Brazil, in September 2020. The semi-transparent, white-coloured object hovering in the sky is shaped almost exactly like a jellyfish. It has a half-sphere shape at the top and long tendrils streaming down. The 
the object stays perfectly still in the sky for several minutes as the footage rolls on. Detractors were quick to brush it off as a kite or balloon. However, others point out the eerie stillness as proof that something strange is happening. An ordinary airborne object would move a bit in the breeze. The long tendrils in particular should be rippling in the wind, yet the object in the video remains completely still. So what could this strange object be if not a balloon or kite? Paranormal aficionados around the world are keen to believe that this is some sort of alien craft. What do you make of this mystery in the skies of Brazil? The side of a road along the edge of a forest isn't exactly the kind of place you'd expect to have a normal social interaction. However, this TikTok from Sir Stranger strays so far from normal that people are downright terrified. The footage appears to have been taken from a vehicle. Take a look. As you can see, there's a strange person lurking in the woods. Something about his speech seems slightly off, almost as if there's an unusual grunting sound behind his words that's just barely audible. The man's behaviour goes from unusual to downright bizarre as he begins climbing up the embankment to the road. Watching that again as the man approaches the car, the posture and movements of his body shift, becoming almost animalistic. The prevailing theory about this man's unusual shift in behaviour calls back to an ancient Navajo legend, the Skinwalker. A Skinwalker is a creature with the ability to change into other animals or even people, mimicking their appearances and behaviour to get close to their victims. Many viewers of the video think that this strange man isn't a man at all, but rather a skinwalker mimicking a human. Of course, the elephant in the room is obviously the poor quality of the clip. Its dimensions have clearly been tampered with, giving the video a distorted appearance. Unfortunately, we weren't able to track the original source or find a better quality version of this encounter. If you've seen the full original version, let us know in the comments and we'll look into it further. Doorbell cameras have been the source of a lot of strange footage since they started gaining popularity in recent years. This TikTok from Itzasek is no exception. The video shows a parking area in the dark of night. Take a look at what happens. As you can see, a mysterious shape begins floating up from somewhere in the upper left hand corner of the video. As it moves through the shadows, it almost seems to shimmer in the darkness, but its exact shape and composition are impossible to make out. The strange shape disappears from the range of the camera. However, moments later, a strange shadow appears to zip overhead. Thousands of people have watched this footage, but no one has a definite answer as to what's been captured on film. So what do you make of this strange sighting? Let us know your theories in the comment section down below.
For amateur paranormal hunters, Randonautica is a great way to find strange and mysterious locations to investigate. In this YouTube footage from Signs and Signals, they get more than they bargain for while using the app. The Randonautica app is simple. You open the app and manifest an intention. Then the app gives you a location to go to. You can use the app's built-in GPS to navigate to the exact location where you've been directed. According to users, strange and unexplained things often happen while randonauting. In this instance, these YouTubers are led to a cemetery. And it's over there like that away. That's a graveyard, dude. That is a f***ing graveyard. Dude! Zion. I mean, that's got a church. That's a church cemetery. Where's the church? The group walks around for a while, recording footage and taking photos. Dude, this place is so old, man. Dude, there would be some, like, you can get some awesome pictures here, man. Like, look at this stuff. Yeah, hold on. Let me. I mean, even these trees, they like, still have cool contract. Dude, they clip them trees. They keep it nice out here. Yeah, I'm, I'm taking pictures while I'm recording now. No, that's fine. You can do whatever. Why, why do you think some people get like extremely big headstones like that? I mean, but then again, back in the day, it didn't cost that much money. At first, nothing interesting happens, so they begin preparing for a spirit box session. When they start to hear a strange noise from behind them, watch what happens. I think I just saw something move. A slow motion replay of the event seems to show a small pale face with dark eyes appearing from behind the leaves. Many believe the Randonautica app is cursed and then it leads people to dangerous situations. So was a person hiding in the bushes watching and waiting for these YouTubers? Or was it something else entirely? Perhaps something paranormal? Watch the eerie encounter again and decide for yourself. TikTok account George Lafore uploaded this mysterious piece of CCTV footage. This clip is taken from a security camera near the front of a store. We can see numerous customers and employees going about their business when suddenly something eerie happens. Watch. <laughs> A shopping cart appears to move all on its own, wheeling off down an aisle. We also get footage from another camera at the other end of the aisle, showing us that no hidden accomplice could be pulling strings. The cart appears to move completely on its own. From this view, we can also clearly see that after a few feet, the cart swings around to face the opposite direction as it moves. It also navigates around several obstacles as it traverses the aisle, which would be impossible if it was simply rolling down an uneven floor.
Bizarrely, the man in the aisle doesn't seem to notice the moving cart. And when he does, he just nonchalantly moves out of the way. It almost looks like he keeps browsing just moments later. Numerous theories have been thrown around. Everything from uneven floors to pranks and even poltergeist activity has been suggested. Whatever the cause, it certainly makes for a compelling and mysterious piece of footage. One that doesn't have a definite answer quite yet. Investigating the paranormal can be a dangerous endeavour, as the folks at Para Evident can attest. After a particular investigation, it seems that one team member may have taken his work home with him. The team had been investigating the Montanay Hotel, an abandoned hotel rumoured to be the site of satanic rituals. Afterwards, one team member began to suspect that an entity had clung to him upon leaving the hotel when he spotted a claw-like hand reaching for him in the darkness of his own apartment. It's alleged the hand disappeared a moment later without explanation. He's also seen dark figures standing in shadowy corners, lights flickering and electronic devices turning on and off without explanation. The team decided that it was time to turn the camera on themselves and investigate their own apartment. As they recorded, something strange showed up on camera. See if you can spot anything creepy. Can you show yourself? Watching that again slowed down, you can see a quick flash of a body walking past a nearby doorway. All of the team members were accounted for at the time and there was no one else in the apartment. They have no explanation for what could have walked past the door in the video. Can you show yourself? On the night that they suspect the hauntings began, the team believe they spotted a shadow person at the Montanay Hotel. Many paranormal investigators believe that shadow people are elusive spirits, only appearing in fleeting glances in dark spots. Some believe that shadow people are mostly harmless, but others think that they're evil omens. So is it possible that a shadow person has attached itself to this investigator and followed him home? If so, he'd be right to be afraid of the dark from now on. Can you show yourself? Is it a bird? Is it a plane? Actually, Conspiration ESP on Twitter, who posted this bizarre clip, has no idea what it is. At the start of the footage, it immediately becomes clear that something strange is happening. A group of people are standing near the street staring and pointing towards the sky. The camera turns to give a view of the area overhead, but at first everything seems relatively normal. However, a closer look at the sky shows why the pedestrians are so concerned. Floating in the sky is what appears to be a small disc of bright white light. It seems to be moving and turning in the sky as its shape changes over the course of a few seconds. It's only visible briefly before zipping away and disappearing behind a nearby cloud.
At first, it would be easy to think that the strange object is just a lost balloon or a faraway aircraft. However, when it quickly darts behind a cloud, these explanations become harder to believe. What kind of man-made object could move like this? The high-speed maneuver has led many to believe that they spotted an alien ship flying in the sky. As always, I'll throw this out to you, the viewer. What do you think's been captured here? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you came back as a ghost after you died, what would be the first thing you'd do? Sneak into somewhere you're not allowed, haunt someone you didn't like, or would you just Netflix and chill? Redditor Wayne Bruce 11 seems to think they might have caught a spirit doing just that. According to the poster, they've dealt with this ghost for over 15 years. However, they say it's only made itself known by turning lights on and off, particularly around the holidays, when their house is decked out in festive Christmas decorations. Up until now, it seems they've never been able to catch the activity on camera. So when the family woke up one morning and found the TV on and tuned into a channel none of them ever watched, they quickly checked their home security camera to see what had happened. Take a look. Sure enough, the camera shows the TV mysteriously turning itself on in the middle of the night at 3.33 a.m. to be precise, a time often considered to be the witching hour. Over the course of a few minutes, the supposed ghost seems to flick through a few different channels. Then a short time later, the camera itself changes from black and white night vision mode to full colour. So what could be going on here? As usual, several Redditors had their own theories. Some suspected that the TV might have been updating or that a neighbour with a remote program to the same frequency was responsible. Others, however, seemed certain it was the work of a poltergeist with a penchant for late night TV. Cemeteries are creepy at the best of times, but if you ever get the chance to visit one after dark, there can be pure nightmare fuel. When the investigators from the YouTube channel Soy Ramses decided to explore an old graveyard, it seems that they probably got more than they bargained for. As the video begins, we see the investigators speaking briefly to the camera. Nos queda policía ahorita, amigos, para preguntarnos qué estábamos haciendo, porque obviamente, pues, que estén dos personas en un cementerio, se ve sospechoso y más con el equipo que estamos trayendo, pues, nos interesa. However, if you look closely, you'll notice that the paranormal activity might have already started. There's a shadowy figure walking among the graves. Take a look. Nos queda policía ahorita, amigos, para preguntarnos qué estábamos haciendo, porque obviamente, pues, que estén dos personas en un cementerio, the YouTubers then begin their investigation and soon discover what appears to be an empty grave full of muddy water. The grave doesn't seem to be freshly dug and nothing else around it indicates that it could have been filled by heavy rain. They continue on and it isn't long before they get a fright while examining some tombstones. Watch. Watching that again, two bottles resting on a nearby grave suddenly topple over. 
However, there doesn't seem to be anyone else around that could have caused it. Watch out, watch out, watch out. The investigators search the area. Then a noise catches their attention. That's when they spot the shadowy figure lurking nearby. They give chase but soon lose sight of it. Then they stumble across a broken grave where they discover something rather unnerving. Take a look. <laughs> While the contents of the bag is probably a little too graphic for YouTube, we'll leave a link to the original video in the description box below so you can go and check it out for yourself. <laughs> Pilots often report seeing strange things on their long flights high up in the sky. This footage was captured in 2020 by a pilot flying over Medellin, Colombia. Take a look at what they saw. At first, we can see the controls in the cockpit. They show that the plane is traveling at around 30,000 feet in altitude. Then the camera focuses out of the window where a dark, strangely shaped object can be seen flying through the sky. A close up reveals that the object is likely brown or black in color and possibly cube shaped. It's since been estimated that the object was around 10 to 15 feet in diameter, probably too small for it to have been piloted. One theory that's been put forward is that it could have been some sort of alien drone or probe researching Earth. This clip is a real head scratcher. What do you think that object is? Could it really be alien in origin? Or is there another more simple explanation? Love to hear your theories on this one in the comments section down below. There are countless hotels around the world that claim to have resident ghosts haunting their rooms. However, there's usually little footage to back these claims up. This image, however, uploaded to our Slaptam subreddit by FantmotW might just show evidence of one such haunting. According to the Redditor, the security staff of the Hilton Netherland Plaza in Cincinnati, Ohio received this photo from a guest staying in the hotel. Upon first glance, it doesn't seem to show anything unusual. However, if you focus on the very end of the hallway, you may notice a strange shape. A zoom reveals the shape in more detail, the possible silhouette of a woman in a ball gown. The hotel has allegedly been haunted for decades by a spirit known as the Lady in Green. She is said to frequent the hotel's Hall of Mirrors and seems particularly fond of spooking people in the elevator. Staff and guests claim to have heard her disembodied voice whispering to them, or even seen her before she suddenly vanishes without a trace. According to the story, the lady in green was the widow of a painter who died while the hotel was under construction. Then, when the hotel opened, she supposedly checked herself into one of the rooms before throwing herself from a window in grief. Now, she is said to haunt the halls, searching for her lost husband. So does this photo really show the infamous lady in green? Let me know where you land on this down below.
This unnerving photo was shared to the Facebook page The Cornish Ghost Whispers Paranormal UK. According to the poster, it was taken 15 years ago while visiting an old jail. If you look closely at the bottom right corner of the photo, there appears to be a strange figure. Viewers think it looks like an old man, one who's wearing glasses and a white shirt. The poster even says that the figure resembles her deceased grandfather. To make the image even stranger, if you look just to the left of the woman, there's also an unusual mist-like shape. So what do you think? Has something supernatural really been caught on camera here? Or are these shapes little more than a case of pareidolia? Share your thoughts on this in the comments down below. Does this pic show a ghostly photo bomber? When Redditor Real Life Goblins shared it online, opinions were mixed. The photo was taken when the poster's brother and his band decided to get some professional shots taken. However, according to the band, of which there are only four members, the photographer was the only other person there at the time. Looking at the image, there is certainly another figure present. Just who or what it is remains a topic of debate. One viewer in particular noted the mysterious figure's disproportionately long arm as a sign that it could indeed be something supernatural. However, as with many photos of this nature, it seems ultimately left to the viewer to decide what exactly it shows. Was there really no one else present that day? Or is the mysterious figure just another person cast in shadow? When a strange object appeared in the sky above Tlaxcala, Mexico, TikToker Vela Navarro 120 quickly grabbed their camera and captured this video. The strange object remained still, seemingly unmoving from its place in the sky. While the footage is brief, a still image of the object allows us to get a clearer look. It actually appears to be shaped like a seven-pointed star. One viewer in particular pointed out that the object in the video is similar in shape to several objects that were reported in an incident over Nuremberg in 1561. According to an illustrated news article from the time, many men and women of Nuremberg saw an aerial battle out of the sun, followed by the appearance of a large black triangular object and exhausted combatant spheres falling to earth in clouds of smoke. The article claims that witnesses observed hundreds of spheres, cylinders and other odd-shaped objects that moved erratically overhead. This illustration here depicts objects of various shapes, including crosses, small spheres, two large crescents, a black spear, and cylindrical objects from which several smaller spheres supposedly emerged and darted around the sky. Well-known psychiatrist Carl Jung later dismissed the incident in Nuremberg, expressing a view that the spectacle was most likely a natural phenomenon, with religious and military interpretations overlying it. Others believe that the incident might have actually been a naturally occurring phenomenon known as a sun dog. Sun dogs are caused by the refraction of sunlight by ice crystals in the atmosphere. They typically appear as a pair of light patches to the left and right of the sun and are best seen when the sun is near the horizon. So did this TikToker manage to capture an object on video similar to those reported in the Nuremberg incident of 1561? Or is this something else entirely? Let me know your theories on this in the comments down below. There are certain locations that seem to attract spirits like magnets. Typically these spots have tragic histories steeped in suffering and death. When YouTuber ZTube Family visited the town of Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, they captured some compelling photos and videos of what is sometimes called the most haunted town in America. The owner of the channel, Melissa Z, shared this haunting evidence with us. Gettysburg was the site of one of the bloodiest battles of the American Civil War. Over the course of three days in 1863, approximately 10,000 people lost their lives and 30,000 more were injured. With so many casualties, it's unsurprising that visitors to Gettysburg frequently report spotting ghosts around the battlefield. The hauntings don't end there, however. Injured soldiers were housed in buildings all around the city, and it's thought that the spirits of some of these unfortunate men linger in the places where they spent their final hours. 
Some think the spirits are peaceful, while others retain auras of anger and pain left over from their experiences in the war. Gettysburg truly is a town of the dead. The family that captured these photos visited Gettysburg in May of 2021. During their stay, the family visited a haunted location each night in hopes of capturing ghostly images. They weren't disappointed. On one evening, they hunted for spirits near Little Round Top, the site of one of the most famous skirmishes during the Battle of Gettysburg. This skirmish accounted for over 1,500 of the battle's total casualties. The family took numerous photos around the site. They later discovered something rather chilling in one of the photos. A mysterious black mass can be seen blocking the pathway in front of them. It almost blends into the surrounding darkness, but close inspection shows that there's definitely a dark shadow in the shape of a slightly rounded triangle, standing out against the night sky. The mass is even more visible in an equalised version of the photo. A noise analysis of the photo seems to indicate that it hasn't been altered in any way either. Some paranormal experts believe that some spirits are unable to appear in corporeal form, as it requires a high amount of energy. They believe it's more common for spirits to appear as shadows or balls of light. Often these indications of a ghostly presence can't be seen with the naked eye, but show up clearly in photos and videos. So could this creepy black mass indicate the presence of one of the many victims of the Battle of Gettysburg? You never know what will happen during a night out on the town. Redditor Swedish Blueberry certainly didn't expect to come home with this eerie photo while sharing some drinks with a friend at a local park late one night. While the Redditor and her friend were having a good time in the park, they decided to snap a selfie. However, it seems as if the park wasn't quite as empty as they originally thought. When they looked at the photo later, they noticed a figure in the background that they're sure wasn't there when they took the photo. There appears to be a woman with pale skin walking down the path behind them. Some viewers think that she's probably just an ordinary woman that the girls didn't notice. However, one would think you would remember a strange pale lady walking through a park late at night. Although the Redditor admits to being under the influence of alcohol when they took the photo, this sight would be hard to miss. So what's actually going on in this photo? Does it show a perfectly ordinary woman that the Redditor and her friend failed to notice? Or were they being followed by someone or something? Look at the photo closely and judge for yourself. Cemeteries are a common spot for ghost hunters to try their luck at capturing evidence of ghostly activity. Sydney Southwest Paranormal Investigators believe they hit the jackpot when they visited St Bartholomew's Cemetery. St Bartholomew's Cemetery in Sydney, Australia is said to be haunted by numerous spirits. A few of the graves date back to 1841, with some even containing Sydney's first colonists. Stories say that John Pond, the former gravedigger and warden of the cemetery, still lingers there long after his death. Pond's spirit is said to be relatively friendly unlike the ghost of Benjamin Hallen, a former sea captain who is also buried in the cemetery. Hallen's grave is the site of the majority of paranormal events in the cemetery, and not all of them are pleasant. Hallen apparently takes great offence to anyone laughing near his grave, causing those who offend him to feel sick or momentarily paralysed. Some people even claim they've lost consciousness at the gravesite. Others say that Holland's ghost sometimes appears walking around the graveyard, distinguished by his unusual gait. However, it's another spirit who caught the public's attention when this bizarre photograph was published by the group Sydney Southwest Paranormal Investigators. In the image, we see a translucent white figure standing near a headstone. The figure has a clear human shape, but is completely devoid of features. A local historian who feels a strong aversion to visiting the area of the cemetery where this photo was taken 
believes this could be the ghost of Thomas James Willis, whose young daughter Emily is buried there. Emily died at the age of three, and she and her father seem to be confined to the cemetery in the afterlife. According to the historian, Emily is a spirit that loves to play tricks on visitors, often darting towards the nearby highway to make visitors think that a child's in danger. So could this photo show the spirit of Willis looking for his missing daughter Emily? Or perhaps it's the spirit of the surly sea captain Benjamin Holland, or even grave digger John Pond. With so many reported hauntings and first-hand accounts of paranormal happenings, it seems this mysterious figure could indeed be a sign of the afterlife. When Slaptown viewer Gordon M snapped a photo to commemorate a fun night at a concert, he never expected to end up with a ghostly photo. However, it seems spirits have a way of surprising you. The photo was taken in May of 2017 when Gordon and his family were headed to see Iron Maiden playing concert. They found an out of the way spot to capture the photo where the rest of the crowd wouldn't be in the background. Nothing about the spot seemed unusual. However, when they looked at the photo later, they noticed something rather strange, an unexplained person standing behind them. The figure appears to be a man wearing a red jacket. He's looking down towards the ground. However, Gordon and his son are absolutely certain that there was no one behind them when they took the photo. The figure is clearly very close to them, so it would have been difficult for him to sneak up behind them without them noticing. Even at the outdoor venue, they surely would have heard footsteps approaching from behind. So does this image show a photobombing concert goer or something far more sinister? Love to get your thoughts in the comments down below. When the Retford Ghost Hunters visited the Sheffield General Cemetery in the UK, they walked away with compelling evidence of the cemetery's status as a haunted location. The Sheffield General Cemetery has been in existence since 1836, established during the country's Victorian era. The graveyard is filled with granite monuments and sculptures that lend an eerie air to the allegedly haunted location. When the ghost hunters visited, they took numerous photos so that they could examine them later for indications of spiritual activity. They weren't expecting to see something quite so compelling. In one of the photos, a white ghostly figure stands out starkly against the night sky. The figure appears to be a woman in a flowing white dress hovering just above a grave. The woman in white is a common ghostly manifestation typically believed to be the spirit of a woman who died amidst tragedy or heartbreak. This particular woman in white is believed to be the spirit of Catherine Parker, a merchant's wife who died by suicide in 1844. Her husband died without a will, leaving Catherine and her five children destitute. After years of struggling to care for them alone, the stress and anxiety became too much for Catherine. She hanged herself and became one of the first to be buried in the Sheffield General Cemetery. Numerous visitors to the cemetery claim to have spotted a ghostly figure garbed in a white dress floating about the gravestones late at night. Catherine's life was certainly filled with heartache, making her a likely suspect for the mysterious woman in white. So could this photo really show Catherine's tormented spirit? Let me know what you think down below. This photo from Redditor Beetlemuse seems to show something inexplicable and has caused quite a stir in the paranormal community. The photo was taken during a tour of a museum. Next to an exhibit enclosed in a glass case, we see a young man walking past. Everything about the photo seems relatively normal on first glance. However, if you look closely at his feet, you'll notice something highly unusual. There appears to be three feet instead of two. The black sole of his left shoe is visible in one spot and an entire shoe of a completely different color can be seen in front of it. So what's going on in this strange photo? Some viewers believe that the shadows on the floor don't match with the image that we see, suggesting that it could be photoshopped. However, others point out that a ghostly appendage may not cast a normal shadow. Another possibility is a photo glitch. 
Because the man was clearly moving when the photo was taken, it's possible that the camera caught his foot in two different positions, creating the weird effect that we see. However, a close examination of the shoe seems to rule out this possibility. First of all, the ghostly foot is wearing a completely different shoe altogether. Additionally, the position of the mysterious third foot would be impossible based on the man's position. If the camera glitched and captured a previous or subsequent step, the third foot should appear further behind or in front of the man. So what do you think's going on in this strange photo? Until further information comes to hand, it will have to remain a mystery. Abandoned houses such as the residence featured in this photo from Imager user ARG6531 are another great place to hunt for spirits. Sometimes a ghostly apparition might make an appearance even when you aren't expecting it. This photo was taken when the user's friends snuck into an abandoned house in their town to explore. They took numerous photos during their visit, including this photo from the attic. On first glance, there doesn't seem to be anything unusual. There are only a few items scattered around the abandoned attic, nothing to indicate a ghostly presence. However, when the explorer later shared the images with friends, they noticed something they didn't see before. It seems that the explorer wasn't alone in the abandoned house. If you look closely at the small bench on the left-hand side of the photo, there seems to be a translucent figure watching them. The figure is almost entirely transparent, but seems to be a young boy seated on the bench with his head turned towards the camera. Some viewers believe he has an old fashioned hairstyle and clothing. So who knows how long he could have been residing in this old attic. Is this ghostly boy for real or is the photo a fake? Without more information, it's impossible to determine who this lonely spirit could be. For now, this ghostly presence remains an unsolved mystery. Our first clip of the day comes from Twitter user Sidio Paranormal, but its true origins are a mystery. The clip opens with someone exploring a funeral parlor after dark. Hello. It's not really known what they're doing there after closing, but it soon becomes apparent that something is very wrong. Take a look. Watching that again, after a few thuds, the coffin starts to shake. It's almost as though whoever's inside wants to come out. The camera holder freaks out and runs away. Right at the end of the clip, there's a brief shot of the coffin and you can clearly see that it's open and empty. Unfortunately, the clip ends abruptly and we're left wondering what it is we've just seen. So what was this person doing in this funeral home after hours? What were they looking for? Unless more info comes to hand, this unsettling little clip will have to remain a complete mystery. This weird piece of footage went viral on Twitter in late July 2022, when user Noah3020 uploaded some footage that they captured at a Lady Gaga concert. It left conspiracy theorists gagging as they suggest something bizarre is afoot. Take a look. Watching that again in slow motion, a book that's been thrown on stage appears to stop in mid-air, then fall to the ground. The strange footage sparked a number of wild and wonderful theories on Twitter. Some said it was a glitch in the matrix and that the book encountered an error and fell to the ground. 
The more popular yet strange assumption is that Lady Gaga is protected by an invisible force field, suggesting she's some kind of futuristic being. There were some more level-headed theories, however, saying that a lot of big concerts often have a very fine mesh-like barrier in place for the artist's protection. But many fans have noted that Lady Gaga often interacts with things that have been thrown on stage, as you can see here. It's clear random objects can make it on stage without being stopped by mesh or a glass barrier. So what's going on here then? Does Lady Gargs really have a force field protecting her? Let me know where you stand on this in the comments down below. This next eerie incident was captured on a live stream when YouTuber Horror Fantasies was running a Ouija board session for his fans. As he's chatting away to his fans watching the live stream, something strange happens. Watch. The doll appears to move its head. The YouTuber freaks out and drops the doll, but isn't quite sure if something really happened or not. I could have thrown that doll turned its head at me. Okay. Naturally, the live stream chat went into overdrive as viewers speculated whether the doll's head really moved or not. Some noted it almost looks like the YouTuber could make the head move with his thumb, which does look plausible. So what do you think? Is this doll haunted or was the head just manipulated? I'll leave that up to you to decide. Do shadow people really exist? This next clip from Sidio Paranormal has left Twitter users wondering whether it shows a genuine paranormal encounter. Take a look. The internal security camera shows that out of nowhere, a shadow seems to push the man. He stumbles a few steps, clearly frightened by what's just happened. There are many theories about what shadow people could be. Some say they're ghosts or spirits of the deceased. Others believe they're extraterrestrial beings, but some think they're demons or evil entities from alternate realities. And still others believe that shadow people are simply figments of our imagination. No one knows for sure what shadow people are, but there have been many reports of sightings throughout history. In some cultures, shadow people are seen as omens of death or misfortune. In other cultures, they're seen as benevolent beings that offer protection or guidance. Most people believe that shadow people are just figments of their imagination. There are few scientific explanations for why some people may see shadow people. One explanation is that when we're tired, our brain doesn't process information very well. This can lead to us seeing things that aren't really there, like shadows. Another explanation is that some people may have sleep disorders which cause them to have hallucinations. These hallucinations can be anything, including shadowy people. However, this footage clearly shows the man being pushed by something, so it's hardly his imagination. I'll throw this one out to you for final judgment. Is this a real shadow person caught on camera? Let me know down below. You might recall back in 2016 when we had the so-called clown epidemic. These were a series of reports of people dressed as clowns in public places, primarily in the United States. The sightings began in South Carolina in late August and by early October had been reported in at least 28 states and three Canadian provinces. Most of the sightings involved people trying to scare or harass others, but some reports included armed clowns or even clowns attempting to lure children into the woods or cars. The sightings caused widespread panic and led to schools closing, police forces increasing patrols, and several people being arrested. Well, now it seems more strange clown sightings have started popping up. This eerie sighting was captured by a Florida resident in late 2020. It was uploaded to the YouTube channel Tree Nation. Take a look at what they caught on camera.
This homeowner in central Florida began filming when they noticed someone lurking in the woods near their house. As you can see, the person's just standing among the trees with a clown mask on. It's not known whether the person was casing the house for a possible burglary or whether they thought it was just a funny prank. The uploader says this isn't the first time this has happened. Just prior to this incident, they saw five or more people dressed as clowns standing in the tree line on their property. Some residents think it could just be teenagers trying to scare people and that they're not actually going to hurt anyone. However, other people are taking the sightings more seriously and are concerned that the clowns might be trying to lure children into their cars or kidnap them. There have even been reports of people wearing clown masks trying to break into homes. The police have urged people not to take matters into their own hands and report any suspicious activity to them straight away. They're also warning people against dressing up as clowns in an effort to scare other people. So could we be seeing a repeat of the 2016 clown epidemic, or is this just an isolated incident in Florida? For now, only time will tell. Ever again. This next series of clips come from a wild story that's playing out on TikTok. In April 2022, TikTok user Andrew Dawson was driving in a remote area of British Columbia in Canada when they spotted something unusual. Take a look. What is it? On top of the snow-covered mountain in the distance, there appears to be a very large bipedal figure. No, seriously, pull over, pull over. There's a person standing there. No, it's not. Dude, have you seen what I've seen right now? Considering the distance, whatever's standing on the mountaintop would have to be enormous. <laughs> the sighting prompted viewers to call this figure a giant. Some said it could even be a Sasquatch. For decades, Sasquatch sightings have been prolific in the Pacific Northwest region of North America. The first recorded Sasquatch sighting in British Columbia was in 1884, when a group of prospectors claimed to have seen the creature near Yale. Over the years, more and more sightings were reported in the region, forming much of the Bigfoot lore that we know today. One of the most famous Sasquatch sightings occurred in 1941, when the Chapman family saw a bizarre bipedal creature near Ruby Creek. At first, they thought it was just a bear, but it soon became apparent that what they saw was something else entirely. The mother of the family, Jeannie Chapman, described the creature as a huge, hair-covered man that stood more than eight feet tall. The beast had a broad chest and long arms, a small head with a thick, strong-looking neck. Jeannie's description does closely resemble the figure seen in Dawson's mountaintop footage. No, seriously, pull over, pull over. There's a person standing there. No, it's not. Dude, have you seen what I've seen right now? <laughs> to prove that there's nothing normally on the mountain, Dawson went back to film some more footage. Here, you can clearly see there's no tree or structure that might resemble a giant person standing on the mountain. In fact, there's nothing there at all. And it's not even there anymore, too. That's where it was yesterday. I spoke to some locals and it comes and goes apparently, I don't know. Things take a turn for the strange when Dawson explains that he tried driving up the mountain to investigate the area. Take a listen. I just got stopped by like some CIA agent. He told me to turn around, said I'm trespassing. I said it's a, it's a public freaking, it's a public area, like a public park or whatever. Some local told me to take this path. I don't get it. It was awkward, but I'm going back again tomorrow to see if he's not there, but if he is there, I will keep camera, I will film. Several days later, Dawson spots this in the sky near where the giant figure was seen. A strange, unidentified light is hovering in the air.
the plot thickens when several days later Dawson sees several large extraction helicopters hovering over the woods. So they're extracting something out of here. There's two helicopters. What the f Spurred on by these strange set of events, Dawson waits till nightfall to drive up the mountain when this happens. This is him. What's going on? Road's closed. Turn around. Really? Yeah, man. Just, just turn around, please. Okay. okay. A government official turns Dawson around, telling him he can't proceed. The officer sounds quite rude and doesn't give an explanation as to why the road is closed. What's going on? Road's closed. Turn around. Really? Yeah, man. Just, just turn around, please. Okay. Okay. A few days after this incident, Dawson uploaded a video claiming there was a surveillance team just outside of his home. I think that's the same vehicle from. Hey! Now here's where things take a turn into conspiracy town. Dawson promptly uploaded an update telling viewers that the whole thing had been staged and that it was just a bit of fun for TikTok. Now, now I'm going to give you an official update of what's been going on. Sorry to disappoint you guys, but all of the videos that I post, all the videos that I posted were scripted. They're just fake. They were just strictly for entertainment. Uh, sorry to disappoint you guys. I just needed to give you a quick update. However, viewers noted Dawson's uneasy body language and that he keeps glancing off camera as though he's being forced by someone. Sorry to disappoint you guys, but all of the videos that I post, all the videos that I posted were scripted. They're just fake. They were just strictly for entertainment. You might not see me post ever again. My videos weren't, they weren't fake. Dawson claims he may not be able to post ever again and that the videos weren't staged. This is one of the last videos that's been posted to the channel and viewers aren't sure what's going on. Some say it's getting a little heavy handed and over the top and claim it has to be a hoax. But the vast majority of people who have seen this series of clips think it's just the tip of the iceberg and that it's beginning to expose a much larger government cover up. No, seriously, pull over, pull over. There's a person standing there. No, it's not. Dude, have you seen what I've seen right now? <laughs> so what do you think's going on here? Giants, Bigfoot, UFOs and government agents. It's certainly an interesting story, but is it really true? Let me know where you land on all this in the comments section down below. Slaptown viewer Steve OC sent us this eerie piece of home security footage. Over the course of several months in 2018, this viewer had been experiencing some strange activity in their home, and they seemed to have the evidence to prove it. Take a look at what their home security cameras captured. As you can see, all kinds of bizarre movement has been recorded. Pantry doors and drawers appear to move all on their own. Just when you think it's weird enough, keep an eye on the window on the left hand side. Sadly the clip ends right as the figure appears, but if we slow it down and brighten the image, something seems to peer in through the window. It would seem this footage backs up our viewers claims that they believe their home is haunted. But what do you think? Would love to hear your take on this strange piece of home security footage in the comments section down below.
YouTube channel Paranormies is quickly becoming one of the best paranormal investigation channels on the site. They often travel to abandoned properties and other allegedly haunted locations looking for evidence of the paranormal. And more often than not, they catch things on camera that aren't easily explained. In this episode, they travel to a remote cabin deep in the Canadian wilderness. The Paranormies team were tipped off about the property when an eerie trail cam photo was posted to Instagram. Take a look. We first became aware of Thomas and his cabin after he posted an eerie trail cam image on Instagram. The post has since been deleted, but a screenshot shows what appears to be a ghostly little girl in the middle of the woods near the cabin. Lead investigator Jordan recounts some eerie incidents that have happened to guests while staying at the cabin. An ex-girlfriend of his who he brought to the cabin had to leave in the middle of the night after having the worst night terror of her life and didn't feel safe in the cabin. During a hunting trip with his hunting buddies, after retiring to the rooms for the night, one friend was woken by a loud noise in the upstairs bedroom where he was sleeping. After sitting up in bed, he saw an apparition standing at the edge of his bed, which quickly dissipated into nothingness. The team investigated the history of the cabin, which has been owned by the one family for decades. They discovered that the current owner's great aunt used to practice witchcraft inside the cabin. Knowing the eerie history and having heard the first-hand accounts of alleged hauntings in the cabin, the Paranormies team decide to stay the night and investigate the property for themselves. They set up cameras and special equipment around the cabin in the hopes of capturing evidence of the strange goings-on. Maybe some of you are still attached to this building. That's what we've heard. Things begin to get weird when the team hears a knock at the front door. Whoa. Is this, door, this door or that door? It's this back door, yeah, with this door. Hello? Radio. Radio. A short while later, the activity seems to increase. Then one of their REM pods goes off as one of the team members begins to feel unwell. I got a bad feeling in here, dude. Yeah. There it goes. Just as I said that. Right there. Yeah. I gotta get out of here, man. While investigating upstairs of the cabin, more strange movement is caught on camera. I probably shouldn't have came here in the first place, right? Oh my god. Okay. Oh, oh my god, I'm having a panic attack here. As you can see, the rocking chair begins to move, seemingly all on its own. Oh my god. Okay. Oh. There's another eerie detail about this chair. Earlier in the episode, at around the 8.14 mark, you can actually see that this rocking chair is on the other side of the room. The team didn't touch it at all, yet somehow it's now on the opposite side of the room later in the night. I probably shouldn't have came here in the first place, right? Oh my god. Okay. Oh, oh. As the evening progresses, the team decides to use a Ouija board to try and make contact with whatever's residing inside the cabin. Watch what happens. Are you good or are you bad? Oh, oh my God. God! Holy shit. Okay. Oh. I don't even know. Who is that? As the investigation comes to a close, there's one final unsettling event. Watch. Hi. Okay. I was a knock at the door. 
I'm gonna check that. Okay, Mary, can you say goodbye? Again? Okay, goodbye. Oh, no. Mary, we have to say goodbye now, okay? Just put it goodbye. Just okay. put it there. Goodbye. Goodbye. So what's going on in this cabin? And just who is the mysterious child captured on the trail cam on a cold winter's night? Given the history of the property, the fact that the owner's great aunt used to practice witchcraft in the cabin, it would seem it conjured some kind of inexplicable force that may be still lingering even today. The Paranormies have a part two to this investigation up on their channel now. I highly recommend you check it out. Support their content, give them a thumbs up and subscribe. It's well worth a look. There's a link to their channel in the description box below. Oh my God. What do you see? Holy f I thought I saw a shadow. This. Holy shit. I thought I saw a shadow. This next snippet of footage was uploaded to Reddit by user StayRB89. The Redditor claims that when they were young, they used to be followed around by a ghostly older man that only they could see. This clip was captured in the early 90s. The uploader's grandparents owned a pub. It was early morning around 7.30 a.m. while the pub was being cleaned for the upcoming day's service. The OP's mum was filming on a new camcorder the family had just purchased. Take a look at what was captured. The clip is short and the quality's poor, but if you slow it down, there is something chilling hiding in the footage. On the left hand side is the uploader when they were young crawling on the floor. You can just see their head come into frame. Now on the right hand side of the shot is something a little more unsettling. Just behind one of the columns is the face of an older man. It looks like he's hiding. Now remember it's 7.30 in the morning and there was no one else in the building at the time the video was captured. The OP's nan has always thought the old pub was haunted, and this eerie piece of footage certainly seems to corroborate her claims. Given that the uploader has always thought an older man was following him when he was growing up, this sighting is certainly chilling. I'd love to hear your take on this strange piece of footage in the comments section down below. In November 2013, something was captured on camera that caused quite a stir in Glenview, Illinois. Maureen Kent was attending a service at Our Lady of Perpetual Help when she decided to snap a picture of the ornate setup inside the church. When she glanced at the photo, she was stunned at what she saw. Looking at the photos, you can see a bright white figure hovering over the altar. Whatever it is, it's right beside the host, which Catholics believe is the true body of Christ. Fellow churchgoers immediately recognize the shape of the figure as the classic depiction of the Virgin Mary. Kent is adamant that the image hasn't been tampered with, calling the sighting a miraculous moment. When you first glance at the photo, it does just look like it's a ray of sunlight. However, the rest of the altar doesn't match the bright coloring nor are there even any windows that could be letting in such a bright ray of sun. So what do you think? Is this a so-called miraculous moment caught on camera, or is there another way to explain the sighting? This next unsettling photo was uploaded to Reddit by Third One. Back in 2017, the uploader noticed that a dark silhouette would appear in their neighbor's kitchen window. It would come and go, but each time it appeared, it would stand there for hours at a time. The uploader eventually took a photo of the silhouette to show the neighbor. They weren't sure whether it was someone spying on their neighbor looking in, or whether it was someone looking out of the window. But it was the fact that the figure would stand there for hours at a time that freaked the OP out. 
Eventually, they showed the photo to the neighbour who had no idea who it was. The neighbour has since moved away and the figure no longer appears. This could mean a number of things. The neighbour was pulling a prank and maybe placed a cardboard cutout in the window. Perhaps there was a stalker spying on the family. Or as some commenters suggested, it could be a shadow figure or a spirit. Which do you think is the most likely scenario? Love to hear your thoughts down below. This is an old clip from Christmas Eve 2006 uploaded to YouTube by Kara Densal. It shows several young girls playing around with a Ouija board. Okay, um, Ashley, can you move the chair for us? After asking some questions, something unsettling happens. Watch. Okay. Okay, um, we better hurry. Our pancakes are ready. Um, will you move it for us now before we go get our pancakes? Oh my gosh, Karen. Okay. 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 Is it Kara? I don't know. Kara? Yeah. <laughs> Watching that again, after they ask a spirit called Ashley to move the chair, it would appear it obliges. The girls scream and the clip ends abruptly. Is it Kara? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Eerily, this is the only video uploaded to the channel, so there's no way of knowing what happened to the girls after the clip ends. Could something bad have happened to them? It's been 15 years with no update, so it's looking like the mystery will have to remain in place. Is it Kara? I don't know. Kara? Yeah. <laughs> Before we take a look at an eerie family photo that was sent to us by a viewer, remember to hit that subscribe button, then tickle that little bell icon there and turn on all channel notifications. That way you'll be in the loop every time we drop our scary and mysterious videos. I'm still down here. Help. One of our viewers, No Kaleidoscope 417 uploaded this pic to our Slaptam subreddit, asking the community whether or not there's something more to this seemingly innocent photo. In the photo, we can see the OP's daughter and niece posing for the camera. In the foreground is their sister-in-law's phone, which is also taking a snap of the girls. At first, the family didn't notice anything, but in the photo on the phone in the foreground, there's two extra faces in the image. The first and most prominent face in the photo is that of an older man. The family immediately recognised the face as their grandfather who had just passed away two months prior to this photo being taken. Take a look at this comparison photo. Although the photo on the right is blurry, there is indeed a resemblance to their granddad. The second face is a little less defined, but some of the family believes it also looks like their grandmother. Here's a comparison. Stranger still, the photo on the phone in the foreground that shows the extra faces doesn't seem to exist. The phone you can see didn't save the photo. The OP is also adamant that nothing's been tampered with, and given the fact that it's a photo of a photo, it would be pretty hard to manufacture anyway. So what do you think? Are the grandparents making contact with their family, or is it just a case of a strange blurry photo? The resemblance of the grandfather is certainly there. Baby. Our first clip of the day comes from Dean Stewart. This OP was recently recording his daughter when something strange happened on camera. Take a look. You're so pretty, Bebo. Bebo. Watching that again, the light at the end of the hall turns on, catching the OP's eye. If we slow it down, you can actually see the rocking horse start to move, seemingly all on its own. The bizarre incident has led the homeowner to suspect that his house might be haunted. 
So what do you think's going on here? Is it something paranormal caught on camera? Or is there another way to explain the strange incident? Let me know your theories on this one in the comments down below. For some time now, one of our viewers, Bobby, has suspected that his house might be haunted. In fact, the activity's gotten so frequent that Bobby started a YouTube channel called World Paranormal to document the bizarre happenings they encountered. We've featured some of Bobby's footage before. Take a look. It looks like the antique clown doll moves all by itself. Well now, yet more disturbing footage has been captured inside of Bobby's home. It's after 11pm when this uploader thinks he sees something move out the corner of his eye. That's when he took out his camera to try and catch some evidence. Watch. Yo. Yo, I told you, I told you I saw that. I told you it was moving. You can clearly see the doll's arm move. Yo. Yo, I told you, I told you I saw that. I told you it was moving. Throughout history, there have been numerous cases surrounding haunted and cursed dolls. One of the most notorious is Annabelle the Doll. This case was made famous when it was fictionalized in the Conjuring spin-off film, Annabelle. The scary thing is, it's based on a very real incident. The doll that would become to be known as Annabelle was originally a Raggedy Ann doll given to a young girl named Donna in 1970. Donna and her friend Angie used to play with the doll and would often find it in different places around their room. One day they found the doll chained to a bedpost with a note that said, help me. It was written in a red substance. The girls took the note to their mother who contacted a medium who told them that the doll was possessed by the spirit of a little girl named Annabelle Higgins. The Higgins family had allegedly lived in the house before the current occupants and Annabelle had died in a tragic accident. The girl's story caught the attention of famed paranormal investigators Ed and Lorraine Warren. They decided to take the case and see if they could find out more about this supposedly cursed doll. After conducting their own investigation, they concluded that the doll was indeed possessed by a demonic entity. They took her back to their home and placed her in a glass case with a warning sign that read, do not touch. So is it possible that spirits can attach themselves to inanimate objects like dolls and toys? If Bobby's footage is to be believed, then we could indeed be witnessing a real haunted doll. Yo. Yo, I told you, I told you I saw that. I told you it was moving. This next curious sighting was uploaded to the Instagram page UFO Lovers. The clip was captured in England when this family were out for an afternoon walk. Take a look at what they saw. In the distance is an odd cube-shaped cloud. It stands out in contrast to the more normal looking clouds in the background. Here's some still photos that show the anomaly in more detail. Viewers on Instagram were shocked and confused by the bizarre cube cloud. Its unnatural appearance sparked all kinds of theories in the comments section of the video. Some jokingly said it looked like a cloud from Minecraft. 
while others couldn't help but wonder whether aliens were somehow involved. Several comments suggested it could be the work of a government program called Project HARP. Project HARP is a research program that seeks to advance our understanding of the ionosphere, a region of the Earth's upper atmosphere. The program is sponsored by the US Air Force, the Navy and the University of Alaska Fairbanks. HARP stands for High Frequency Active Auroral Research Program. The facility is located in Gakona, Alaska and consists of 180 antennas spread over an area about the size of a small town. Critics say that the military is using HARP as a weapon and that there have been a number of conspiracy theories about its capabilities. Some believe that HARP can be used to manipulate people's emotions or even control their thoughts, while others think it may be responsible for natural disasters like earthquakes and hurricanes. So what do you think's going on with this cube cloud? Aliens, government mind control, or is there another way to explain it? I'd love to hear your theories on this one in the comments down below. One of our viewers who goes by the Reddit username Julio the Gay sent us this peculiar footage. The OP was recently exploring an old, partly demolished building in the historic suburb of Saint Anne de Bellevue in southwestern Quebec, Canada. Out of curiosity, they decided to explore the abandoned property. The strange thing is, while they were there, nothing particularly odd happened. However, when they rewatched the footage they had captured that day, there was something odd happening in the clip. Take a look. In the background, you can hear an unsettling noise. The OP swears the noise wasn't happening when they were there in person. For some reason, you can only hear it in the footage. The history of Saint Anne de Bellevue goes back to the early days of European settlement in North America. The area was founded as a parish way back in 1703. Due to its long rich history, many locals believe the area is home to a number of heavily haunted hotspots. One of the most notorious is the Auberge Le Saint Gabriel. The restaurant is located in Old Montreal and is one of the oldest buildings in the city. The building was originally built as a private home in 1688 and later turned into a tavern and inn. It's been said that the ghosts of former owners and guests still haunt the place. There have been reports of doors opening and closing on their own, dishes breaking and strange noises coming from the basement. There's even been sightings of a little girl who's said to have perished in a fire in the early 19th century. Witnesses say they see her crying in the corner of the room, but when they go to comfort her, she's nowhere to be seen. So what's to be made of the strange noise captured by our viewer? Given the history of the area and that many believe that spirits still linger from long ago, could this sound be some kind of supernatural phenomenon? Take another listen and decide for yourself. This photo was submitted to our Slaptam subreddit by user ownresolution7554. The uploader says that her mum's sister was out having some drinks on a girl's night out. The group was happily snapping pics to remember the night by when suddenly they noticed something eerie in one of the photos. In the middle of the group, there's a small hand that's unaccounted for. It seems to be reaching up past the throat of the girl in the middle. The family were freaked out by the strange small hand and had no way of explaining how it got there. Some viewers said it almost looks like the girl in the middle is reaching up and resting her hand on the shoulder of the woman on the left. The OP's aunt, who's in the middle, says that on that night she was wearing bright pink nail polish, but the hand doesn't seem to have pink polish on at all. Plus the family insists the hand is far too small. They believe it looks like the hand of a child, none of whom were present when this photo was taken. 
While the family isn't jumping to conclusions, they wanted to share this photo because they have no rational way of explaining the small hand's appearance. So what do you think? Is this just a trick of perspective or is there more going on in this photo? Let me know your take on this in the comments down below. This wild sighting was posted to YouTube by Finding UFO. It was captured on live TV by Sky News as they had rolling coverage of the Queen's Platinum Jubilee back in June 2022. As a squadron of jets from the Royal Air Force make a pass over Buckingham Palace, something odd is inadvertently caught on camera. Take a look. An unidentified white or black object flies through the air just behind the jets. The object was even captured by one of the jets on board surveillance cameras. It's brief, but you can see the ball pass by the red smoke. To get a better look, here's the wide shot again, zoomed in and slowed down. The YouTube channel Finding UFO did some analysis of the footage and noticed another strange object passing by among the clouds. So what's going on here then? It's worth noting that the airspace was closed and closely monitored for the special event, so it's unlikely to be a drone. Plus the speed at which the object flies is far greater than any drone commercially available. Even stranger, if we watch the footage again during the shot of the royal family, you can see young Prince Louis point up into the air. Some viewers think it looks like he says, look, there's a ball. But others think he just says, look, there's smoke, perhaps referring to the colorful smoke coming out of the jets. Despite this puzzling footage going viral, there's been no official word from the British government or military on what this object could be. So for now, unless more info comes to hand, this will have to remain a genuine UFO sighting. Sometimes there's footage so eerie that even if there is some type of logical explanation to describe what's going on, all who view it are thoroughly creeped out regardless. That's exactly what happened with one Reddit video uploaded by user FitThenFat. In the CCTV footage that they shared on the website, we get a view of something unnerving in Costa Rica. It has viewers offering suggestions from everything from a cryptid to a ghoul to even the legend of a local witch with terrible intentions. In the video, we can immediately see a dog barking loudly at something off screen, his bark sounding clearly panicked. Another dog soon joins him barking equally as loud and looking scared. But what happens next is likely to both surprise you and weird you out at the same time. Take a look. <laughs> On the right of screen appears a strange figure with large bent legs walking in a crab-like motion down the street. The dogs follow the person slash creature as it eerily makes its way down the road barking and chasing it as it crawls off screen and into the distance. There are nearly 500 comments from other Reddit users who have tried to make sense of what they just witnessed. Some went for an explanation that didn't delve into the paranormal realms, offering the idea that this was simply a very inebriated and flexible individual who had managed to bend over and crawl in a very peculiar way. Others were less convinced, believing the figure to possibly be the dreaded Costa Rican legend named Lamona. Lamona is believed to be a witch with a great resemblance to a monkey, 
notable for her extra long arms and legs, as well as her body covered fully in hair. The screams of Lamona are said to cause great terror in even the bravest of people, leaving them shaken for the rest of their lives. Moreover, Lamona is known for jumping on the roofs of houses and scratching the walls to freak out the people inside. The possibility of this figure being Lamona could explain the clear terror of the dog's barks, as well as the bent legs that look way too long to be human. So does this video prove that the legend of Lamona is indeed true? Let me know what you think in the comments section below. For one grocery shop in the UK, a shopping trolley became the centre of attention after it started to suddenly move and zip around, seemingly of its own accord. Reddit user Pags3531 originally shared the clip, which has since stirred up quite the debate in both the UK and around the globe. We can see a lone shopping trolley sitting in an empty parking lot in the security camera footage. Suddenly, the trolley jerks backwards before spinning around and flailing down the parking lot out of sight. Here it is again in slow motion. The original uploader of the video did inform viewers that it was a particularly windy day that day, which could explain why the trolley had shifted in the first place. Others suggested that if the trolley had had a bad wheel, it could explain why it had continued to move down the lot, the wheel having forced the trolley to slide in a backward motion. Still, some eagle-eyed viewers noted that the timestamp of the video seemed to be faster than normal, adding to the strange zip-like movement of the cart. This is a common practice for individuals who like to manipulate footage for the sake of making it scarier. Of course, paranormal fans believe that a ghost or other supernatural figure had caused this to occur. So was there a paranormal figure that needed to go on a quick grocery run? Or is this simply another case of some cleverly edited footage? We'll leave that up to you to decide. A haunted wheelchair. This idea seems like something that might show up in a horror movie, not in real life. Unfortunately, for one man in a hospital, he came face to face with his exact situation. The Daily Star in the UK provided the video for all to see and speculate. In the clip, the camera operator films a wheelchair that sits a few feet away from him in a reception area. A couple of seconds into filming, the wheelchair slowly turns to face the man. The man moves to the right to get a better view of the chair, which then shifts to face his direction again. Creeped out, the man turns and hurriedly walks away. The clip then cuts to some time later, where the man approaches the chair once again. Immediately, the chair begins to move slowly towards the man. He backs away before turning around and running away for good. Ooh. The turning of the wheelchair to face the man is perhaps the most terrifying factor of the entire video. There's been no explanation provided for what is happening in this clip, leaving viewers to draw their own conclusions. Given that this was filmed in a hospital where no doubt hundreds of people have passed away, Many viewers think that the wheelchair was being manipulated by a spirit that hasn't been able to move on, perhaps someone who doesn't realise they've died at all. Whatever way you look at it, it's some freaky footage and an encounter that will likely haunt the camera holder for a very long time. Ooh. For one Australian couple flying to Greece, a chance mid-air sighting will likely have stayed with them for a very long time. Kerry Faridas shared the clip in hopes that viewers could give an explanation for what it was they saw. 
In the video shot from a window of an airplane, we can see the wing of the plane as well as clouds in the distance. Eerily, there's an ambiguous thin black object that seems to hover in the air. A woman in the background asks, what is that, in a panicked voice. What is that? Kerry, what is that? The object turns slowly. A long plume of thick black smoke trails behind it. It continues to fly close to the airplane for the duration of the clip, turning around slowly. Theories as to what this bizarre sighting could be are wide and ranging. Some suggested it could be some type of military aircraft, perhaps a new one that the public isn't aware of. Many believe that militaries keep plenty of secrets from their citizens, so this isn't a stretch of a theory for conspiracy lovers. Others believe this is an example of a UFO in action with aliens likely on board, following the airplane. Whether they're just curious about the aircraft or had some other intentions is unknown. Still, others jokingly offered the idea that the figure is a Dementor straight out of the Harry Potter book series. If this is the case, we can only hope Harry's nearby to save the day. Reddit user Kuji Kami provided footage that has made some people rethink what the worst thing they could experience in an airport could truly be. The security footage shows an empty gate area with a big black door to the right of frame. Suddenly, the door swings open with force, seemingly all on its own. Here it is again in slow motion. There's clearly nothing interfering with the door to make it open. Unequal air pressure has been the number one suggested culprit for this bizarre occurrence. Many viewers have claimed to have seen this exact same situation in their workplaces or school. Still, many other Redditors disputed this, referencing the heaviness of the door as the reason why it couldn't simply have been air pressure that pushed it open in such a forceful manner. Some Redditors saw an extremely slight shadow change right before the door swung open bringing up the possibility of a ghost opening the door. Could this have been a ghost who was eager to catch a flight? Or does the air pressure in the airport need to be double checked? Let me know which theory you think it is in the comments section below. A video shared by Anne Alston on the Daily Star UK seems to show something paranormal an eerie sighting that's been causing viewers to get goosebumps across the world. In the video, we see CCTV footage of an empty street with a lamppost in the middle of the frame. A few moments into the footage, something eerie is caught on camera. Take a look. If we watch it again, what seems to be a ghostly individual with a face and torso appears directly out of the lamppost and walks forward. As the figure walks down the street, it then vanishes into thin air and disappears completely from sight. If we zoom in and slow it down a little, the figure does greatly resemble a human being with a transparent form. Many viewers have agreed that the figure does indeed look very much like a ghost though others have tried to offer alternative ideas for what this figure could be. For instance, some think that the figure was the result of a camera glitch or some type of reflection. The reflection idea has been hotly debated though, as the camera sits outside and not indoors, where it could reflect off glass or another surface. Interestingly, the original poster of the video claims that this figure has been spotted by others in the same street usually at night time when no one else was around. As a result, some believe that this could truly only be explained as something otherworldly. Reddit user Gilgamesh vs Humbaba caught something on camera in his bathroom 
that has gone on to make many Reddit users scratch their heads in confusion. Whether this is some type of animal or a ghostly entity remains a mystery, though there's no doubting that it's certainly bizarre. The video shot in the Reddit user's bathroom shows us a view of the bathroom floor. Immediately, we can see something small and white scurry on the floor and out of view on the bottom right of the frame. The cameraman pans the camera around the floor, but nothing else appears for the rest of the video. Here's the strange sighting again in slow motion. The Reddit user explained that while he does have a small pet cat, his cat was in another room at the time, so this mysterious figure couldn't possibly be his cat. He did say that he had had pets that had passed away before, and he wouldn't be surprised if what he saw was actually the spirit of an old pet of his. In fact, he claims to have seen the spirits of his past pets in other homes. Many other Reddit users like this thought, as it brings a sense of comfort to those who have lost pets. However, the original uploader of the video did say that his home is very old, so this figure could be the spirit of something else altogether, perhaps something even sinister. Still, others were sure that the creature was indeed his current cat who had escaped another room, and that no spirits were involved at all. So give the video another view and judge for yourself as to exactly what's going on here. Then let us know what you think down below. This video, captured by Russell Elliott and uploaded to the YouTube channel Wake Up Project, shows the possibility of what mysterious things could be lurking around at night time. The clip starts with footage of a group of horses standing in an old barn. The camera holder seems to cautiously investigate the area as if something had previously startled them. Suddenly, they spot something in the darkness. The alien-like creature stands silently looking into the camera with large, dark eyes. The camera holder then appears to quickly turn in fear at the realisation of what they've just seen. The footage was supposedly captured in the Black Forest area of El Paso, Colorado a place known for tales of mysterious figures and unusual sightings. The region gained notoriety in 1991, after a couple who had recently purchased a home in the area started to experience strange events, like ghostly sounds and inexplicable flashing lights. Could this footage of the creature hiding in the barn be related somehow? Perhaps the lights that have previously been seen in the area come from an alien craft piloted by similar beings. If this is the case, then what is their fascination with the Black Forest area? Until further information comes to hand, we can do little more than speculate. Today's episode's in collaboration with Frostmare. They'll be helping out with some of the narration. We'll talk about their channel and what they do a little later in the video, but for now, sit back, relax and enjoy. This video, uploaded to the YouTube channel, Join Our Band of Belief, was supposedly sent to them by a viewer. It shows a UFO sighting, captured from the window of a plane during a flight to Massachusetts. The footage begins uneventfully, as the passenger seems to be simply filming the scenery below. However, the camera soon captures what appears to be a plane flying past in the opposite direction. Suddenly, another object speeds through the sky, easily overtaking the other plane. Whoa. Whoa, did you see that? Even when the footage is slowed down, the speeding object moves so fast that its shape remains unclear. It simply appears like a blur as it goes whizzing through the sky. A young boy's voice can be heard in the background exclaiming, Wow, did you see that? Whoa. Whoa, did you see that? 
While several viewers have jokingly suggested that the object could be a superhero, others have noted that its extraordinary speed is unlike any craft we currently have on Earth. Was this UFO really of extraterrestrial origin? Or is there another way to explain what we've just witnessed? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. This footage, seemingly filmed by a roadside security camera, was uploaded to the YouTube channel Chica Leguala. While there's little accompanying information, the clip was caught on the Wessex Way stretch of the A338 in the southwest of England. The clip begins as a white van can be seen driving away from the camera. Then, just as the van passes by the second of the two light poles, a strange looking creature runs across the road. It leaps over the centre barrier and disappears to the right of screen, narrowly avoiding a collision with the oncoming car. While many viewers have suggested that the footage actually shows a deer scampering across the road, others are not so sure. They note the creature's grey colour and apparent lack of fur as evidence that this could be something else. Furthermore, the creature's movement seemed to more closely resemble that of a dog rather than a deer. In the video's description, the uploader suggests that the creature might actually be an alien. The idea that it could even be a werewolf has also been explored. While there may very well be a logical explanation to this video, that hasn't stopped internet sleuths from re-examining the footage time and time again. Unfortunately, until further information comes to light, this video will have to remain a mystery, at least for the time being. It's certainly understandable to fear ghostly figures watching you from a darkened nook or cranny. The idea that something supernatural is viewing you as you go about your daily routine is enough to send chills down your spine. This video, uploaded to TikTok, by Dom the Ghost seems to show just this very scenario. Mm -hmm. A mysterious figure stands outside the kitchen window. Those inside appear to grow increasingly concerned. The camera holder moves in for a closer inspection. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. However, when they open the window, there's nothing there. They quickly check both ends of the balcony, but the figure seems to have completely disappeared. While this video is certainly creepy up until this point, it's what happens next that will really spook you. Take a look. As the camera holder turns back into the room, they focus on a young girl. Behind her stands a grey, ghostly figure. It appears to be a boy. However, the camera moves away too quickly to be certain. The camera pans towards the girl a second time, but now the eerie figure has vanished. Viewers have been understandably concerned by this footage, and some have even questioned if the family has now let a ghost into their house, as the mysterious figure seems to disappear just as the camera holder opens the window. <coughs> some believe that the ghost might have gained access to the family's home. Another theory that has been put forward is that the ghostly figure first seen in the window was actually never outside, and that the shape was a reflection of the pale young boy already standing in the house. What do you think this video shows? Could the figure be a mischievous poltergeist looking to get inside the family's house? 
Or is it possible that it might be the ghost of someone who died inside the property? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Nursing homes prove a popular setting for paranormal enthusiasts looking to capture creepy ghost footage. In this video, YouTuber Bella Folletti has recorded something quite unusual. In the video's description, the uploader mentions that several staff members believe that the dining room of the nursing home is haunted by a deceased resident. The uploader also claims that they visited the property with their ghost hunting partner and that the pair conducted both EVP and K2 readings of the area. This footage was captured by surveillance camera in the nursing home's dining room. Take a look. A few seconds into the clip, a white transparent shape appears and begins making its way around the room. At one point in the footage, the uploader notes that the mysterious shape appears to be sitting in one of the chairs. It then stands up, moves around the table and sits down again. While videos such as this can be often explained away by insects walking over the lens, this one certainly seems different. Firstly, there's the story told by the staffers of a ghost thought to haunt this very room. Secondly, the shape does at times appear to move around with purpose, almost as if it remembers the layout of the room. While there's no way to definitively prove what we're seeing is actually a ghost, it's a very eerie video. One that very well may show supernatural activity in this old nursing home. Uploaded to the YouTube channel, Euphonus. Little is known about the origins of this mysterious video. Appearing to be filmed on a cell phone from the window of a passenger plane, the clip shows a strange object hovering some distance away. The UFO appears to undulate up and down. However, it's unclear as to how much of this apparent movement can be attributed to the object itself, or rather the unsteadiness of the recording device. The craft certainly resembles the classic depiction of a UFO, cylindrical and disc-like, with a silvery metallic coloring. With so many sightings of unidentified craft matching this description over the years, one can't help but wonder if it's more than a mere coincidence. The object continues to hover for some time before it suddenly vanishes from view. However, if you slow the footage down, you can see the UFO doesn't actually disappear at all. It flies off at such speed that it makes it almost undetectable to the human eye. Who do you think has been captured in this video? Could it be an extraterrestrial spacecraft? Or is this object something else entirely? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. A Scottish mother from Drongan is convinced a ghost is visiting her young son. Cheryl Scott suspected something strange was happening in her son's bedroom. When she reviewed their baby cam footage, she was stunned at what she saw. Take a look. Watching that again, you can see that there's two strange shapes floating in the middle of the frame. Suddenly, the baby cam shifts to the left as though something's moved it. Eerily, Cheryl claims that the light we can see when the camera spins around wasn't on when she left her sleeping son that night. The family is living in Cheryl's grandparents' old house. They both passed away a number of years ago. Cheryl believes it could be the spirit of her grandma or grandpa coming to visit. Given the strange floating lights and that the camera moved despite no one else being in the room, 
certainly does make you wonder what's going on in this old family home. This next piece of footage was uploaded to Twitter by user Conspiracy. It shows a CCTV feed overlooking the ocean in an unknown location. Take a look at what was captured on camera. Watching that again, an unidentified flying object zips past the camera. It looks like a small metallic ball of some kind. Here it is in slow motion. The extreme speed of the object almost certainly rules out a commercial drone or weather balloon. Naturally viewers have called this an alien craft. Some think it's some kind of reconnaissance vehicle sent to Earth to capture information about our civilization. Others have said it might be a top secret military craft, perhaps Russian or Chinese in origin. As always, I'll throw this strange one out to you the viewer. What do you think this is? Let me know your theories in the comments section down below. Some strange footage of a mysterious bleeding tree has been uploaded to TikTok by Shahin Nurislam 0 and it's been freaking viewers out. The first clip shows someone hacking into a tree with a machete. Watch. An intense red liquid that looks uncannily like blood spews out of the branch. The second clip shows a man with a chainsaw. Watch what happens. As the chainsaw rips through the trunk of the tree, more of the blood-like liquid spews out. The third clip shows the tree falling down. The camera holder puts his hand in the liquid. It's frightening just how much this looks like real blood. Of course, speculation ran rife when this footage went live. Some said it was a miracle and that it was the blood of Christ we're witnessing. Others, however, thought quite the opposite, saying the blood was a sign of a demonic presence. In actual fact, this is Terracarpus angolensis, or bloodwood. It's a type of tree that seeps a deep red sap when cut open. It's native to South Africa and is known for its medicinal properties. So even knowing what it is, it's still freaky to see a tree spew out something that looks so much like human blood. The Blue House pub in Sunderland, UK is rumoured to be haunted. Staff and patrons alike have seen and felt things that can't quite be rationally explained. And now, something bizarre has actually been caught on camera, which backs up the haunting claims. Watch. Looking at that again, the pint of beer that's on the bar next to the patron suddenly falls over without reason. Darla Anderson, the current landlady of the 167-year-old pub, said that the day before this footage was captured, a psychic medium was in the venue and said that a ghostly presence was lurking around the property. They could sense a strange entity near them. When the footage was shared to Facebook, the previous owner of the pub got in touch and said they had always suspected the property was haunted. They too had seen objects moving around all on their own. So could this old pub really be harbouring a spirit, or is there another way to explain the pint moving on its own?
Oregon nurse Carol Leanne has captured something eerie on camera while working the night shift at the hospital. She shared the footage to her TikTok account, Carol Anand, 1984. She says that the nurses at the hospital have a superstition that whenever someone passes away, they open a window in the room so their spirit can leave freely. During a night shift in October 2021, Carol noticed that someone hadn't left the window open, despite someone dying in the room earlier that day. Watch what the camera caught and see if you can spot anything creepy. If we watch that again in slow motion, right at the end, you can see a shadow pass in front of the camera. Despite the freaky backstory, some viewers think it's all a hoax, noting the strange grainy filter that's been applied over the footage. So is that shadow really a trapped spirit, or are we just seeing the work of a spooky filter? Either way, the fact that the nurses open the windows after someone passes is certainly an eerie thought. This next piece of bizarre footage often floats around the foul depths of conspiracy forums. It's often labelled top secret and that it's been recently leaked to the public. It's allegedly a snippet of footage captured during the Apollo 11 mission in 1969. Take a look. Watching that again, a bipedal humanoid can be seen standing up in the distance. Some viewers thought it looked like the figure was praying as it can be seen kneeling. Others noted how tall the figure must be given how far away it's standing. The fact that this snippet gets passed around so often means it's almost impossible to verify its origin. Could it really be top secret footage from Apollo 11? Or is it all just a nice little animation designed to freak people out? Drop your thoughts in the comments section down below. Sometimes we see things that are so horrifying that we seek advice from whoever we can to handle what we witnessed. TikToker Marlene Anna White experienced just this situation when she noticed something absolutely terrifying in her shower. The advice she received led her to do a cleansing of the house, but the scary memories still remain, as does the footage. In the very first clip of the story, we see the TikToker's shower. Standing behind the shower glass door is what at first seems to be a small child. The TikToker explains that there's only one child in the house who's currently in the living room. I only have one baby at my house today, the rest of them are with grandma. You can clearly hear my baby in the living room crying. Furthermore, her other children are with their grandmother. She goes on to say that she was on the toilet when she got a feeling that something was watching her. She started to get suspicious around her house, as she allegedly recently took a picture where she swears she saw her father who passed away in it. During this explanation, we can see the supposed child or toddler in the shower raise a hand to his or her chest. The TikToker asks the presence what he or she is, but receives no response. Who are you? Hello? The second clip brings us back to the bathroom. The TikToker explains that her husband had called to her from the bathroom, saying that she needed to see something. When she went in, she saw that it had nothing to do with a shower this time. Instead, a fire alarm on the ceiling had detached and parts of the ceiling had fallen to the ground. Moreover, water began to leak on the floor. She then turns the camera to the shower, explaining that she had got her husband to take a look, though he had not discovered anything unusual. For the third clip, the TikToker is using an app that allegedly allows you to speak with ghosts. Listen to what happens. Hello? 
Catherine. Mm-hmm. No. Who's Catherine? I'm close. The TikToker freaks out and says she's leaving the room. I'm close. No, I'm leaving. In a follow-up video, the TikToker wants to prove to others that these clips are not a prank done with her kids. So she asks one of her children to stand in the shower. Stand in the shower real quick. Her child gets in and closes the door in front of him. Shut the door. Dang, you color for a boy. Okay. It becomes obvious that the silhouette of her child looks nothing like the shadow that appeared in the first clip. Okay, you can get out. With the videos garnering over a million views combined, there's been plenty of speculation as to what's happening in these clips. Many viewers went with the usual demon, ghost, evil spirit, or alien suggestions. Mostly viewers lean towards a demon, as some paranormal experts believe that demons can take on the form of children in order to lure people under the pretense of trust and innocence. If this is indeed a demon, what's its purpose of haunting a shower of all places? And is the demon related to the fire alarm becoming detached? These are vital questions to ponder as this mystery continues to unfold. Who are you? Hello? Hauntings seem to occur in millions of places worldwide, though some are luckier than others in that their supernatural encounters only last for a short amount of time. For TikTokers Lainey and Ben, the haunting in their home seems to be consistent and never-ending. In the first video, the TikToker is sitting in her car during her lunch break. She explains that she's just received several notifications on her phone from her home security camera. And there's been a notification or a couple from our um, home security camera and there's some footage that I've just seen that you got to see it. The clip then cuts to footage of the cameras inside of her house. We can see the TikToker's kitchen where everything is still. Watch what happens next though. As you can see, a kitchen drawer is pulled open. And soon after, a chair sitting at the kitchen table is pulled back. In the second video, the TikToker and her partner are in their living room when they notice one of their doors is shaking. They go near the door, which suddenly opens on its own. What the hell? <gasps> Shut up. She and her partner walk through the door and look at the stairs in the room. There seems to be nothing there. The TikTokers question what they saw, with one asking if there was a shadow on the stairs. Was that a shadow just then? Where? I don't know. Well, I don't know either. In the final clip, we get another view of the kitchen. Yet again, a drawer is pulled open. Take a look. As you can see, silverware violently shoots across the room. One utensil flies in a straight line, crashing into the wall. It almost looks like it sticks into the wall. The door also moves on its own. With many fake ghost videos, you can see things gently move around or even fall off shelves, which could easily be done with magnets. But the sheer force that's been applied to the cutlery in this clip makes it hard to believe that magnets are at play. This is an ongoing mystery, as Lainey and Ben continually post the strange events that seem to be plaguing their house. As of posting this, they have over 500,000 followers, all eager to see what happens next. A video uploaded by Parasomnia MX on TikTok has gone on to terrify many around the world. In the video, we get a look at something far from normal, but certainly intriguing in its own right. 
We can see the back of a car that's driving ahead of the vehicle where the footage is being shot from. All looks normal at first until something freaky happens. Watch. Some kind of ghostly figure appears at the back of the car. It lingers for a few moments before disappearing completely. Here it is again in slow motion and zoomed in. With the closer zoom, it seems that the figure is indeed transparent, making a case for it truly being some type of phantom. Some viewers suggested it could be a mannequin of some kind, but that doesn't explain its sudden disappearance. This might be one mystery we can't solve unless eventually given an explanation from the original uploader. YouTube user Anthony Rodriguez had a plan for a good night's rest, but that was quickly squashed by something frightful seen in his bed. The question is just what this formation could possibly be. We get an immediate view of the YouTuber's bed, where we can see in the middle what seems to be an ambiguous formation squirming around under the sheets. The YouTuber explains that there's nothing under the sheets. He then hits the formation to prove that there's nothing below causing the movement. There is nothing under it. Look, look, see? Wait, watch. See the Look, there it is. Look, watch. After he hits the bed, the formation seems to disappear for a few moments before reappearing once more. I don't know. That's just crazy. Oh, there it is. Look. Look. The YouTuber emphasised that there were no tubes or fans blowing air under the sheets as some had suggested. Still, many viewers were positive that this was simply a case of hot air. Perhaps a mix of temperature and the particular fabric of the sheets caught together. There is nothing under it. Look. Look. See? Wait, watch. It could also be that a window was open with a stream of air filling a small opening in the sheets. But it just doesn't look like this is the case. A breeze from a window wouldn't make a strange lump move erratically under a sheet. Get the f out of here. So unless this YouTuber admits it's a hoax of some kind, this bizarre clip will have to remain a mystery. My covering for my, my mattress. There is nothing under it. Look, look, see? Wait, watch. See the look, there it is. Instagrammer Shivam Sona 5 has shared a short clip that has sent collective chills throughout the internet. In the video, motorcyclists ride by on a bridge. The camera operator, also on a motorbike, rides slowly forward, and we can spot something on the left of frame. As the rider inches forward, we can make out what looks to be some kind of alien figure walking slowly forward. The entity is tall, slender, and has light brown, greyish skin. As other motorcyclists have a look, it stops in its tracks and turns around to face them. After a few moments, it turns back around and continues to stroll forwards. There's no denying that the entity resembles something straight out of an alien movie. However, I don't think this cameraman is going to win any awards in cinematography, as he fails to get a solid look at the figure. Frustratingly, the camera pans left just as they get close enough to get a better look. Some think this shoddy camera work is used to hide the fact that it's all just a hoax. So let us know what you think's going on here or what you would do in this situation if you encountered such a strange figure. Let me know down below. There seems to be an endless amount of UFO videos captured by regular civilians of late. 
But what about those shot by the military? Surprisingly, the United States military itself is beginning to release footage of unknown aircrafts, as seen around the US, pointing to the possibility that perhaps UFOs are real after all. One video uploaded by Jeremy Corbell on YouTube gave a glimpse into the 2019 USS Omaha UFO incident, as caught by military members themselves. The YouTube video shows viewers a strange spherical craft flying through the air above the ocean. Right before the end of the footage, the aircraft seems to plunge directly into the water. 31 knots of steam wind, top side, gust of 40. What was splashed? Splashed. Mark bearing a range. Following this event, the military confirmed that no wreckage was found from this unidentified flying object after a search by submarine. Additionally, there's no known point of origin associated with the aircraft, and its current presence remains unknown. The case itself remains open. Many UFO fans were excited that the US government seems to be taking UFO sightings more seriously. So could this particular UFO be a real example of aliens finally coming down to Earth? And if so, how will the military react? Perhaps only time will tell. Nowadays, dolls are associated with evil and creepiness more than ever, thanks in particular to the horror movie franchise Annabelle. Many fear that their own dolls may be possessed by some demon or other sinister creature, though there are, as always, skeptics. Well, thanks to one Facebook video shared by blustery Zona del Terra, these skeptics may join the group of believers in evil dolls after all. In the video, we can see a doll resting on the floor. The doll holds a type of pink bracelet in her hands and seemingly sits completely still. Two individuals speak in the background with one lighting candles that sit in front of the doll. Following this, the individuals chant something together, seeming to perform a kind of ritual. For 30 seconds, nothing happens, until suddenly something is caught on camera. Watch. The doll's hand moves on its own. The individuals scream before the clip mysteriously ends. As to the whole argument that dolls are indeed evil, the response to this video was split in half. Some other Facebook users were positive that the girls in the video had indeed summoned a demon, while others were sure that this video was a kind of silly prank. Perhaps we can only hope that this is a prank and nothing wicked, as the girls may have brought to life a real Annabelle. In that case, their first response should be to call their local priest or exorcist. If you walk around Boston's North End on a hot summer day, some say you can still catch the sickly sweet scent left lingering after a tragic day that took place just over 100 years ago. In 1919, a deluge that can only be described as a molasses tsunami erupted from Purity Distilling Company before ploughing right through Boston's commercial street on a busy January afternoon. The wave froze its victims in place by trapping them under a hard, unyielding veil of amber-coloured suffocation. There was no warning, other than a soft, muffled roar in the seconds before more than two million gallons of ultra-thick, ultra-sticky molasses overtook the streets. The deluge tore through Commercial Street to take down trucks, overturn wagons, ruin buildings and push a train from the tracks. Witnesses who were caught up in the chaos of the day reported seeing sticky molten waves that were 30 feet tall barreling past them at 35 miles per hour. Sadly, 21 people perished during the event. Another 150 people were injured during the molasses flood. The aftermath was so severe that both the Navy and Red Cross arrived to help rescue survivors, 
amid a gooey, sticky, post-apocalyptic scene that required effort to pull the victims from their hardened tombs. In the initial aftermath of the tragedy, the molasses flood was blamed on anarchists sabotaging the molasses storage tanks inside Purity Distilling Company to create a roaring, rippling explosion. However, further investigation began to point to poorly built and maintained tanks. The likely cause of the explosion was a buildup of pressure within the factory's molasses tanks that simply couldn't be contained by the walls of the building. Civil lawsuits against Purity Distilling Company stemming from the incident lasted until 1925. History never quite put a lid on the molasses flood, however. In recent years, scientists have been revisiting Boston's great molasses tragedy to make sense of how it all happened. Ultimately, we may finally have an answer to why something as sweet as molasses can turn so deadly. Modern researchers speculate that a shipment of molasses that arrived from the warm Caribbean, meeting with the freezing temperatures of a Boston January, helped to create the perfect recipe for disaster. The reason why the molasses was so deadly once it was in motion was that the liquid hardened as it moved. As a result, people became unable to escape being trapped by a wave that was hardening in real time. <laughs>